Hey, what's up, guys? Music might be a little loud. Turn that down. Okay. It's it's down for a second because I got to talk to you guys real quick before we jump into everything, but I'm going to wait for everyone to join in. We had a lot of people join, or a lot of people waiting for a while. I set up the stream very early so people are aware. Hello, everyone. Who drew that wonderful art Lyrius, I wonder? Hmm. Funny seeing you here, TJV. Yeah, I know. I don't come around here that often. But when I do, I usually like making an entrance on everybody's screen. Hello, everyone. Say your highs in the chat. Um, I will say real quick, I don't have Toy. I didn't call him yet. Um, he did ask, hey, do you want to call Pryor? And it, let me know also if the audio is good, if everything's working well. But um, he, he wanted to call prior before I ended up. And I just said, eh, I want to do a little bit of an intro catching people up. Because some people might be confused. I'm like, what the hell are we talking about today? You know, audio clips, you know, what the hell's going on sort of thing. Um, I covered it a little bit at the end of my last stream. But I had a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, and some criticisms of the audio clips and how they were presented over on Toy's channel. So, therefore, I just thought, you know what? It's probably a good idea. Um, <laughs> it's probably a good idea to talk to the person who did this stream real quick and figure out what's going on. Audio good, and I think it's good to catch people up, TJV. Well, there you go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pretty much talked to toy about his last stream there's uh some issues that not only me but also plenty of other members uh in my in my chat in my community uh things that people had an issue with um and i'm we're just gonna ask toy and um i've known toy for a while i've think me and him have had somewhat of a decent you know all the interactions we had have been really decent nothing's been terrible we haven't ever hated each other so it should be a decent conversation, but I will say I do have some criticisms of his stream and they will be called out and I am, I'm not going to lie about anything. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, try to protect the guy. Cause if the guy had legit criticisms about me, I'd hope you just tell me and be honest about it. So I am going to ask him the questions here on stream. I'm um, going to talk about the audio clips, going to talk about his stream and um, talk about what, what toy thinks of all of this you know so that's what we're gonna do he does have some hot takes see some people say that but like it looks very different over at his community but anyways i could keep talking for a while you guys know what we're gonna do we're gonna talk to him i'm gonna invite him in we're gonna give him a good warm welcome show him show toy how people do it over here at the tjv community on the on these live streams how do we treat guests with respect always we try to at least there are some people who just hate the guests that happen to be here live streaming with me sometimes but treat them with respect that is my word i don't say anything else differently so i'm gonna give them a call right now and sorry about the audio ahead of time too i do got to adjust the audio to make sure we can hear them good and everything else like that so give me just a second to make sure all the audio is good all right call on now TJ. Hello, Toy. Um, chat, let me know how, how he ends up sounding. Uh, Toy, you want to talk a little bit so people can hear you? Can, can, can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me okay, TJ? Yep. I think we can hear you All pretty right. good. Audio levels awesome. look good. Awesome. Um, let me try to see if I can get my thing here uh, kind of situated like that, too. All right. Uh, you know, on my end here. So... Just bear with me one moment. Uh, let's see. Hold on. And see if my chat can hear you. Oh, you're streaming as well. Yeah, yeah. Might as well make it something fun, right? Right, right. Two different streams. Let's there see. we go. There we go. Let me see. Now, TJB, uh, is that water wet? Yes, this water is wet. <laughs> It'd be a big problem if it wasn't, right? Right. I, if it was dry water, uh, it wouldn't be really good to drink. So. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. There'd be some problems there. Okay. All right. I don't know if people can see it. Let's see if they can hear it. Can, can you all hear TJ? Hello. My name is TJV. Can people hear TJ? 
Yes, no, chat. Can you hear him? <laughs> Waiting for people to see. No, he's muted. Huh. I'm muted. You said you're bro. mute. Yes, yeah, speak, 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 TJ. Uh, hello. I don't think I am muted right now. I am weird. Okay. Staring Let me try in the eyes of my chat. Quick. Well, we can get we can get started while I go ahead and figure this out. So, okay, it's fine. It's it's me being a friggin' boomer here. It's all right. Um, so, I got some beginner questions, anyways. Like, how was your day? Is your day going good? My day's been good, man. My day's been good. You know, it's been uh, a nice a nice day. Uh, a nice day, nice rainy day. I stay off. It's been good though. It's been nice and relaxing. What about yours, bro? How's everything going? Um, every, everything's been pretty good here. Um, uh, some people in my chat are saying they can't hear you, but that ain't on you. I think other people can hear you. Um, so can't hear uh, me. Nah, I think okay. it's just one person who can't hear you. Maybe they have the audio down or something. But, um, yeah, my day's <clears throat> gone. You know, my day was going pretty good. Um, literally like ten minutes before the stream, I was out at the store. So I've been rushing today. I have a huge, huge uh, plans going to the Iowa State Fair here this weekend. So that's going to be fun. Um, so a lot oh, of prep nice. work. Yeah, a lot. I of thought you had moved out of there. Uh, Iowa. I thought you had moved out of state. Yeah, I thought, didn't you move out? Or am nope. I like way behind? <laughs> I don't think I've ever announced that I was moving out of state. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, here, let me. Let me see if people can hear you now. Can you all hear TJ now? Chat? Let me see. TJ, speak. Hello, my name is TJV. Can you guys S hear Mr. him now? Mr. Sen says TJV audio not coming through on his end, LOL. Weird. What about now? Nobody can hear Wait, TJ yet? Nobody can hear me? Not in the least? Wow. <laughs> Only a little. I guess I mean, I'll Only work a little. with it. I'll try to figure it out as we go. Okay. Yep. Um, so anyways, uh, jumping right into things, um, pretty crazy situation that, that popped up. Um, just your quick, like honest reaction. Uh, what do you think about like Scott's story coming out about Liz and Delirious, the whole story with the ex, like what's your general thought about all that? Okay. So my general thought is this, um, on everything, just given, you know, right down the middle, how I honestly feel about it. Um, to me, obviously, whenever I hear people say things, right, in the public space, you know, social media and stuff, I, just as a general rule, just because I've talked about a lot of this stuff over time, me personally here on the channel. And for me, it's not that I'm a person that just flat out refuses to believe anybody, right? Okay. When these things happen. Um, my thing is more, I want to wait for the whole story to come out because I, Oh, did we, something happened. <laughs> Can't hear him. Did he cut out for you guys as well? That's weird. Uh Oh, what happened? Oh, Discord crashed on my end. <laughs> Why did my Discord crash? Something happening? Someone go check the server status on Discord. Did it, the Discord just go down? Because that would really suck if Discord just went down. Thirds of the story that we haven't heard yet. Oh, hey. Right. Uh, hey, I, ju I just rejoined. Disconnect? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, di my Discord, for some reason, just went down for like two minutes. Weird. Somebody's Wait, oh me. shit. So what did you <laughs> I might have just been talking <laughs> Okay, yeah. what was the last thing you heard? Because I'm like, I might have been talking for a while here. Uh, pretty not... much since the beginning. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll we'll, we'll start right back at the beginning. So okay. what I was saying what I was saying was that uh when it comes to stuff online, right? Especially when it comes to people making certain claims or accusations, allegations, what have you, it's not a thing of me just saying, you know what? I flat out just don't believe them at all. To me, I have to consider everything, right, that they say. But um, I have to see and assess everything, right? Because I look at it like a, like a puzzle. Like we're trying to get we're trying to get all the pieces so that we can put the puzzle together, right? Figure out what's really going on. Get to the truth, right? Okay. So I look at it like this. For me, there's three people. There's three parties involved in this, right? It's Liz, Scott, and their son. 
So we've heard Scott, okay, but there's still two thirds that we haven't heard of this story yet. Okay. Right. So it's not a thing of being like, well, you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna outright refuse to believe anybody, right? It's like, no, I want to hear everybody. I want to know what's going on. But if I hear something that sounds weird to me, I'm going to criticize it based on the fact that it was made public and I can do that. You know what I mean? It's just like, if something sounds off, I'm, I'm going to call it just like I would for okay. anybody involved in this situation. Right. So right. if, if it's true, right? Like, like for example, if it's true that Liz has been withholding and I've, and I've said this before on stream, if she's been withholding communication from Scott with Scott, all he wants to do is talk to his son. I think that that's wrong. That shouldn't be done. Now, do I know exactly that that's happening? I don't know. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't know that for a fact. Could it be? Sure. Absolutely. I have to I have to accept that there's a possibility there, right? Mm -hmm. So, but there's a lot of things that we still don't know. So for me, everything that I, I take all that into consideration when I look into stuff like this. I don't jump to any conclusions about anything. Um, but if there's things that come up that I think are questionable, I'm going to question them. That's just my nature. When it comes to this stuff. Okay. So, 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 okay. So pre pretty interesting. Some people in the chat are asking, wait, who's threatening them? Blah, blah, blah. So to give you a little bit of context, uh, Liz's ex-husband, Scott has a ex-girlfriend who, you know, Scott recorded audio of his ex-girlfriend because he was afraid of being me too by her. Um, and she, she has a lot of mental issues, X, Y, Z. And those audio clips were sent from Scott to Liz to warn Liz, hey, there was threats made by my ex-girlfriend. I just thought I should warn you. You should get a restraining order. And um, Liz proceeded to go on Twitter and talk about this and, and air it out a little bit without naming anybody. But she still went out there and talked about the situation on Twitter. And uh -huh. so that's sort of like the threatening thing and what we're talking about right there. Um, okay, so you mentioned that, you know, you – you uh you just you know you call it how you see it there's two like there's two other sides delirious and liz that we have not heard from um well, actually actually the son and liz because the way i look at it the like son and x okay yeah the way i see it to me delirious's role in this is about as significant as scott's role would be when it came to delirious's kids i don't see how okay. scott has to say in anything regarding liz and delirious's kids that that has nothing to do with now I think that dynamic would change if for whatever reason, uh, like if, if um, Delirious had some kind of legal guardianship or had adopted Scott's son for some reason, right? Then I think we're having a different, an entirely different conversation there, right? But I don't see, just by virtue of the fact that just Delirious is with Liz, I don't see how anything he has to say <laughs> in the matter, you know what I mean? Like how he has any say in the matter. Because Scott is, you know, the father. Right. Scott's mm -hmm. the one who has, a, you know, a say Liz is the mother. She's the one that has a say. OK, Scott, as far as I know, I, I would assume, right, was the one that was primarily responsible for him. Right. So, again, that's, that's what I mean. So I, I see like the three, the three, the three parties involved is to me, at least, like I said, Scott, Liz, son. They're the ones. OK. okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, in terms, though, of the interview I did with Scott, a lot did have to do with Delirious, and he did have issues with Delirious within that interview. Are you aware of those? Yeah, I heard the interview. Okay, so so you you even posed it over on your stream that you know Scott made a ton of allegations towards Liz and Delirious. We don't know you know the other side or whatever. You you think Delirious has a very tiny role, but he has a lot of allegations towards the both of them. What do you mean? You, you you just said that Delirious has a very small role, but since Scott has like allegations against Liz, that makes Liz a huge factor in this. Yes, she's also the mother of, of Zane as well, but he also has allegations during Delirious. Doesn't that mean there is a, a role what do you mean that, that Delirious is in? Are you talking about like the ones the the um uh, the ones regarding w what he did, what he did, or what he might have not done. You talking about that? You talking about the stuff regarding his legal case? No, no, no. I'm talking about what Scott brought up in the interview with me. He brought up issues with Delirious. Okay. Therefore, there's like the the, the original video that I published with the two interviews. Okay. Is based around yes, Scott and Liz up front, but also Delirious. You think that okay. his role is still very small and insignificant, so, though? I think so because here's here's the thing, right? 
if Scott's issues with Delirious didn't just stem from the fact that, okay, he's an unfriendly guy. Okay, he might be a dick, right? Delirious might be a dick to him, but I don't see how that affects Zane right now. If Scott were to say, hey, you know what? My son told me that Delirious threatened him with violence. My son told me that Delirious smacked him across the face. You see what I mean? If mm-hmm. these were the concerns, I would be like, yo, I totally get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. Hey, Delirious was being weird with me. I think he was trying to touch me or something like that inappropriately. I get it, right? But we're not hearing anything like that. I didn't hear anything. I mean, is there something that Scott has said regarding that? Because in the interview with you, I don't recall him saying anything to that effect. Now, no, I, I haven't know that heard Scott, anything like that. Yeah. I know that Scott had said that there was some, you know, he, there was some, you know, comfort issues, I guess he had after meeting Delirious, you know, some vibes that he got, right? Regarding. He thought he was weird. Yeah. Him. Yeah. That he was weirded out by him. He thought he was creepy and stuff like that. But again, I didn't hear him outright accusing him of any of these things. Now, again, I understand you know, if he has these reservations because of the fact, again, he doesn't know this guy. He doesn't know him from Adam's first time meeting him. Didn't have a good impression of him. I get all that. But what matters here, I think, more than anything else is the safety of his son, right? And unless there's something happening that is potentially harmful to his son in that regard from Delirious, this is why I say it's pretty minimal, right? Until we hear something otherwise. I mean, like I said, if, if we had heard any instances of abuse or even even possibly you know threats of abuse or something like that then i understand a little bit more like oh shit you know i get it you know what i'm saying right like oh so, shit you know it, go ahead go ahead i bet okay um well i'm moving on 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 real quick um i was just gonna say so your 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 stream that you just did um covering the audio clips you cover several different Mm -hmm. audio clips and these are the audio clips that liz mentioned uh previously and um uh it's you know mainly just about you know scott and his ex and them dealing with their uh the the breakup that they're happening um that's that's literally happening right there in the recordings and everything like that um in the very beginning of this um it's right in the beginning we're on the 55 second mark of your stream um you say and i'm you know really paraphrasing here saying i think this adds a little bit more context to the entire situation you think you thought those recordings added a, a a little bit more context. Uh, do you still stand by that? Yeah. And let me explain okay. why. Right? So in your interview with Scott, remember there was a point in time where Scott had said to you, okay. He had said to you this, you know, yeah, there was an instance, you know, after saying, Hey, look, there was nothing between me and my son. There was nothing between me and my son that should have led to this or something to that effect. And I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing here. Okay. But around the, I guess it was about the 15 minute, 30 second mark of your interview. He had said that um, he had a girlfriend that had threatened Liz, right? Yeah. His word, you know, and he told Liz to contact the police and get a restraining order because he didn't want Liz to be at risk. Again, these are his words. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So hearing that, right. And then later on hearing at about the 17, I don't know, about 17, 40 minute mark saying, hey, you know, she's and not long even after that, he was saying she's harmless and all this stuff. If Liz is not if Liz is not inherently at risk, right, because she's harmless. Then why tell her to get a restraining order? Why say, hey, I didn't want her to be at risk. Well, risk from what? If she's harmless, then there's no risk. Okay, so if he really believes she's not going to do anything, right then why record her? Okay. So I I think there might be a bit of a, maybe a bit of a misunderstanding from how I took it compared to how you took it. One, I Mm -hmm. don't think anything to do with the ex was inherently the issue with the video. People had issues with him trying to, you know, dox what delirious looks like and, and Mm -hmm. expose photos and, and dive into a lot of, you know, behind the scenes stuff. Like people had issues with that, which again, all of it can sort of be understandable going through courts, a lot better of a situation. I have my own criticisms of Scott that I've made public already about that. What you really focused on last stream is those, is the ex-girlfriend part where, universe like like i would say if anyone went to 
like listen to those recordings real quick. It what Scott said in my interview is almost exactly what happened in those recordings. And yet you had a hour and 30 minute stream. And this is where really the, the more of the criticism part of the stream comes up, if you don't mind. But um, what, what ends up happening is you focus so much time on downing Scott during that entire thing. When clearly Scott had, was very mature during that uh, we can bring up the recordings as well. Scott was very mature during it. He handled it a lot better than most people would in that situation, which is, you know, something that you like to use with Liz and Delirious saying, Hey, like Liz going out there talking about it on Twitter. You said, yeah, but what is she going to do? But you know, you know, the exact word here, which I have, um, I'm going to have to pull that up in just a second. But the the main thing that I'm getting at is you spend a lot of time focusing on Scott and, and the issue with him not getting a restraining order. And you even at times say that him and the ex are still together. When Scott has made it very clear that that is an ex, the, in the recording, he's literally saying, like, I'm leaving you. You should go date someone else. Like, he says that in the recordings that you listen to. And I think we're, this is where a lot of the criticisms come from from your stream. Are you okay. aware, first off, that they're not together because you claim that they were I together was, during your stream multiple times? And then I, second, no, no, no. do you under... I was, I was aware, and the reason I was saying that, okay, just to clarify, okay, I said that because the first time, whenever I said, hey, done, what I meant by that was first time a threat, especially a threat of violence or death threat came up that should have been the time to walk out. Now, the reason I say that is because in the recording, in in the recordings, okay, something that Scott says himself in those recordings is that you constantly do this, which would imply this is something that has happened before, okay? So that's okay. why I was saying the first time that this should have had, the first time that there was a threat of any kind to, of this degree, that should have been the impetus for him to walk away, to leave this person behind, okay? If... If she's as harmless as he states, right, why did she punch him? Why did she hit him on more than one occasion if she's harmless? You know what I mean? And that's another thing that I took issue with is he says that she's harmless, but he failed to mention the fact that she had gotten physical with him. All right. So um, I, I, I'm, I'm stream sharing to you right now. Um, here's a couple times. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven timestamps where you are referring to, you know, when I, when I was listening back to it, you were referring to Scott and his ex being together as if that's not what he was doing during the recording. So you can just give me some context on what you were saying here real quick. Um, because if, I, if I'm mistaken, you can gladly tell me what you meant by it. Okay, so here's one. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I gotta be honest, I don't get it. I don't get how... I, I can't hear anything. Are you playing like something? It. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing yeah. something. You can't hear it? No, no. Okay, um, let me try to fix that real quick for you. Um, and just real quick while you're bringing that up in regards okay. to him how he handled those recordings I would think that if you're recording somebody that is saying some vile shit to you you're probably not going to say anything you're probably going to let them say whatever they're going to say because you're recording them okay so can you hear it now if I play it? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't no. get it. I gotta be honest, I don't I get it. I don't get... Okay, you can't hear... Okay. Um, Did you put it through stream on, on uh, Discord, or...? Yeah, it's on. It's streaming through Discord right now. Let me try to redo it. Alright. Maybe if I... Me... Okay, I don't know if it'll work through there. Hold on. All right. Let me know if you, got, you can hear it now. How? No. I still can't hear anything. Somebody like this. I see your thing. Right? I see your thing coming in. I don't know if you can see. I can see your little icon on the screen. A little icon on the screen. Yeah, your little Raiden. That's all I see. Oh. So you don't even see the video or anything? No. 
Oh, okay. So here, let me do this then. One second. It won't let me change the window real quick, so I gotta stop streaming. And then do this right here. Okay, so you're gonna kinda see my my live setup. See if you can hear it through here. Uh playing it. Do you see everything though? No, I still just only see your icon. Okay, can, can you hear it now? More, right? I um, can't hear anything. Hmm. So I have it. I have typed up what you say here. I, I kind of wanted fine. to play it back and everything. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll read it back to you. So, um, and, and, and I'll I'll play it for those who who want to hear it on on stream at all. Um, let me listen to this real quick. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. I gotta be honest. I don't get it. I don't get how somebody like this, right? I don't get how to me if it, if. If anybody made threats like that towards me, right? Towards people I cared about, especially children. We're done. We're done. Oh, okay, so right here, you say, I don't get it. Um, and this a quick paraphrase, I don't get it. If anyone made threats towards me, people I care about, especially children, we're done. Um, and this was that right after you listened to a recording. What did you mean by we're done? You mean like breaking up or you mean walking out of the room? What did you mean? I mean, I, I mean, any time, right? That would happen from the very the first time it would happen. That's it, gone. Okay, were you saying it because like Scott wasn't doing that, or were you just saying like I was what saying you that would do? Just just based on the recordings, right? Based on the fact that this apparently had, had happened before, again by the recordings himself, where he says himself in the recordings, he said, "You constantly do this," okay. Okay. You constantly do this. You constantly hold people hostage, right? By what she's saying. So that implies that this had happened before. So when I was saying done, anytime that I said done, it's in reference to that. It's whenever it happened, one time is too many, right? As soon as you make threats like that, threats of violence. I mean, there's a point, I, and I'm sure you heard this in the very first recording, where his mm -hmm. girlfriend even threatened to rape an 11 year old girl. Yeah, an eleven-year-old little girl. What? What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So to me, it's just like hearing that shit, right? Anything like that to that degree? If that's the kind of shit that he was dealing with, right? That she was constantly doing, right? It should have been over a lot sooner. Should have been okay. Oh, time to go. Okay, and just to make it clear, we're all against the X. The X said some very terrible things. Scott's against it. I think that's the one point that you both y'all can agree on. The X is fucking crazy. You know, everyone's against the X. No one, no one here is defending the X. Clearly, um, here at another point um, between uh, twenty-four minutes and fifty-one seconds to twenty-five minutes and sixteen seconds. Um, paraphrasing, you say, "I don't understand why he would still want to be with a girl like this." I'm gonna play it real quick for my stream, and then I'll let you know when you can uh, explain what you meant here. I don't know. I don't understand why he would still want to be with a girl like this. You know what I mean? Okay, so I just played it. Yeah. You you said I don't understand why he would still want to be a girl with a girl like this. Clearly, in the clips, he's leaving her. Clearly, he has said that he doesn't want to be with her. Clearly, he stated that it's an ex. Are you implying that they're together still or not? No. Again, it's still contingent on what was said prior, right? Like, why would you have ever put up with anybody, anybody? talking to you like that saying stuff like that making threats like that all that stuff right. is vile and disgusting it's just like i don't understand especially look especially considering threats were made towards his own child okay so um i think with this and then near the end as well you talk about how he's still talking to her on twitter or communicating with her or interacting with her on twitter um, do right. you understand where some of these can be taken as, oh, Toy thinks that they're still together? Do you understand that? Oh no, I could see that I could see where somebody okay. might might take that from that. That I can I can say, yeah, I can understand. But where I'm coming from with that, right? Why would you ever talk to somebody like that after the fact? That's the other thing too that boggles my mind, which he does. And this is this comes to transparency, right? Because this is something you mentioned in a previous stream of yours, TJ. You said that Scott was being transparent. So to me, transparency is the good, the bad, and the ugly, 
you're gonna you're gonna say everything even the stuff that might not make you look favorable in the public eye just because you want to be honest about everything and because these things were public at one point okay so when you were asking scott in your own chat the other day he's like oh scott you don't talk to her anymore do you do you? and he didn't say anything until he finally admitted to it to me that's a problem right that he wasn't even transparent with you about that you see what i mean so that's where i have to be like you know it's not good you know what i mean i it's just I, like, I, I, I don't I, I sorry i don't mean to cut you off but i don't know what you mean there because as soon as i asked him he gave an answer and when what yes. he did this on your original stream as well he was in your chat and he got heckled a lot by a lot of people that I'm assuming your community just treats him very differently than my community does. And again, it just might be how we cover it. It is a bit different. You've been a little bit more critical of Scott. I've been critical of Scott and the other side as well, I believe. Um, and, and maybe you've been critical of both sides, but it, it really seems like with the audio recording and the original stream, there's been a lot of criticisms going uh, Scott's way. And, and you also like to bring up kind of like the legal side of things. You like to dive in to sure. a little bit of that and mention that a bit more as well. Um, so again, on, on your side of things, he like when he was in your stream, he got heckled a lot, but he was answering questions. He was saying new things that, you know, I didn't even think of asking him during the interview. And every single time my chat or I have asked Scott, like, a question, he typically answers. And he answers, you know, you know, right away. Um, sometimes if he's getting asked three or four, five, six, seven plus questions at a time, right. he doesn't get to every question. But I he, he I, I think he's been pretty transparent. And he, you know, he very well, like, again, you like to sometimes give the benefit of the doubt to people in these situations. He could have fucking you know curled up into a ball and ran away and and got off the internet at this point and we would have never gotten any answers but the fact that he's on here and yep. he's willing to give answers he's willing to talk he was willing to be again, in chat it it comes down it comes down again he said you know i mean you said that he was being transparent before i to me yeah. it's just like it shouldn't take asking questions after the fact it's fine that he answered it after the fact but what i'm saying is you said he was being transparent but even you didn't know that is my point that's the point I, I'm making. I never, I, I never asked him. That's the I, thing, though. I, I get it. But again, if you're laying all the cards on the table, right? If you're saying, hey, this is how it is, right? And you're vouching for him because that you vouched for him. You said he was being transparent. He obviously wasn't being fully transparent with you. Again, even with the record. Let me ask you this, all right? When you spoke to him, right? Yeah. Did he tell you? Did he tell you? I, I assume he told you about the recordings. I'm going to assume he told you about the recordings. Did he? So in our interview, that's kind of the extent we talked about. The only other thing that we talked about there is I asked, oh, is this what Liz means by the audio clips and being threatened and everything? And he goes, yes, that has to do with the ex-girlfriend okay. situation. Did and we you, didn't dive in did, farther from there. Okay. Did you did you get a chance to hear him before that? Did he ever, did he ever give them to you? Did he ever say, hey, listen to this? No, no. I never got handed the audio okay, clips. See? Un until 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 you got one from a uh concerned party you label in your stream once you did that i then asked hey do you have the originals you can send me and he did and when he sent me the originals it seems like you have very short versions of it because there's some 40 minute long ones that you don't clearly have or show during your stream are you aware of that i'm pretty sure there's plenty more but okay. these were the ones that were sent to me Okay. By this concerned, this concerned party, right? That wanted to remain anonymous. Okay. Okay. Now, you're saying he told you about them after the fact. Again, not initially. And there was things that were said, again, prior in that interview that I think would have helped, right? You knowing the fact that all right, he's saying that this person is, is harmless when that's clearly not the case if she's getting physical with it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's this person that has escalating behavior. I think that's important to know. Because you got to remember, this was all made public, right? If you're going to make it public, I think that you got to make all of it public now at this point. Now, personally, I stand by the fact that I don't think any of this should have been made public. I think this should have been handled privately. But now that it has been made public and you're wanting to be transparent, then I think you got to lay all those cards on the table. Okay. Like I said, the so, the bad and the ugly. Okay, so you're saying that since he's made you know some of this public, he should make everything public. Should he release a photo of what Delirious looks like then? What is uh, what is the what does a photo of Delirious have anything to do with him getting his son back? It, it, in my interview, he talks about possibly showing that as, "Hey, this is the only right. thing I have to leverage against Liz and Delirious since they're leveraging not giving me my kid back." And okay. that is a situation. This is a situation. You just said, "Hey, if you're going to make things public, you might as that, well do it." Isn't that? Wouldn't you, would you apply that same thing? logic to something else? 
No, that's the only thing that he has to leverage, really? He doesn't That's have what he a claimed. That's what he claimed. Is. That's what okay. he claimed. Okay, but he is he not the custodial parent of the child? Because that's something he claimed too in the chat. So I would think he has a court order that shows that. Okay. Which would I, mean, I, I, which would mean I, I, if hold on, hold on. Which would mean that if he is, right, and they're in violation it, it, and Liz is in violation of that, that would mean he's in she's in contempt of court. So I, I don't understand this whole thing. Why is that the only thing that he can leverage against them? Hey, hey, I agree with you. I think if this was handled in court, it would have been a completely different situation. If yeah. it wasn't put put online, I agree. It was put online. Someone asked me, hey, can you help me get my story out there? I said, hey, okay, sure. If you end up lying about ever, all of this, I'm yeah. going to criticize you heavily. I had criticisms mm -hmm. of him even when I put out his story. I'm not trying to sit here and go uber defender on Scott. What I'm saying, though, yeah. is that you claimed if he should put out part of it, you might as lay all the cards out. Well, should he lay all the cards out about Delirious? Because he did bring up Delirious in another situation. Are you also okay. applying to that no, situation? No. I'm saying that has nothing to do with this. Remember, the impetus for all this from the beginning, all right, according to him, the catalyst for all this was the threats that the ex-girlfriend made towards Liz and his son, right? That's That was what apparently kicked off this whole thing. It was that. Then Liz obviously addressed it publicly, although she never specified what it was. She left it vague, and then Scott responded to that. Now, okay. at one point in time, these recordings – according to the, to the person that gave them to me, said these were available on social media. Okay, so they were public at one point, so why are they no longer available then? You see what I'm saying? So it has to do with that. Again, you could say the whole thing with, with the face and stuff like that. That, to me, that has nothing to do with this because that doesn't guarantee that he's going to get his kid back. He could do I, that, I, sure. I guess he could if he wanted okay. to. Okay. Talk, talking about the amplifications and the effects from that, I'm not, I'm, I'm not addressing. I'm just saying, since you said for this situation, which I'm, I'm claiming that they're two different situations. The, the shit with Delirious is different from the shit with the X. But what I'm saying though is, since with the X, you're claiming, hey, if you're gonna put your cards out, you gotta lay all your cards out. Well, if he has cards against Delirious, shouldn't he lay all of his cards out? I'm just saying, in a different situation, would you apply that same logic? Yes or no? That's all I was asking. With with Delirious, like I said again. You just said yourself that's a separate situation altogether. So again, yes. if he feels the need that he has to do that, if that's what he feels he needs to do, I guess he could he could play that card. That's his prerogative. What I'm saying is, again, the issue at hand here is not Delirious's face or what he looks like. It's getting his son back, right? So to me, okay. this stuff, right? The stuff with the ex is what's important. And the whole thing is, look, if he put him out before, right? Why doesn't he just release him all then? Right? Because okay. he had already released stuff before. He didn't release the lyricist picture before. Okay. Hey. You know, I, when, when he I, went, very well could have, but he did release these recordings before. He did okay. make them available for public consumption at, at, okay. at a point in time. Okay. Well, and, and, and I understand that. What, what I'm saying, though, it, it, it's just simple. For this, you said since he had them public at one point, if you're going to lay out your cards like that, you should put them all out there sort of thing. Okay. You say that. And – what you were referring to there is that if he's going to go out and, you know, talk about the situation, don't be cherry picking what you release. You know, it's like a criticism I had of Oma a long time ago. He was cherry picking mm -hmm. things to put out on Twitter. And I said, hey, dude, release everything if you're going to do it. Don't be cherry picking all these small different things because these are just going to be small little updates and blah, 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 blah. But with a whole different situation, would you apply that same logic? It's just a yes or no. Would you apply that same logic? Hey, if you're going to deal cards, deal all of them. Would you apply the same logic? Again, you could say, you could say that, right? You could say that it's it's. Again, they're completely different situations. So you if wouldn't, you, you would, you wouldn't card, lay all, out of all your cards with delays. Card, no, no, no. Here's the thing. The thing is, if he was gonna play that card, why didn't he play it already? Okay. You see what I'm saying? It's just like so. So he already I, uh, released the recordings before. So to me, it's just like you can. He still can. He could very well still play that card. So if he wants to, he can. Okay. But he so, didn't. So, so you're saying. Don't play all your cards when it comes to Delirious, but when it comes to the X, play all your cards. Well, what is Delirious again? What does Delirious have to do with him getting his son back? Again, I'm just talking about two. I, I'm trying to understand your line of thought because you said, "Okay, play all your cards here," and I'm my like, of, "Okay, is that consistent to a different when situation?" Comes, when it comes to getting his son back, right? Which I think is, I think we could both agree, right? This is the main issue at hand, right? It's getting the son back. Am I am I wrong on that? 
He just wants his son back. That's what he's. That's what he said. He yes, wants he wants his son back. Yes. Okay. So we see that he sent Liz these recordings of this crazy person saying all this stuff. Okay, because he had concern for her and her safety, right? And okay. his son's safety. All right. He put all that out there. Okay. Okay. Something so that he had put out publicly before. All right. In an attempt to, in his words, right? He was doing it yep. to protect Liz. Mm -hmm. He did it to help Liz. Okay. Because he thought that this person might actually do something. Otherwise, why, why, why bother? Okay. 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 So, okay. Why, so why does, uh, why does, why does showing this guy's face, right? In order, how does that help him get his son back? This is what I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay. He could do that. He could play that card, but how does that help him get his son back? What's okay. the guarantee that he gets his son back doing that? I don't think there is a guarantee. I think it was very dumb yeah. for him to make tweets online. We can go on on what I think yeah. about that here in a second. My original question, though, to you was never answered, though. I said that with the X situation, you said that to lay out all your cards, you were going to sit here and you, hey, if you're going to release the recordings, release all of them, put them all out there. Okay? Yeah. That is – is that a good representation of what you meant? Like, hey, if you're going to lay out your cards with the X thing, lay out all your cards. Just a yes or no. Is that a good representation? I mean, that's that's what he did. He okay, did put okay. The recordings out there. Now, and 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 you agree that he should just lay out all the cards and keep them out there. If he's saying that he's going to be transparent about everything, right? That he's going to be transparent about this whole situation, then he should do it. Now, if he feels that the transparency also, for whatever reason, includes him putting the lyricist's face out there, then I guess he could do that too. I mean, again, I don't see why that has anything to do with this, but like I said, he could do that. Okay. If he so that's what he needs to do, then he I guess he, he could have been done it. Okay. So Toy, what I was trying to get at with this is that you 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 claim with the X situation it is clear that like okay, lay out all your cards if you're gonna if you're gonna end up doing that, okay, and lay out all, all the cards with this. Uh with the these recordings being out and you didn't really have the full versions of it, it's you know, debatable if all the cards are out there, if the full recordings are ever going to be released again or not. That's a whole different thing uh, to talk about there. But having said that, you saying and arguing, hey, if you're going to, you know, put your cards out there, put all your cards out there. OK, I was just wondering, hey, with the delirious situation, do you believe Scott should do the same thing? Are you saying that for situations like this, when, you know, you're going to go out there to try to prove a point, um, um, you know, validate what you're saying to try to sit here and say, hey, I'm not lying, here you go, that sort of thing. Similar to the audio recordings, he put it out there. Hey, it backs up what he said in my interview. Would he just play all the cards there? I was asking you just a yes or no if, hey, if he's going to, if you say he should pl play all of his cards with the X situation, should he play all of his cards with him, like, revealing Delirious's photo? Like, should he just put out all of his cards and, and release the photo? I'm just asking for a yes or no if you think he should do that. Or just tell me if you don't want to put out what you think at the time. Wait, do I think that he should do that? Yes, do you think he do should I, do that? Do I think he should do that? Yeah. I mean, he could do that. I mean, but do I think he should? I don't know what he'll get out of it, but if he thinks that he'll get something out of it, I guess he could. Okay. So, moving but on. I, I don't <laughs> okay. see, like I said, I don't see how that has anything at all to do with the other stuff because, again, that doesn't guarantee anything. What might guarantee again, him I was I, w I wasn't trying to make a connection between the two. I wasn't trying to pull, like, a quick I got you. I was just asking, hey, if you have that logic with this situation, do you have that logic with the other? And you just said you don't know what it would claim. I'm going to take that as a no. He shouldn't play all of his cards when it comes to the delirious thing, but when it comes to the X thing, it's a yes. And that's kind of just what I'm going to take from based off what you said. I don't Again, I don't want to take up a lot of your time. I know you, you're not here for a six-hour stream. I, I have to move on to the next thing. Um, moving on to the next thing, I got a quick audio clip um let me in the chat listen to this real quick and then i'll repeat to you what it says real quick from your stream it's at uh four minutes and seven seconds at the beginning of your stream now obviously i've i've been critical of the way that scott has handled things publicly because i feel like uh these kinds of these kinds of family affairs i think that they're better left uh handled through the courts if at all possible instead of you know running to twitter or any other social media to you know talk about this stuff and try to put stuff out there I think it's much more productive to use the legal system, especially Scott claims to be the custodial parent of his son. So I would think he has some court order to show that um, 
he has, you know, he has this, his son most of the time, right? At least from, from what he was saying. So okay, so right here, you, ju you just talk about, um, you just talk about um, pretty much making this sort of thing public. You think that it should be happening in court. Uh, you think that, you know, it, it should be happening there. That's what you say at the, like the four minute and seven second part. Uh, you yeah. still believe it should stay in court, right? Absolutely. Okay. So having said that, are you aware that Liz is the first one to bring this drama out? If you mean the tweet that she put on, uh, July on 24th. Yes. Yeah. I, I realized that she tweeted something, right? Yep. But, that wasn't the catalyst for this situation. That didn't start the situation. So she might have put it out publicly, but she was being very vague about what it was. I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. Why are you no jumping idea. right away? If whether or not it's the catalyst of the situation, I was just asking if you were aware that Liz put it out first. Yes, I know that there was a tweet put out by Liz Katz that was very vague. Yes. Okay. All right. So are you're aware you, one of your you know things about this is that you think it should be you know in in court obviously you don't think this this should be publicly i think a lot of us uh think that as well it should be handled behind the scenes um right. liz was the first one to refer to it publicly on july 24th as far as we know all of scott's or tweets where he's talking about you know exposing what delirious looks like and describing what delirious looks like that is all happening july 27th and onward three days prior to that is when Liz first talks about this publicly. Do you agree so, with everything that I just said there? So she tweeted about it publicly, right? Yes. And I say there's criticism to be had there, right? Even mentioning it. Okay. But again, that... it was a vague tweet. Nobody was implicated in that tweet by name. So again, I had no idea what the hell she was talking about. I had seen that tweet. I thought it had to do with the court case for some reason. So that's the information I was looking up. It wasn't until you got a hold of me that, and told me what you were doing with the interview and all that stuff that I, you know, you explained what had happened. I was like, oh, did this have to do with that? Because I had no clue. So even though she tweeted about it publicly, like I said, that was vague. What I see in the situation though is like, again, there was obviously a catalyst for that situation. Now, do I agree with her making that tweet, right? No, she probably shouldn't have made that tweet, but at the same time, again, there was no way to know what the hell she was talking about. Like, I had no clue. Would you have taken that tweet and said, oh, I know exactly what she's talking about upon seeing it just fresh, right? Okay. You, and say, I know exactly what she's talking about. So, sorry, say that again. I said, you seeing that tweet, right? Seeing her tweet that. Yep, yep. Did you look at that and say, oh, I know exactly what she's talking about? No, I did not know at the time. So, I talked about it publicly during my stream as well. Yeah, so it's just like, what? what is that? Again. Okay, so uh, I, I got to address the chat real quick. Yes, I'm aware that Scott wants to join right now. We're not going to do that. I still got plenty of other questions to ask Toy, and I'm going to ask Toy's permission if he even wants Scott to join. But I'm not here looking for a huge fight and an argument happening. Scott's not joining as far as right now. Maybe later on, maybe, but not as of right now. Having said this, though, I want to move on to the next point real quick. Um, I just wanted to, you know, cover bases. Okay, Liz made it uh, public um, first, but she was vague. And uh, Scott came out here, you know, blasting the lyrics on the 27th. And then um, I think right around that time is when me and Scott got in contact. And then the video was eventually published, XYZ, XYZ, XYZ. So, so would you agree the one that made, that obviously made the implications of who it was, was Scott first? Yeah, Scott Scott made it apparent on who it was first. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. Um now now you, you did say that there's criticism to be held towards Liz for that, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Abs I think it's fair to criticize I, I think it is absolutely fair to criticize Liz for that. Absolutely. Okay. I agree. Okay. Everything great here. Um uh let me look real quick here. Um so at um one eleven thirty. I marked this point for something. I think what you brought up here is you brought up Scott's tweets again. Um, let me listen to it real quick to get an understanding mm -hmm. of what you were saying. Four hundred pounds and is about five foot ten and only has one eye. Also, the guy pays someone to pretend to be him. His face is so disgusting he can't show it in public. And he copied and pasted this tweet and put different 
and tag different people on it, including YouTube Gaming, Game Informer, Today Headline, 42, you know, PC Invasion, Total Gaming, right? Indie Retro News. Okay, so I think you were just covering all the different tweets there. Um, I just wanted to double check and see see what was that all about and everything like that. Um, so moving on to the next thing that I needed to talk about here. Uh, let me find it real quick. Um, what were your comments? Uh, re or real quick, I just wanted to refresh uh, your opinion on like the all bark um, bite, um, all, or all bark, not bite. Uh, he made you know pretty much a comment saying that he feels like his ex girlfriend is um, okay. harmless. Um, do you understand though that like how maybe we perceived what you were saying during the stream maybe came off differently than what we thought like i thought you were implying that they were still together there's plenty of moments where you know i thought you were implying that they were still together when clearly they weren't and you didn't really oh. make the effort to sit here and say hey yeah. they're not together by the way they they broke up in one I of these audio clips he's actually leaving her so having said that um do you understand like like the all bark no bite and she's harmless do you understand that that's probably just his opinion, but he still warned Liz because he knew Liz might be upset about these and Liz might be taking them way more seriously than he might be? I, I get that. I can get that, but here's 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 the issue I have with that, right? Here's okay. here's why I would criticize him on it, okay? If it's not a big deal... Here's why I'm what? Afraid. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said can there. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's my criticism on that, okay? Okay. Here's my, here's my I, I guess, issue with him saying that, right? I get where he might look at it and be like, well, I could handle her. It's not a big deal. That's fine, right? If he feels that way, right? But here's the thing. He obviously had enough concern to tell Liz about. It. Again, his own words, because he didn't want her to be at risk. Right. Now, if, if Scott truly believes that she's harmless, all bark, no bite, like he was saying to you, then I don't see any point in even telling Liz. Right. Okay. I see no point in even recording her, honestly. Okay. Okay. Because so let let me cut you off here real quick because I I I think we, you know I could save a lot of time here with saying okay clearly he showed Liz for a reason okay him sh he showing Liz the audio clips and everything saying and, and him even recommending her to get a restraining order means okay they might see this as harmful he him talking to me during the interview he sees her as harmless because of multiple different reasons like the last time I live streamed he said that she was like 5'7 120 pounds and he's 6'4 260 pounds he doesn't feel like she is a threat to him but he but but with him sending the audio clips and him telling Liz, hey, you should get a restraining order if you feel like you need one, he understands other people might see her as, like, harmful based off the audio clips and what she has claimed. Do you understand that? I understand that, but here's the thing. Okay. He says, right, he could say that, hey, look, I'm, I'm, I weigh this much, I weigh this much, and I'm this height. I don't fear her really hurting me, right? I get all okay. that, right? But here's the thing. She obviously was not afraid to put hands on him, okay? And I think that that speaks to a, to a problem of once look once you cross over into these situations where these domestic situations where they become physical. If there's no proper intervention in these situations, I think we could both agree. Typically, those tend to escalate, right? So if she has no no fear whatsoever of of punching him in the face or hitting him, regardless of his height and weight advantage over her, okay. What's to stop anything worse coming down the line? Now, he could say, hey, I could handle her. That's fine. I'm sure he could. But it won't matter, right, in a situation where he's flat on his back asleep, will it? You get my okay. point? Okay, so, okay. To me, it's so, like, that's so, fine if he, has, if he personally has no fear of her doing anything to harm him. He could say that. But again, there's been situations where she's already crossed the line with him and has been willing to get physical with him. So from that, I can only see it, it could get worse. If she's not afraid to do that to him, a guy who could probably molly whop her with one shot, then what's to say she won't go a step further with somebody else if she gets enraged enough? Okay. 
And I, th- I, th- I think that's why he warned Liz. I think that's why he sat here and said, you should get a restraining order. You should have this extra protection. And when she okay. sat here and claimed, because, you know, this is all the, you know, the basis of this is because of the audio clips and stuff like that. But if you really wanted to fine tune on, like, where was the catalyst and all of this, the real catalyst wasn't just hearing the audio clips. Because if Liz got a restraining order and then he sat here and goes, I'm not going to get a restraining order because I think she's harmless. She ain't going to do nothing to me. Then if Liz said, okay, and then still proceeded to have the normal okay you pick up zane at this point blah 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 there would have been no problem this would have never went public what the real catalyst is is that scott claims and this is all based on if this is true by the way scott claims liz demanded demanded scott to get a restraining order and uh if you know pretty much since he didn't Zane, you know, he never got to see Zane again. He can't talk to Zane X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. That is really the catalyst if you're really going to zoom in on this and be very, very specific instead of just saying, oh, it's like the ex-girlfriend, the audio clips, that's the catalyst. Well, no, it's more Liz and Scott had to dispute about the restraining order about the ex-girlfriend. So having said this, do you think, do, do you honestly think Scott should have gotten a restraining order? Do you think that, are you criticizing him for not getting a restraining order? Yes, Okay, so order, and here's here's why, right? Okay. Scott's own words, right? In your in the interview you had with you, right? Yep. So he said, "I'm not going to obey a court order." This was towards the end of your interview with him. Until I get my son, I'm going to keep going. I don't care. I will keep. He said, "I don't care if I go to jail. I don't care if I get sued. Until I'm homeless, they can do whatever they want. I will keep doing. I will keep going till I get my son." Right. So okay. to me, this is a no brainer, right? If Liz is demanding, hey, look, just get a restraining order, I would feel, you know, I, I don't know what she said to him, right? But I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that the reason she wanted a restraining order was because, look, I want to make sure that this crazy woman, there's no chance of her ever coming around my son unexpectedly. Okay. That should be a done deal, especially if Scott's already done with her, right? Scott yeah. has no reason to be around this woman anymore whatsoever. If she's moved away, doesn't matter, right? Okay. To me, look, if that's all he has to do to be able to see his son again, I think that's a pretty easy decision to make, okay. right? Especially considering how he says he's going to keep going till he gets his son. All he wants is to see his son. I don't see why in this particular instance you can't just be like, all right, you know what? I'll just, I'll just do the freaking restraining order because I just okay, want to okay. see my son. Okay, okay. So at, at, a couple things. One – do you honestly think that a piece of paper, if she, if she was crazy enough to actually go and harm someone and 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 have actions based on the words she said, all the threats, if she were to act upon those threats, do you think that a piece of paper would stop her from, let's say, going to Scott's place? Do you think that, that piece of paper would stop her? Right? Huh? Because as soon as he sees her coming, call the police. Hey, my ex is here. Okay. From arrest. Okay. Her. And, and, and this is based on, you know, co- cops threat. are right down the street and they're going to be there in 30 seconds to be able to capture her right away before she, you know, hits him, you know, while he's laying down sleeping like you I implied. Don't know. That depends on where he's at. I mean, and I would okay. think if he had a restraining order, would he let her in? If he's already gotten a restraining order, why would he let her in? Okay, so it, 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 if, if if the worries the kids, are you un, are you aware that Liz as the mother can have a restraining order to put on even the kids from this woman um, because she's the mother. She can do it on the behalf of her children sure, as well. Sure. So can, so can Scott, but again, okay. So can Scott. Yep. So, so can Scott. Okay. So do, do you understand that there's some people who just believe that a piece of paper saying, you know, Hey, don't go around or you can be arrested and have charges filed against you. Do you understand that some people just wouldn't trust the piece of paper and rather just defend themselves their own way? Like maybe, you know, ha- you know, the second amendment, the rights bear arms, having guns yeah. in their house, you know, being yeah. tougher and stronger and being in more of a secure location, him having cameras outside of his house, which he also said in the interview to make sure his location is safe. And he knows exactly who's knocking on his door and who's around his house at all times. So all the more reason for him to get a restraining order if he's going to be able to see her coming. Do, do you understand, though, that some people just, you know, don't sure. find that piece of I, I paper get, as helpful? Some people, some people would, may look at it that way, but again, it, it's just okay. another deterrent. Okay. It's just so, another deterrent. That's what it is. It's it's a deterrent for peace of mind. Okay? So okay. if Liz is like, if Hurley demand is just like, listen, just get a restraining order, you know, on this woman, that's for peace of mind. Let me... The audio, right? What do you think would happen, right? If you took that audio and I don't know, played it for, um, say your own mother, right? 
Okay. What do you think her response would be to it hearing somebody like that saying stuff about what she would potentially do to you? Like if I was in Scott's situation? If you were in the situation, right, where you were being threatened, right? Okay. That your life was being threatened the way his son's life is being threatened, okay? Right, right. If you play that audio for your mom, right, and, and the 14-year-old kid in question was you, what do you think she would say? Uh, I hope you, you know, aren't friends or dating that person anymore, which... No, no, no. I'm saying you're the kid in the situation. The I'm Scott the kid. The situation is your dad. How do you Whoa. think? How do you think she would react to hearing something like that? Okay, so if you're trying to like refer to like if I was in Zane's shoes or whatever, how would my parents react to it? Okay, and I'm yeah. telling you right here in it, here in Iowa, the community that I've grown up in, you know, there's there's been encounters of threats and people showing up at doors and knocking and trying to break in and stuff like that. I have never ever like we we had a situation a long time ago where. I'm not going to get into it because uh, it's, it's a family matter or whatever, but no restraining orders were ever kept. You know, we, we, you know, maybe called the police sat here and said, okay, we don't want those people around X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, just in case. But most of the time it dealt, how it was dealt was going out there and dealing with it or just keeping the doors locked and making sure that you just have yeah. nice security at the home. But most people around here wouldn't go through the effort on what going to a courthouse and trying to get a restraining order or calling the police to try to say, Hey, I want a restraining order dealt on this person, X, Y, Z. Most people around here, at least the people that I've always interacted with, I have, n I, I've never known a person who've gotten a restraining order before because most situations that need to be dealt with are usually dealt with the way to protect oneself. If someone is crazy enough to do that. Now in Scott's situation, he felt like, okay, she, she's harmless to me. I'm not going to do that. But he warned Liz, you should do it, though, if you want if you want to get a restraining order. I felt like that was very polite of him to, first off, warn her about this. Because, you know, if he never yeah. did warn her about this, that would look terrible on him. But second... Um, but by his own words, by his own words, again, he thinks that she's a harmless person that's not going to make good on any of that stuff. Again, again stuff that he said. These were things that he said. That she's more bark than bite. His words, right? Because yes, that's so his opinion of it. Why would he ever take anything she says seriously? Hmm. Why would he ever take anything she says seriously? Again, he was looking out on behalf of Liz and saying, "Hey, she did make these threats. You can handle it by going to that restraining he order. I'm going to handle it my way." Listen, 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 real quick. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, to get a restraining order. He didn't ask Liz to get a restraining order. Okay, okay, told. Okay, you. He said that you should get a. Re he he gave a recommendation. He said you should. No, no, no. You he should said, get no, one. He, his exact words were, I told Liz to get a restraining order. That's that's in your interview. Okay. Okay. 1530 mark. The 1530 mark? Yes. Okay. Around the 1530 mark. He didn't want her to be at risk. He told her to get a restraining order. He said to con he told her to contact the police and get a restraining order. Because he okay, didn't want Liz to be at risk. You're, you're, so you're saying, you're you're saying there, want now. You're saying want, want now. Is, is it want or is he demanding her? What no, are you trying to get out here? He told Liz to contact the police and get a restraining order because he okay. didn't want Liz to be at risk. So, oh, okay. so if there's no inherent risk, there's no need for any of this. That's that's my whole point with this. It's just like, what, okay. What, what is time it? stamp is was it? Uh, 1530 of your interview with Scott. Okay. I was on the wrong video for a second. So if, if Scott's ex wasn't a threat as he claims, why would she be a risk to Liz? All right, give me one second. So I had a girlfriend that, you know, she has some problems, and I broke up with her. Um, she had threatened Liz, and when she threatened Liz, Liz has a tendency to be histrionic. I told Liz to contact the police and get a restraining order because I didn't want Liz to be at risk. I literally was protecting Liz. I Okay, so he sat here and said like you said, told, okay. So, having said that, thank thank you by the way for clarifying that. He said told, he told Liz to get a restraining order and she yeah. she clearly wanted it, so no issue there. What she wanted is for him to get a restraining order. He didn't want to get one. And so you're saying that if he didn't get the restraining order then oh well, yeah yeah, his kid can be not over at Scott's place, you know, that Liz has every right to hold the kid Look, because I, the restraining order is not I, uh, Scott. I obviously order. don't know what conversation that, that Liz has got after that. I would assume 
I would assume that that was that him coming back to Scott's house, like you said before, was contingent on him getting that restraining order. Like I said, if Scott is saying, all I want is my son back, I don't understand why that would have been such a big deal, right? You're saying she's not a risk, right? She's not a risk at all, but yet you still told Liz to get a restraining order, right? If you kept this from Liz, she wouldn't have done anything. I think that's a fair assumption, right? Do, do, do you understand that he might have his own opinion different that different from Liz? That's like fine. he has his own opinion? That's fine. Whatever, okay. opinion, whatever it is that he thinks, that's fine. He's entitled to that. But again, he said, again, he told her to get that restraining order because he didn't want her to be at risk. Again, if you really believe okay. that he wasn't at risk at all, why tell her to get a restraining order? Why okay. even bring it up to her? That's, that's my whole thing. This is where I find it weird to me. This is why I find this whole thing weird. It's just like, okay. Because he told Liz to get a restraining order. Okay. He did tell her. Yes, he told Liz to. I know that. I'm just saying. That's where you're hung was, up on this? If, if she wasn't at a risk, right, then there would be no need to tell Liz anything. Do you, un do you understand because of his height and his weight, he might not view her as a I, risk? Do you I understand that? I, I get. I, look, TJ, I completely understand. Then why are you hung up on that? Himself in the situation regarding her, right? I understand that. That's not that's not the point though. To me, that doesn't matter because he felt there was enough risk, okay? He felt there was enough risk to get Liz, right, to get this restraining order. Okay? Now, okay. He obviously feels that she can do something. If not, if he feels that she wouldn't do anything at all, that she's just full of shit, right? And she talks a big game but doesn't do anything, there wouldn't be any need. So are, implying, are, so are you implying? So you implying? Presumably, she's never going to act on it according according to how he told you, right? You know that she's all bark, no bite. Presumably, she wouldn't act on it. So again, it's it's kind of weird that he says, "Okay, look, you know, get a restraining order. Call the cops. Get a restraining order because I don't want you to be at risk." But yet again, we see a situation with him. He says she's harmless. Obviously, that's not the case based on the recordings. Because of stuff that's happened with him. And again, what does his height and weight matter if he's flat on his back asleep one day, right? Let's say she has an episode and she decides to take it to the next level. Okay. If you want to get into specifics real quick, okay. She, do you, are, you, are you aware that she doesn't drive? Yeah, just yes or no? No, but again. Okay, okay. Second, are you, are, are you aware that she's partially deaf and partially blind? Just yes or no? Is just she yes partially deaf and blind? No, but again. Okay, okay, okay. That? Another thing. Are, are you aware that she's 5'7 and only 120 pounds? Yes or no? Again, again. Okay, so. Just a yes or no. Yes or no, because I got I got to rattle through a couple. I'm not yes aware no. of this stuff, but again. Okay, okay. What, okay so are you are you aware are you aware that she's borderline? Okay, I heard him say that in the call, but again. Okay. He's he thought she was enough of a risk for Liz to get a restraining order. If you do you understand, Liz is a woman, and a woman and Liz as a okay, woman is a lot smaller. Me, you just told you just told me that she's partially deaf, partially blind, and she can't drive. Yes. Okay. So he's saying she's not a risk. Why even bother telling Liz? Why even bother telling Liz anything? Right. Especially if you're saying that Liz has a history of being, you know, that she's she has a tendency to be histrionic. Right. Why tell her anything at all? Then why record okay. it? And if this is why. In, this in is why. Any inherent danger. If she's not in, in any inherent danger, then there's no need to even tell her. There's no need to even record it. Okay. All right. Okay. This is gonna sound weird, but you asked me why. Why? Why do this? Okay. So, do you are you aware that maybe a woman going after another woman, you know, is most likely going to cause an altercation, could cause harm, could cause something tragic to happen compared to a woman that might be going after a man. Typically, men are bigger, stronger, and they can usually protect them. Usually, again, there's always those sure. exceptions, but usually can protect themselves. Do you agree with that? Yeah, sure. Okay, and do you agree that maybe if Liz isn't at the house or even if she's outside the house or whatever and she is, this ex is aware of where Liz and Delirious lives and she sees Liz, okay, She's a woman. The ex is a woman. Liz is a woman. There's, you know, some potential danger. Scott believes and thinks on his behalf, since he is 260 pounds and 6'4", that he can fairly well protect himself against this woman who's significantly smaller than him. Do you understand that, you know, he just 
he feels like he can protect himself and maybe Liz is significantly I, smaller than him and that she I, maybe can't protect that. herself against him. Do you I, understand that? I get that. I do understand that. But let me ask you something. Would Scott be able to protect himself from a point blank gunshot to the head while he's asleep? Where'd you hear that guns were involved in this? I, listen, I, I'm making a point. All right. You're saying the point that needs to back up something to more legit person. because right. then, you're, okay, if, if you're going to make a point the, just by bringing up thing. some. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're playing this whole thing. All right. We're playing this whole semantical argument of saying, okay, look, you know, it's more likely that Liz could get hurt by her. Listen. It's not semantical. Girl, it's backed up by Liz, research. Okay. But here's the thing, though. What's the women can her? get hurt by women. Mm -hmm. Men yes, typically can protect they, themselves. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. It's just like, so why would you understand? Why would you underestimate the fact that she, he could potentially get hurt by her too? Like, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? If she's nuts and she finds the means, what's to stop her from doing something to Scott as well? I'm, I'm not arguing he, that he, he can't get hurt by her. I'm arguing that he has more of a chance to protect himself so he feels more comfortable just protecting sure. himself on that, his that own rather than getting a restraining order. You're arguing since, since he recommended Liz to get a restraining order and that he said that she's all bark, no bite, and she's harmless because, again, he was – probably more speaking in his opinion he doesn't see her as harmless that's why he didn't get the restraining order it's pretty cut and dry what he meant there most people pick that up most people probably in my chat can agree that okay yeah the reason why he sees her as harmless is because he is bigger he is uh, more capable of protecting himself and okay. the reason why he recommended the restraining order to liz is because she is smaller okay. and she probably can't protect herself okay so l let me ask you something because i i recall you doing amber heard and Johnny Depp covering that. It didn't seem like you're being consistent with what you were saying there. Okay? What Men was I saying there? Abuse too, right? Right? And a gun, huh? let me tell you, a gun or a weapon doesn't care about height or weight. Okay? You said that men could be abused too. It doesn't matter how tall Scott is. Yes. It doesn't matter how much he weighs. None of that matters. He was abused in those clips. Okay? He was hit. Yes. 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 Is, yes. A hundred percent. Yes. I'm not yes. saying he can't get hurt. I'm saying he's more comfortable protecting himself. And, you're you're going on the point he, that, oh, he can't get hurt. I'm not saying that. He, that's fine if he feels that way, right? He can, he can feel that way about the situation. But again, when we're talking about his son in the situation, who he said he was custodial parent of, meaning that he primarily stays with his father, do you see why Liz might have concerns about Scott as well, staying over there, being the protector of that house. Okay. So you're saying a restraining order, a piece of paper, saying if you call the police, if they ever show up at your door, they're going to come arrest her. Okay, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Which, by the way, is they would do regardless of the uh, piece of paper, the restraining order. You could call the police if someone shows sure. up at your door and you don't want them okay. there. You don't need a restraining order. You don't need a piece of paper. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I let you talk. I was quiet. Now you're going to be quiet so I can talk. So... If regardless of the piece of paper, regardless of the restraining order, you can still call the police and say, hey, there's someone at my door. He has cameras outside. He leaves his door locked. OK, if Zane is over at his house, you're saying, well, since he's the custodial parent, Zane's going to be at his house most of the time. Well, a couple things here. One, as a father and as most men out there, they feel like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Still talking real quick. So. He feels like he can probably protect him, his son better than any police showing up at the door, any piece of paper saying that she can't be there. He can sit here and protect the son way better. Second, his house is secure. He, she's saying right here in the chat that he has a loud uh, security system. Again, just taking it off of what he's saying here. He does have cameras at his place. He does have detection. If anyone's outside of his place, he gets alerted about all of this. He has better protection set up than just... He doesn't just have some unlocked door where she can sneak through a window or sneak through the door and come harm him while he sleeps and while Zane is sleeping over there. It's not that easy and not that cut and dry. He has a specific situation. He's talked about this. He's expressed this. He's answered this. He's even tried okay. to sit here and answer any questions people have about this situation so they understand it better. And those who go out and ask that are literally looking, okay, is that a safe place? And from what he said, most people do think it is a safe place. And they don't think that piece of paper would help anyone. Anymore. And he has the freedom to decide if he wants that piece of paper. The real That's, issue, the that, real issue yeah. here, hold on. The, the real issue here is that Liz demanded that if he doesn't get a restraining order, there is no contact. You'll, you won't see your son. 
And I think that is an issue to me, to someone who has the freedom to decide if they want to get a restraining order, to decide if they want to protect themselves either through law or by other physical means, if they show up at the door and try to break in, he has the right to do that. And I don't think it's some commentary YouTuber should be criticizing him over that. I think that's really pathetic. It, that's the whole point I'm trying to get here. I don't think a piece of paper and a restraining order is it going to be the is going to be the ultimate for protection. It is for peace of mind. Okay. The, so is a gun. Do you recommend order, him getting a gun? Restraining order. So is a gun. My turn. My turn, TJ. The restraining order guarantees jail time if she, if it's violated. You understand? It guarantees jail time. That is a deterrent. Okay. That is for peace of mind for Liz in this situation. Okay. And again. Scott sits there and he says, again, you know, all that matters is, you know, him being with the son, right? Getting a son. I don't see why it's an issue to just say, fine, hey, I'm not with her anymore. She said some messed up shit. I'm done with her. Yeah, I'll get the restraining order. Why is that so difficult? You know what I mean? He can say all he wants, right? Hey, my house is secure. I have this. I have that. Whatever. Liz might not be willing to take that guarantee as a mom. You know, she might, she not, she might not be willing to take that chance, I should say, right? As a mom. Okay. For her, it might be a comfort thing, right? She feels, hey, you know what? Just to be certain, I think you should get a restraining order on her. That way I don't have to worry. So, you know, so. You say, hey, it's just a piece of paper, this, that, or the other. That piece of paper guarantees jail time. That is a deterrent for somebody. You understand? Yeah, yeah. so, so, that, is, that so is a handgun in the house is also a deterrent. I understand sure. that. Do you recommend they get sure. handguns? Sure. I mean, we have the right to bear arms. If he feels that's going to secure more, that's fine. But again, okay. you know, if you're telling somebody else to get all these things right, because again, look, how do we know? I don't know what uh, Liz's house is like. Maybe she has cameras there too. Maybe they have guns there too. Again, and they also, and Liz, I don't know if she's gotten her restraining order or not, but I would assume she's going to get one, right? Okay. But again, if it's conditional on just Scott getting that restraining order, right, to be able to see his son, I don't see why that has to be an issue. Why can't that, why can't that just be a done deal? Because again, that's something that guarantees jail time. Okay. So, so it seems like it, it seems like just to me that you I'm are not, a lot I'm more defend. Well, go ahead. Does he have a gun? Does Scott does, has Scott said that he I has a gun? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, if if, if a piece of paper uh, where the police might show up in the next five to ten minutes, depending on how close they are or whatever, or a handgun to shoot yeah. anyone who's actually trying to physically but, harm his child. Happen. Just saying, it's one is a lot quicker and a lot more you know, secure of, hey, your son's probably going to live through that if you end up protecting yourself through your own means rather than having the police w wait for the police to show up at that door. He wants to protect his kid without the restraining order. He should have the right as a parent to decide that. And you're, and what it sounds like is you're defending Liz because he didn't bend to Liz, Liz's demands no, of getting a restraining if, order. If, look, if his whole thing is about getting his son back I think that's a pretty easy thing to just say, all right, cool, I'll do it. I don't see why it has to be this thing of like, well, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to do it because you're telling me to do it. That makes no sense to me for a guy who's saying all so he wants he, to be his son. So, okay, so Scott said that she's – this isn't the first time apparently if, if, that, if I don't know whether or not that's true or not. But apparently he said that this is not the first time she's, you know, leveraged something to get something or to demand something or X, Y, Z. So if she goes and demands another thing, should he just bend and say, well, it, my son's more important, so I have to bend and, and do what my ex-wife yes, says? this son is more important. Isn't that the whole point of all of this? Okay, but Isn't you literally – hold on, hold on, hold on. But you literally just recommended him going to court. So is it bending to the wills of Liz or is it going to court to say, no, I'm not going to listen to every demand you say? You literally just admitted he should listen to Liz, every single Liz's demand and he should do it. I said, look – You just said, yes, the son's more important. Do it. Listen, he's – yeah, the son is the most important thing here, right? If, if she's saying, hey, listen, I just want you to get – this restraining order, right? For peace of mind for me, right? Which I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't say for sure what she said, but I'm, I'm just assuming here, right? If that's the peace of mind that she needs in order for him to go back to that house, I don't see what the issue is here. I don't see why you can't just do that. And again, look, Scott himself. Because he, he said, gets right? to choose. He gets listen, to choose if he listen. wants to do that or not. How he protects his kid is not any of 
first off, it, it, yes, it's not any of our concern, but the fact that it's part public, we're talking about it. But if he chooses he wants to protect his kid this way, listen, shouldn't he, he be able to choose that? Don't you think that? He said, listen, listen, again, he said, right, these words he said, he's not going to be, he's not going to obey a court order until he gets his son back. He's going to keep going. He doesn't care if he goes to jail, which makes no sense to me, because if you go to jail, obviously you're going to be even longer away from your son, right? I don't care if I get sued until I'm homeless. They can do whatever they want. I will keep going till I get my son. Okay. So yes. to me, a man who says that, right, who's who seems to put importance on just getting his son back, I don't yes. see why ego has to get in the way of that because that's the only thing I could presume this is, right? I won't do it because you're telling me to do it, right? To okay. me, it doesn't matter whether or not you, he feels you... safe or not. Well, hold on, hold on. Whether he, whether Scott feels safe or not, right? Look, I can take care of myself. This, that, or the other. I'm not threatened by her. That's fine. He could feel that way. That's fine. That's fine, but if if this is all about just getting his son back, that should be an easy decision. That's it. Okay, okay. So you you claim that hey, this shouldn't be about ego. He's claimed that he's just tired of having his kid taken away from him over and over again, which he's claimed this hap has happened several times. Okay. There's okay. going to be a point where if you keep pushing someone and you keep saying, yo, I ain't going to give you your kid back. You ain't going to be able to see your kid. If that ends up happening over and over and over again, this is more so going on the ends of like, okay, your basic human right to be able to uh, your his American right. You know, the he has all the freedom to choose what he wants to do, how he wants to handle the situations. He should give all that up. Go buy the book on what Liz Cat writes, and then he'll be able to see his kid. You're saying that he should do that based off his claim saying, like, the kid's more important. If if his whole thing is he just wants to see his son, right? If it's just all about his son, then just do what's best for your son. That's what I'm saying, all right? And what he feels like his best is protecting his kid on his own, not a piece of paper. If all this, if all this was going to be issues for him, right? He shouldn't have moved, right? Shouldn't have moved, right? So if, if if this is a whole thing of like, okay, look, I do this, and then Liz does that, right? If this is a whole game of tit and tat with them between them, which honestly, that's not good. If that's happening, that's it's, on, it's not good on involved. either, yeah not good on either side if that's what's happening if it's a game yep. of tit and tat right of like this is what i'm gonna do that's what... then you shouldn't have moved right you shouldn't have moved even if you look in a perfect world yes in the interview, right he's there's stuff that he said in the interview saying you know he hates his mom all this stuff like that i don't know about any of that i don't know how true any of that is if that's how he feels he shouldn't have moved right and if it was if it was going to be an issue right that it was going to be hey look i don't want to capitulate to Liz's demands, he should have never moved. He should have just stayed in California and been like, "Hey, look, you could get him on, you could get him during the holidays." Shouldn't have moved. Okay, okay. How how do you how do you suppose we change that since he moved like so long ago? Do we time machine? What are you thinking? Um, telephone booth or DeLorean time machine? I mean, he could he could go back. I mean, he could always leave. he he. Go back. Huh? He does he have to stay? Does he I, have to stay in North Carolina? I don't even know. I it don't seems even like know. It's got more problems for him. Uh, how about this? Okay, you, you propose he shouldn't have moved. Maybe he goes back. Maybe that, that could fix everything. I, I have another thing. So what if, like, maybe, you know, in this situation, uh, Liz just doesn't demand him to do all these little things, and every time he says no, the kid gets taken. What I'm saying Does that like, sound good as well? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you don't need to patronize. It doesn't matter. I'm not patronizing okay? at all. What I'm saying is, look, it doesn't matter if the important thing here is his son, right? None of that should matter, right? None of the, the the perceived hoops that he thinks he needs to jump through for her should matter. If it it if does matter, him, if okay, if so, this is all about his son and him being with his son, right? Okay. Like this is getting so this get, this is getting to the point of like emotional abuse. Okay. Nobody's but again. Look, he was the custodial parent, right? According to what he said. Yes, and he can't get his kid back. Okay. Okay. But again. He moved. What did he say in your interview, right? He said, if you move, he told Liz this, if you move and you try to take him, that would be kidnapping because of the anchor clause in our divorce settlement, right? Okay. You see what I'm saying? So 
this whole thing of like him not having any kind of power in the situation, obviously, if he has something that could back that up, then I would think he's the one that at, that has the advantage in the situation regarding custody, right? Okay. Do you understand though that he has, you know, before he can even like go and do that, he has to now deal with a uh, a suit that's being pushed on by Liz. So he needs to go bankrupt before he even gets to those actions. Gets well, gets to those talk, points. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He doesn't care if he gets sued until he's homeless, right? They can do whatever they want. That's what he said. I will keep going till I get my son. So okay. So, so what? On, where? On, where's on, the criticisms on, on, on Liz and Delirious' behalf on, on that point? On, Mike, hey, TJ, I'm gonna speak now. Right? Give me a sec. All right. That's what he said. So to me, you should welcome going to court then, right? If you don't care if you're going to go homeless just to be able to see your son, right, his words, then going to court should be a no-brainer for you. Because to me, that's where you're going to have the best chances. Especially if he has something, right, if he has something that she's clearly violated. You know what I mean? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear yeah, me? Sure. I, thought, I thought you disconnected for a moment. <laughs> okay. Um... Do you want to move on to the next point, or do you want to keep going about this? No, you can move on. It's fine. Okay. Um, next thing that I have written down is right around the 11-minute, 13-second mark, you mentioned a concerned party. Um, you said that you were given these audio clips by a concerned party who wishes to be anonymous. At, um, 11, okay, at 11.49 from the concerned party that these audio clips were actually available on social media. So you heard from that concerned party that these were made public on social media at one point? What I was told, this is what I was told, okay? Okay. By this party, all right? They said that at a point in time, these were linked by Scott on social media or access to them was put on social media. This concerned party told you that? Yes. Okay. Uh, so at one point, at one point, they were public. Okay. Um, you at the one hour and five minute and twelve second mark, you say, "I know the name of the ex girlfriend." Do you know the name of the ex girlfriend because the concerned party told you the name? Because I don't even know the name, and uh, Scott just preferred not to release her name. Uh, there was more than one person that contacted me that uh, had corroborated that particular name of the okay. girlfriend and that's all i will say okay and is one of them the concern they party confirmed yes they confirmed. i'm sorry what is one of the people who the you know stated party was one of the people that that had uh corroborated this yes and i and again yeah gotcha okay um when's the last time you uh again i'm gonna give a just a little bit of context here um over at your stream um you've asked me before like you know when's the last time you know, or have you talked to Ohm about this blah 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 you've asked uh, me questions like that when i came over and been a guest on your stream quick, if i may just real quick tj sure. the name is i'm not gonna i'm not gonna draw attention to which specific clip it was but the name is mentioned in the audio okay well. okay Okay, so, I didn't pick I, it up. I, I won't draw attention to specifically which one it was, but you know, okay. I'm sure that you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, uh, it doesn't. I don't really need to know the name of the person um, specifically, um, but uh, as long as that they're a person is what I really need to know. Um, but um, I would hope so, right? Because if not, this would all be pretty fucking stupid, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, so what you've asked me before, like, hey, and you know, you've asked about. Me and my communications with Elmrecker before, um, sometimes in your streams, uh, when I'm a, a guest or whatever. Um, so, is that a fair thing to say that, yeah, you've asked me about it before on your streams? I'm sure. I'm sure I have. I'm sure okay. it's, it's come up before. Okay, cool. Uh, when's the last time you contacted Delirious or Liz Katz? When was the last time I spoke to Liz or Delirious? Yep. I've never spoken to Liz. Okay. Never spoken to Liz. And the last time I spoke with Delirious was regarding uh, last year's drama when the whole thing – was that last year when the whole thing happened with the uh, – I'm trying to think. When was the whole thing – remember when you did your video – I think we are on your stream when the Liz Katz video dropped, right? Where she basically you know, confirmed a lot of the different um, – uh, uh, Alt accounts. 
Yes, yes. Okay, I think so. it was it was probably around that time was probably the last time I spoke to him. Okay. So the last time you spoke with Delirious was last year. Yes, I believe so. Okay. Was that um, last year? Yeah, when yeah. Well, back when back when Liz Katz made her response that. video about the alt accounts, right? Yeah, I'm assuming that that was last year. Yeah, the year yeah. before. I don't know. Last don't year know or the year before. before. Okay, so a long time ago, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Apparently, um. Someone was watching your stream and they sent me this clip and H2O Delirious in his Discord pops up that it's in your recent direct messages. You know, I barely use Discord, right? You barely use Discord? Yes. Okay. Um, I've spoken to Sen. Um, messages happened recently. I don't know about this floop membership or the six members thing or whatever, this group chat. Um, I don't know. That that could have been six months ago. But I know Sen's was, what was it, yesterday or today? Um, all these other ones would have had to been today. Um, so you're saying between this one with Sen, this one with the group, and the six members and Delirious, this is all within a, like a year, at least a year. Probably within a year, yeah, because I barely use Discord. Hmm. And anybody, anybody that knows me, will attest to that. Okay. Uh, would you say Sen knows you well or no? I mean, Sen knows me. He knows me all right, I guess. Would Would he know <laughs> if if you Would he know if you barely use Discord? I, I don't know. I just I was curious because someone sent me that to me. I was like, oh, Delirious contacted you recently. Is he's like, is he the concerned party? And if he is, I mean. Like you said before, I mean, transparency is a really important thing. I think that, like, hey, if you got this from that person or whatever, like, yeah. like if I was in a similar situation and like, Ole mess messaged me, I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, he Ole messaged me this, he told me this, blah 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 blah, you know. No. Like I said, I barely use Discord, and anybody that knows me will attest to that. Okay, let me double check when that video was out about Liz so I can get an exact time on how often that is because I was curious about that like on maybe who was who was the concerned party that was uh, mentioning these things because I, I, I mentioned the party that was involved in telling me the information it was Scott you know um, I have no problem releasing DMs where he me and him are talking about it if that needs to be done you know so uh where was the Liz video I'm scrolling through all my videos right now oh right here um one year ago, it says right here, but more Meet specifically, Grammarly Go. You're Grammarly Go. Um, November 18th of 2021, so almost two years ago. So you don't, like this group chat with six members named Floop and then this H2O Delirious, that those things are spaced out between the, almost two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Correct. Uh, Sen said in the chat, ask him to show his most recent message with Delirious, lol. Ask to show the most recent message? Yeah, with Delirious. Maybe that would help back up that if people are not believing that it's happened two years ago. Yeah, I could do that. Right. I don't know where you plan on sharing it at. On your stream, probably. I can do it on mine. Okay. I have to do it on my thing here. I'm gonna pull up your stream real quick. I love your thumbnail, by the way. Oh, the friendly one? Yeah. All right, I only saw see. it briefly. Let me get another good look at it. Yeah, the balloons and oh, that is so dope. Is that your new like logo? Are you like? Is that like your new cartoon character, like and everything? Yeah, I've been had that for a while. Oh, I I never seen that. That's pretty cool. All right. I wasn't gonna ask about uh, the DM thing, but since Sen brought it up, I thought okay. That's fair. Yeah. Delete, 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 lol, he's deleting. Guys, it's not good to make assumptions. That's very rude and disrespectful, guys. 
Sorry about that, Toy. Usually my community is acting a lot better. Hmm. Are you able to show them? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I can show them. Uh, let me see. Hold on. It opened it up. Hold on. A sec here. Is that like a stream yard issue or? Hold on, bring it up now. Hold on. It's not showing up in my stream yard. Here we go. Oh, Toy left. The Discord. He left the call with me. Why did he leave the call? see. He left the call with me. Why why did he leave? Hmm. I thought he was going to show these. I thought he was going to show them. What the hell happened? We're watching his stream now to see what happened. Let me pull it up. Oh, you back? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Here we go. You left the call here. I don't know why it's... Alright. You see. You could just screenshot and, and share it yeah. with me. Yeah, I'll should... I'll do that. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. Showing the thing on the. All right, hold on. And I don't know if you know this or not, but like if you scroll like through Discord messages or whatever, um, there's like a bar on the side. Make sure the bar is all the way down to the bottom, just so we know for sure that it's the most recent message. Alright. Everything still going good? Yeah. I've got a screenshot for you. You're just going to send it to me? Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. All right. Okay. So I will show you the latest message. So I will say this. He did... I forgot about this. Here, let me show you. Okay. You did message me. All right. So this is my bad. He did message me. Here. He did message me on the 31st and on the 19th. So you can read them here. Okay. Okay. And it's all the way down, so you can see there. Oh. Sorry, I'm not looking at that screen. Give me one second. My audio's playing back too. I gotta turn the stream volume down. Um. Oh, stuff with Crow? Yes. You did ask me for some things regarding Crow. 
But as you can see, that's the end of it right there. Hmm. So. There's my bad. I did talk to him recently. So. Okay. That is my bad. I should have been forthcoming with that. Did you know about it? Or were you... Because he had messages uh, going back to him. Yeah. Uh, he was asking me in regards to some stuff with Chrome. Okay. And the reason why you didn't want to be honest? See, with that, obviously, because I know what the implication would be there. But so, look, that's on me. I take responsibility for it. I should have been forthcoming about that. But um, that's regarding a completely separate issue, as you can see. Okay. Look, so. Toy, I, I'm not going to knock you too hard for it, but no, I no, am no. going to... No, no, you absolutely should. I should. I should? About that. You fucking liar! Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. That, that no, no, just no, came no. out of me. I don't I know what be. that meant. No, no, no. No. I, I should have been forthcoming about that, yeah. Because he did actually contact me about some stuff recently regarding Crow, so... Right. Uh, so, um, do you want to move on to the next point, or do you want to talk about that? I, I mean, you can talk about that. I mean, I deserve I deserve a roasting for that one. So, but um, uh, chat. What do you guys about... think? I'll, I'll leave it up to my it's chat. Uh, chat. What do you it's guys on... think? Do you guys want to talk about the the delirious DMs, or do you guys want to move on to the next topic? Because we only got like a topic or two left. Chilled Venom says, I think he deleted. Were there any deleted messages? Deleted messages? No. Okay. What you see there is what's there. And honestly, oh, I mean, I, I don't even know how to do that. Okay. Um, How often would you say that you've talked to Delirious between the Liz response video and today? Honestly, the last couple times was just in regards to Crow. It had nothing to do with any of that stuff. I, there was one and of the DMs did, about Breland. Huh? There was one of the DMs about Breland. There is one about Breland, and I could give uh, some context to that. So one of, so you see what he says? Or did you see the tweets that Breland person put out on the 11th? I said April of this year. I said I vaguely remember hearing something about that. I don't have screenshots of it. Is there any way to confirm it was actually her and not someone pretending to be her? Last I saw, it was in protected mode. That's what I said. I don't know if we're talking about the same person, LOL. And then I said, oh, shit, because I didn't know what he meant. You know, I would assume it was the Breland that um, that um, uh, was the one in question. But he did not go into any, any details regarding that. So I don't know. It was vague. I had heard something about it, but I didn't know what he specifically meant by it. So... That's regarding the whole Breland thing. I don't know if he was going to direct me to something. He just put that out there for me. Okay. And I don't know why he would think that I would know about it because, honestly, I hadn't. It's not something I was even looking into. So. And then the other one was um, he asked me about Crow. He said, with Crow, he was asking me if Crow, he said, was Crow's Twitter at Crow of J from the images you sent? And I said yes before the account got suspended because he had asked he had asked if um uh, if the um uh, he was asking about Crow. He said I heard that Crow has this that or the other, and he, okay. he asked if Crow he asked if Crow could um uh, give him some messages I guess regarding Ohm, and that's where that comes from. Okay. Um, talking about, uh, what just happened here, um, what would you say to, like, people in my chat, for example, which I think my mods have been doing a good job on, like, just trying to keep people respectful, but if people don't think that you're as transparent as people say you are, um, at least when it comes to talking about Delirious, uh, what would you, like, respond to that with? No, that's fair. That's a fair thing to say, right? Because it's, it's like, look, this has nothing to do with the issue at hand, but yes, I have spoken to him about other things that are unrelated to this. Have you, guys, have you guys spoken about Scott at all? No, not at all. 
you would have seen it. You would have just seen it. Okay. Have you guys talked about Ohm? Have we talked about Ohm? Yes. That I will concede. Yes, we have talked about Ohm because the whole topic of the you know the Crow's DM had to do with Ohm. So he did come up as to what was said. I would say that you know there was nothing like. Um, if you're asking if he, if there was anything like any details like regarding, you know, um, specifically the case or anything like that, then I would say no. But it was he was saying that he had heard about some DMs between Crow and Alm, and that's what it boiled down to. The conversation was about that. All right. Well, uh, we can move on to the next thing. Um, the next thing that I have to bring up. More about that? What? You sure you don't want to ask anything more about that? I think um, that moment plays for itself. You know, I don't need to. I'm not. I'm not. To be honest, Crow or I almost called you Crow. Jesus Christ! I'm getting flashbacks to when me and Crow were fighting all the time. Um, no, but uh, Toy, I'm. Do you want to see the I'm last not... message you have with all? I don't care. It's up to you. <laughs> well, I'll sure. show you those. Uh, how's about this? I'll show you those in private. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Um, I, again, it, I'm not. It, I, I'm not it, trying it, to be. A, what What I was getting at with this is, I'm not trying to be a lurk and look at your DMs. What I was trying to do was saying, okay, you said that there was a concerned party, and someone sent me that you revealed on your stream, probably by accident, that Delirious messaged you recently, and I'm like, okay, as it would. If Delirious was a concerned party and he saw those at one point pop up because they know Scott IRL and they know probably mm -hmm. his Twitter and XYZ, it would make sense if Delirious was that concerned party. But, hey, I mean, it it wasn't. And, you know. Oh, no. by the way, you, you, it took a while. Was it because, like, you had issues with StreamYard or were you just, like, kind of, like, thinking of, like, oh, shit, what am I going to do? Like, because I am curious about that. I'll be honest. I'll be honest about it. I was like, ah, oh, shit. It was because of that. It was because of that. I was like, ah, well. Yeah, you know, I did talk to him recently. So, yeah, it was because of that. I will say that. It was because okay. of that. Okay. Um, so, Some people were calling it in the chat, so I was just – props to anyone in the chat who sat here and knew that he knew that there was recent DMs. Because I was, I was going to say, dude, if, if it, it's kind of funny. Dude, if you have not messaged Delirious in two years and that was, like, near the top of your direct messages, I would have been like, holy shit, man. You really – you only talk to Sen and me – and Aur Aurori Gaming, like, you only talk to a handful of people, holy well, I, shit. I still do only talk to a handful of people. Right. On here, so, yeah. Right. Oh, well, well, another question. Have you had calls with Delirious? No, that I have not. Okay. That I have not. I have not had any calls with it. TJW, as Mr. Sen said. All right. I, don't, I think he got that wrong. It's supposed to be V. Okay, but anyways, moving on. Um... Uh, the one of the one of the big things that I wanted to point up is uh, your community actually. So I don't know on your stream if they still can't hear me as loud or, or whatever the case may be. But um, your your community is is a little interesting. Again, I don't know if you if, you know I I don't know where the lines of where your community begins and where your community ends and if people are in and out of your community. I don't know for sure. Um, but especially how you handle the chat um how you how the chat is handled and you do have a lot of moderators I, I i've seen your stream i've seen the live chat replay which by the way is thank you for keeping the live chat replay up there because it really did help understand on what like what we, what was your chat thinking when you were saying uh certain things so when i was looking at your chat there's a lot of things in your chat that you know which by the way you were you were popping in the chat throughout the stream, responding to some things and saying some things. But when it comes to these, none of chat. your m what in my chat or your chat, your chat, I'm just talking about your live chat right now. But um, there was you have a lot of mods in there and it seems like you or your mods don't respond to some of these comments. And I kind of wanted to bring up some of these comments. Um, I actually have. Some of them screenshotted. The first one I have screenshotted here is actually one of your mods bow sets. How do you say that? Okay. Do you, is am I saying it right? Bowsette. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, so one of the thing. 
one of the things he said is, yup, totally stable. Good job vetting Scott TJV. Um, when I was vetting Scott, I was vetting if he was who he said he was and if he was okay. in, truly the ex-husband. Um, do you believe that, you know, the there was good vetting there? Like, he is who he says he is? Like, do, do you agree with what your mod said in your chat? I mean, I don't know what... I mean, the chat is entitled to whatever opinion they have on... No, no, on 100%. Topic. 100%. I was just... It, what your opinion of this, you know? Of that is... As far yeah. as what you did to vet Scott, honestly, I don't know what 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 you did to vet him. I would assume he is who he says he is. I mean, if you say, I trust the way you vetted him. I mean, okay. I had no reason to doubt it because I mean, why would anybody say, well, hey, I'm, you know, I'm so and so's ex husband and not provide any kind of, you know, evidence to the contrary. You know what I'm saying? That that would make right. no sense to me. Right. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But as far as look, if the whole thing, right? If the whole thing is the, the criticism of how Scott has handled this publicly, I think that's fair. But as far as how, you know, vetting him goes, as far as who he actually is, I mean, obviously, you know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. if that's, if that's, if that's, is that what you're referring to? Is like, you know, confirmation of if he is exactly who he says he is? I, I, again, I'm not trying to get into like the context of what is being brought up. Just your opinion of what people are saying in your chat and some of these moderators, which I don't know what what you have moderators for in your chat because moderators are different for every streamer's chat uh for my chat they there is a set of rules uh don't try going out there throwing out like like crazy shit again shit happens i mean there's i'm not trying to brag here or anything but there is a lot more people in my chat than why does, sorry why does, i i don't get why why it matters like why is what, what are you trying to get at I'll, I'll I'll get into that one. What I'll, I'll, I'll get into. If you're disorganized, I mean, if that's your opinion, that's that's fine. I mean, I don't stream regularly, so I mean, I have, you know, people that mod in my chat, that mod, you know, that know basic, you know, basic rules of what to do. You know, what I mean, and I'm. I, what, does this have anything to do with you know, the Scott stuff? Like, I don't I don't understand what this. The, the these some some of these some of these do because some of these do question the whole like Scott story and the audio clips and the ex girlfriend and X Y Z. So we are getting into that. You're just gonna have to like kind of trust me and roll around again. These are just things that I saw um, in your chat and I wanted to get your quick opinion. You said here that you thought I you, you trust my vetting or whatever, and I I appreciate you well, saying that I and everything. Reason, yeah, it's, I mean I see no reason for you to lie and say like all oh, this Scott yeah. if my Scott says he's Liz's ex husband. And then, it, you know, why would, you know, I'm saying like, I don't see why anybody would lie about that. Right. If that's what um, you're referring to. Like, I don't, I don't see any upside to you putting out a false story about a guy claiming to be her, her ex-husband. Like, I don't. And I appreciate, I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, What yeah, another what person here says is uh, the Gaming Hub 2077. These audio clips completely ruin TJV's video on Scott and 100% justifies Liz's choice. What do you think about that? Here's what I would say about that. I wouldn't say here's what I said before. Remember when we, when you brought it up earlier, what I think it does is that it adds more to the overall story, right? Yeah. yeah. It adds more to the story. I wouldn't say, Oh, this absolutely discredits anything necessary that you did. Cause I don't know. I mean, that's, that's really up to whoever's opinion on this stuff. So okay. I would say, I would say it, it adds more that wasn't there before. I think it adds more context. I think it adds, a little bit more to the overall story, I think. You know, what I, I mean? agree. I think it fills in some holes that it had filled in. You know, some of the things that I initially was kind of like, okay, this doesn't make any sense, right? Because look, overall, just just to make it clear, again, I don't have anything personally against Scott. I don't know him. I don't have any ill will towards him. If you've even noticed, I mean, even though you tried to say right that you know I've made this, you know or at least implied that I was making this personal. I don't have anything personal against Scott at all. And I've said, if Liz is indeed keeping his son from him, if she is keeping his son from him with no good cause, right? If the whole thing, you know, him calling over, if that's true, that he's called over there and he son wants to speak with him and she's denied him that, I think that's wrong. I don't think, I don't think that that's okay. And that's something that should be rectified. And just like I feel that, you know, look, I still hope they can work whatever situation out. Well, my main criticism of Scott has been is taking it to the internet, right, and handling it the, the way he did publicly. And some okay. of the things he, him saying making no sense to me because 
there's a legal system in place for you to handle this stuff. I think, you know, that's the best course of action. Because again, look, if Scott, if Scott, who has said that he's the custodial parent, if he has stuff to back that up, then I would think, I w- or I would hope at the very least, that the courts would side with him if he is the custodial parent. If he has that in writing somewhere, then going to court should not be a fear of his. You know what I'm saying? A fear of getting sued should not even be a fear because if he's in the right, that will show him through when he gets his day in court. That's my whole thing with this. That's why, to me, I just feel like the whole situation has been handled weird and poorly on his part. You know, I would encourage him to not, you know, evade the people trying to serve him papers, especially if he's saying stuff like, hey, look, I don't care if I go homeless. I think it would look, Mm. I think that's an overthrow, especially look, if you're saying, hey, I don't care if I go homeless as long as I get to be with my son, good for you. I think that's great. I think that's the right attitude to have because it's showing that you're willing to fight to the bitter end. And you don't care of the consequences as long as you get to be with your son. I think that's admirable, and I think that's what should happen. I don't think he should fear going to court. Okay, so we'll get into a, some of that here in a uh, second. Let me ask, can I ask you something real quick? Do you think this is good, this whole situation? Uh, I said from the start, if again, based on if this is all true, uh, it really fucking sucks. If this is all false, it also really fucking sucks. So my overall thought is this is all kind of like a huge fucked situation, whether uh, all everything Scott is saying is true or not true. Um, I do think the things that are yeah. concrete, like what he tweeted and what Liz tweeted, those are concrete. Those people did post those things on their Twitter. Those can be criticized for their own separate reasons. But having said that, there's a lot of this that is just uncertain. So if you're talking about like a very specific thing in the story, I don't know. I do got a, a, couple, a couple more of these to get through though. No, I'm, so. I'm just saying like overall, right? Just overall. Like oh, this entire thing? Yeah, just overall. Just overall. Yeah, this the entire thing's fucked. No, yeah. okay. You come. Um, so anyways. Uh, the... just, just one last thing before you, before you move on. I'm just I'm just wondering, right? Has Scott provided anything to you to show that Liz is doing what he's claimed that she's doing? Like behind the scenes, has he shown you any kind of evidence to like the claims you know, he brought up about Liz? Liz? What she claims that he's doing. Um, some of the things like uh, he told me that they got he got a cease and desist. He showed me that. I put it in my stream. I, you used it do, in your I stream. I do recall that. Yes. Yep. I, I do so know that. that's one thing. Like anything else? Is there anything else? Is, is what I'm asking. Uh, he did CC me in some emails between uh, his him and Liz's lawyers. So some of those things are what he told me, um, it, whether it's in the interview or either in the live chats. I, I've I seen guess those. That, I guess I should get more specific. Let me let me just be more specific. Okay. Has Go he ahead. shown anything of her denying him his son? Is what I'm asking, or denying him seeing their son? That's that's really what I'm asking here. I don't recall no. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the next thing, the next one that I had to bring up was um, a response to the gaming hub and what he just said that um, apparently Scott's the, those audio clips ruin um, TJ TJV's video on Scott's story. It ruins it. Uh, Stephen Gervais and Friends podcast says, um, "Yeah, TJV never seems to do his homework on people." Do you think that? Do I think that you do your homework on people? Yeah. I would say you've gotten better about doing your homework on people. Um, I would say in the past I had some criticisms about how you handled previous situations, you know, the Louis situation, um, things like that. I definitely had criticisms there. I would say you're probably better about doing your homework now um, as far as this particular situation. Um, I think there is some fair criticisms in in the sense of what Scott was saying, you know, in terms of not, you know, uh, getting certain things like that, like the full audio. But again, I mean, I don't know. I can't speak to what your mindset was when the, when, when you were talking with Scott, I mean, I probably would criticize, you know, certain things in the interview, certain things that I would have pressed him on that I would have asked him for, but, um, there's no, this whole thing that we do here is, um, you know, there's, it's kind of learn as you go, right? I yeah, mean, there's, there's no there's book no, telling there's you no, what to I do. Yeah, I don't think there's any, 
perfect way to be a commentary channel, which is what we kind of are at the end of the day. Um, yep. So I mean, I would say you're better about stuff. I mean, I would say there's still things to criticize, but I wouldn't say that you're. I wouldn't say that you are completely, um, uh, you know, not doing your, your due diligence, right? I think you do it to an extent. I think you've gotten better at it. Um, I think there's there's probably still more that could be done, but I think that goes for anybody that does this shit. So, Okay. Um, uh, next one that I have to pull up. Um sorry to cut you off i just gotta go through these uh both oh, said fine. another one saying remember people scott remember people scott came out first and named ohm in his tweets and tjv shills for ohm that's what your mod both set said i uh, will repeat yeah. it again remember people scott came out first and named ohm in his tweet when that's not first that ain't true he didn't come out first yes he didn't name omen the sweet and yes he was specific on the people um and not vague like liz was but he was not oh. first so Bosset is wrong here and then tjv shills for ohm what's your opinion on that okay as far as that i i don't know do you i mean i don't know that <laughs> you're asking you if i ohm? shill for ohm i don't i don't know do you we'll get into the shilling for ohm I, in just a second <laughs> um the first thing that that both set says is scott came out first um, you agree that Liz came out first. We talked about that already, right? What I would say, look, again, I would say that, you know, if you want to say that uh, Liz made it public first, I guess that would partially be true. But I wouldn't say that, uh, again, I think the one that definitely, impl you know, made the implications first was Scott. So I think there's culpability for both of them there. But I mean, as far as obviously, you know, I, I even said it earlier in the stream. I said, yeah, there's criticism to be had for Liz for saying anything publicly. But what she put out there was vague. You know what I mean? There's no way to okay. know what she are was you, talking are, about. Are, based on the dates of the tweets where Scott's first tweet talking about, like, Delirious um, and, and exposing his face, as far as we've seen so far, his was on July 27th. Liz literally name dropped the audio and being threats or being threatened by uh scott's ex so and that was on july 24th we can agree that S liz mentioned the altercation first while scott named yeah, people first yeah yeah i would say yeah okay, obviously, okay. Yeah, Mama, we agree on that uh next one would. uh to move on to had... yeah yeah so moving on to the next one, uh, Stephen Gervais and Friends Podcast says, why should anyone have to send this to TJV? He should be doing his own research before going on stream blasting people. Do you think, one, that I blast people, and then two, um, do you, you know, do you think I should just do my own research and find this on my own? Because it wasn't as easy as just going to Twitter and finding it because these were deleted, right? So it wasn't like you could just go look up these audio clips online. So one, do you think I was blasting people? And two, do you think it was as easy as just doing a Google search or researching on Twitter or whatever for it? Wait, say that again? Okay, I'll do this one at a time. Oh, to answer the shill thing real quick, I will be a shill for Ohm if you're a shill for Delirious. <laughs> I'm not a shell for anybody. <laughs> okay, so then I'm not a shell for home. All right, but I, I if you admit though that you're a shell for gonna, delirious, are we going to do I'll, your comments I'll, next? I'm, I'm just trying to understand what the point of, of any of this is, TJ. I'll, I'll be honest, uh, no. I don't get a bit yeah. of what by I. I okay, don't see I'll, I'll tell you the point. Chat. I'll tell you the point my, if you're if you're well, confused. Or my chat says doesn't matter. Uh, okay. You know, okay. It's, it's the, probably going to have I'll, their opinions on this stuff, just like your chat's going to have their opinions. A hundred percent. I'm uh, one. I'm not. I'm not expecting you to pick up every single opinion that you don't agree with because like you've disagreed yeah. with some of these people in your community. I'm sure. not expecting that out of you. Like, Two. Sure, sure you chat. I'm just yeah. Ex ex exactly. I'm not knocking you for that. What I'm just doing is, hey, your community had these things that were brought up either me or scott or the subject at hand and i thought okay i could pull some of these as good subjects to get your opinion as well that's all i'm using these as so if you're thinking i'm trying to do like an i got you thing no, 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 or I trying just, to prove okay no i'm just i'm just saying I, I just don't think that this honestly look my my whole thing with this is there's going to be people in your chat that say things i disagree with right yeah 100 percent. But that's fine they're welcome to those opinions that's fine yeah I, Same I'm with okay your with chat. that. I think, you know, and I'm sure there's good points that they bring up and vice versa. I just, you know, I just, again, it's, it's people in chat, bro. They're just, they're saying what they feel. They're saying what they think. It's okay. 
and I'm just using this is to get through some topics. For example, it, yeah. was this very easy to research? This has to do with the audio clips. Was the audio clips easy? This that's what this one comment was brings it, up. Was it easy to research? Yeah, was it very easy to research? In your opinion, was it easy for me to research? I mean, it, I mean, it, it, easy doesn't really come into. It. I mean, somebody approached me for it, and then they verified. You know, obviously, I, I vetted them, verified who they said that they were, and okay, you know, that's it. You know, okay. So ha having said that, do you think this this is because right here this one reply says TJV he should have done his own research before going on stream and blasting people. Do you also believe that I'm going on a stream and blasting people? Do I do I think you're going on stream and blasting people? Yep. I mean, I don't know. Have you? I don't think I've been on I stream mean, to blast people. Maybe maybe you have. I mean, I don't watch. I don't watch I mean, every single pe stream, people. So people who Are say dumb shit anything? in my chat, I do blast them. I, I will call them, call out their username if someone has like a really. Dumb oh, but take. I would say, yeah, I would say, I would say, don't even bother with them, man. It's just like this. Not, I mean, no, no, do I don't mind. I don't mind. It's fun. It, well, it's them... it's fun. Like if I sit here and say Sky Hunter for forty five, fuck you. Like and all all Sky Hunter forty five said is, oh, I missed a lot of drama. I I sometimes just pull random people from the chat and say fuck you to them for no no apparent reason. It's fun. It's fun. You know, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just saying, do you think I blast people? Like, do I blast, like, well, Delirious I when I talk about people, Delirious? Do I, I blast I, Ohm when I talk I have, about Ohm? I have no I have no idea, dude. I mean, it's okay. just like, I mean, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have at certain points in time. But again, you can do what you want on your stream. That's why it's your stream. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, next, uh, one another person from your live chat, uh, the last stream you had is Conrail20. 2020 i'm guessing scott boy i'm guessing scotty boy is unsurprisingly a fraud do you believe scott is a fraud do i think scott is a fraud yes i wouldn't go no i would not say that scott is a fraud what i would say though is i awesome. think that the way scott handled this stuff again is not the most ideal way to handle it that's always been okay. my criticism that's it because again i don't scott's not you know i'm saying scott's not anybody to me right I don't, I'm not personally invested in Scott like that. Even though Scott was, you know, insulting me or whatever, I, I don't care. That's fine. Scott can say what he wants. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. What he says about me does not affect me in yeah, any this, way. This one's a little damning. Um, Again, it's just, it depends if your mods follow this or not. But Bo set yet again, sits here and says, Scott tagged Ohm and all of the Vanos crew with his initial tweet before Liz tweeted anything. That's how he met TJV. Now you know. So, Bosette, your mod claims that Scott tagged Ohm and, and put out those tweets before Liz tweeted anything. That's exactly what this chat reply hey. says in your last live stream. Um, I'm just saying right here, for F, like for me, and this is... I'm not trying to do like an advice moment or anything like that, but like putting these sort of thing, having these sort of things in the chat or something like that and not addressing that sort of thing. I've had people come over to my comments and say, well, Scott started all this. He he did that publicly. But if you're really trying to look for like, okay, who tweeted what first? Liz tweeted first, clearly. Yeah, but people are going to do that in comment sections anyway. So again, you know, I, uh, I said, but I think I said. this is a little different because this is a mod of yours. I don't know if you're close with both set or not, or if you just made this person randomly a mod a long time ago. But oh, I'm just, just saying. Been a mod for forever. It's fine. Okay, so so it's so by the way, Bowset. Okay, Bowset. So if Bowset is going out here and saying uh, Scott had his initial tweets before Liz tweeted anything, I mean, people are more likely going to listen to the mod that's in the chat, thinking that they're close with you or that they know you know. or that they know the situation. They're, they're going to take more of a mod's word than a random person. 100%. Okay. Chat, real quick, tell me in chat, would you trust something that Yike says over some random person in the chat that you don't know? Tell me if you would trust a mod over just a regular person. But we'll see real quick if people that. think that. Yeah, again, look, I... People are going to say what they're going to say online. It's no different than if they were to say it in the comment section. Mr. Sen just said in my chat, ask John why he unmodded me. I have I been mod your since opinions. forever. Mr. Sen just said, why did you unmod him? He's been a bad he, boy. He's been a bad boy. Okay. He's been a bad boy. Like, did you just do it recently? or? Oh, yeah. I just did it. You just did it? Oh, damn. Yeah. That, 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 okay. Sorry, son. <laughs> Get fucked, I guess. Um... <laughs> Toys oh, owning your ass. <laughs> Toys owning your ass. 
Toy, toy is fucking dogging on Sen right now. Okay. Um, got to, uh, another one from Gaming Hub. Got to say, TJV needs to do more F research on people before he makes a video on them. Um, we kind of already covered that in the last one, but there was another one from the Gaming Hub that said that. Conrail2020 said another one. No surprise, TJV chat is one-sided on this. Do you believe my chat is one-sided, or do you not really have an opinion on that? I think anybody who does any streams, their chat is going to be on their side more than people that, you know, hmm. more than anything else, you're going to have your people that are always going to be on your side no matter what. It, it comes with the territory. I'm sure there's people in my chat that are going to be biased towards me no matter what, just like they will for you, just like they will for anybody else. Okay, so. interesting. Um, another one that says uh, Rogue JMNZ, that's his username. Uh, he says TJV's audience are dumb. Okay. And I'm sure I'm sure there's people <laughs> in your audience that would say the same about my audience. That's just, no, that's just never, audience. never. That would never happen, Toy. You know it. It's just it's the nature of YouTube. <laughs> like, who, who cares? Uh, Mr. You Sen's know, asking, what did he do to get unmodded? What did he do to get unmodded? Yeah. Huh. Maybe I'll tell you later, TJ. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Fuck you, son. You ain't gonna know. It'll be our secret. All right. Awesome. We got we got through that. Okay. No more about like your live chat. I would just there was a couple of those that I wanted to bring up. I thought okay, those are gonna be interesting. I mean, they, they, it was kind of more of like a space break to talk about the next thing. You know what I mean? So um, nice little space break. Get your opinion on that. Um, Here's what I would say, right? In regards to this whole thing with chat, I at the end. At the end of the day, as you say, I, I don't think it really matters. I mean, people are going to have their opinions. Who cares? Right. Um, there's another part that I was concerned about. Um, so I've seen these people uh, criticize, um, and I don't know them by name. I'd have to do like a hard search in my comments to see if they're even there still or not. I'm sure they are still there, though, because people don't usually go back and delete comments. But there are people who sit here and say that like sometimes like you'll mention something randomly that – like. Like, um, do you, okay, so let me, let me, let me get this, uh, real quick, like, like, so we can understand what I'm talking about here. Do you understand, like, if we're talking about, for example, Liz not getting, you know, Liz not giving Scott his kid back, we're talking about that subject or something like that. Okay, so something pretty simple. And then all of a sudden, someone goes and says, yeah, but what happens if Scott, you know, um, stole Liz and Delirious' dog. Like, do you understand how, like, that is kind of just made up and there's not really anything connecting to it and it just seems like an excuse to, you know, bring up and hate on Scott? Do you understand, like, some people just bring that up randomly? This stuff, what? This stuff with Scott? No, no, no. I'm just saying in general, like, people, like, bring up, like, oh, yeah, but what happens if this person did that? Like, they're randomly theorizing on something that they did with, like, nothing to I mean, this up. could all be made up, like, What's, right. I mean, but like talking about what Scott has told us and we're talking about the context of that and, you okay. know, based on if it's real or not, some people will just bring up random things. Like, for example, someone accuses Scott of stealing someone's dog. If you heard that like randomly, like someone came to you and said, hey, what happens if Scott stole his dog? And that's why, you know, they're keeping Zane. Like, do you understand? Like, OK, I mean, we would kind of hear that and be like, like, who cares? It's just like, again, we're not talking about a dog here. We're talking about a kid. OK. Okay. Awesome. So, you know, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so, so you, so you understand the context. Yeah. So you understand the context. Okay. Is the kid, right? Okay. So that is the context. This is, I'm going to play a clip real quick um, of your stream where you say something that people say that you do that sort of thing. You kind of randomly bring up things that aren't really shown like, like to happen. Like, like there might be small like connections that you're trying to make there, but it seems kind of like, uh, an out there claim without fully <laughs> claiming that you believe that, huh? You mean speculate on something? That's a good word for it. speculate. I yes. Mean, yeah, sure. A lot of okay. a lot of times, what we do when we do this stuff is speculate on certain things. But I make it a point to say that. You know, what I mean, I make it a point okay. to make it clear that that's what's happening. So, so at this point, you, you kind of do that, but you, you're not like super super clear. So, like, I'm I'm gonna play this clip for real quick, and then I'll I'll repeat to you what you say. Okay. This relationship. Mm -hmm. Because you hear um, – when you hear um, uh, some of the things that Scott says, he obviously has concerns about who she's hanging out with, I guess friends of hers that she formerly dated that he wasn't okay with. 
I mean, that's between them, obviously. I mean, one might one might hear that and say and and. Okay, so we, right now you're talking about like Scott has concerns on who his ex hangs out with, referring to like some of the audio clips that you listen to. Um, mm-hmm. This is this is the part where you kind of speculate on stuff, and I'm gonna repeat it to you in just a second. I'm gonna continue to play it. Say, oh well, maybe he was controlling. I don't know. Maybe. Um, one might hear the recordings and say, it sounds like he's gaslighting her. I don't know. Okay, so one of the things you said is some might say that Scott is controlling. You kind of speculated, you threw that out there. And then right afterwards, you said one might hear, like after listening to the recordings, that Scott is gaslighting her, referring to Scott's ex. I said one Um, might think that he's gaslighting her based on what's being said in this. Because remember, he says to her, you punched me. And she says, I don't remember that. And he says, well, of course not, because you were drunk. So we don't know if that did it happen. I would think that if he's saying it, I would, I would hope that that claim is true, right? And then later on, we hear clips that she's actually hitting him, right? Which he admitted to in your chat as well. She dug her nails into him, and there was a point where she pinned him to the bed and started hitting him. Okay. I said, so- but, you know, hearing that, right, and saying, you know – well, you don't remember because you're drunk. Some might look at that and say, well, could he be gaslighting her here, right? Okay. Some might so, say that. But again, I wasn't saying anything definitive. It was just speculation. Okay. Yeah, um, pretty, so clear, sh- pretty, clear, pretty clear, again, based on what he says later on, I would believe that he got punched in the face by her. Okay. So having said that, uh, speculation, you're throwing it out there. Um would you argue that maybe you're speculating and throwing out like the controlling or the gaslighting thing uh, to play devil's advocate because you 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 don't you you I'm I'm assuming you don't like you're not going off the assumption that you believe he's controlling or you believe he's gaslighting you know according no, to Scott I and the... I don't know what's what's going on with them I I can't speak to their relationship I have no idea if you know he you know, what the dynamics of the relationship is. I would say from the sounds of it, it doesn't sound good, especially when you hear her say things like, you know, um, you know, we do this all the time, you know, with in regards to him checking your phone and things like that. I don't know what kind of relationship. I mean, we can infer things from that, right? We could speculate and say, oh, maybe, but I don't know. I can't say anything. For it's, it I, it I, seems I like a little bit of a... Di- I think one thing that comes across for sure is that it wasn't a good relationship. Yeah, okay. Do you agree on that point? Yes, but, like, I think that what can also be agreed on is that, like, for for example, these recordings and stuff like that, it definitely seems like, you know, you know, Scott is being the one being yelled and screamed at, and he even talks about him being held down and, like, held down under mm-hmm. the bed, and, like, she tries yeah. to kiss him, and he doesn't want to kiss her back, and all this other sort of thing. So people would argue that Scott was the one abused here, and you're kind of playing, like, a devil's advocate saying, like, he's controlling and he's gaslighting her, but you're not, like, you're not claiming these no, claims. You're I'm just, saying, like, throwing I'm them saying, out there. I'm saying for all I know, that could be... One that could be a dynamic to this relationship, but I don't know that for a fact. I said one hearing certain things that he says might come to that conclusion. Again, speculation. Right. I don't so know. So someone but, someone in my chat sat here and said this, and I think this want, is a good point. To calls together. You want huh? to listen to them? Do you want to listen to the calls together? Uh, just one second. Uh, Chilled Venom sat here and said, I don't know, Toy. Uh, there is no point in amplifying a current action. It looks like you switched the heat from the Psycho X to Scott. So the, the people do think that like you kind of put a ton of pressure on Scott from these audio recordings when clearly this is a very no, no, unfortunate no, no. thing on here's, Scott's more behalf than the X's. Here's here's the thing. Again, the whole thing with the, with the recordings in regards to Scott, right, is the things that were said prior to, right? Saying things like, again, She's harmless. You know what I mean? Saying things like, um, you know, bar- you know, the bark being worse than a bite, things like that. That's where I think it would have helped Scott. I think it would have served them better to just be like, look, here's the things that were said. This is what led to a lot of this shit happening here. You know what okay. I mean? 
but but he did he did quickly summarize and what he summarized wasn't incorrect there was threat threats made out to liz and everyone else yeah. and he did yeah. warn them and the bark and bike thing i believe and that's just, this is what he's kind of said is it's his opinion he believes it's more bark and bite to yeah. him it's it's not as harmful yeah. to him yeah. and she's it's a lot more harmless to him and so again, you're, you're, hold on, hold on. You're, you're taking you're taking like his opinion and saying, well, the reason why I'm criticizing Sky is well because he said this, and clearly she's not more bark and bite. She's definitely harmful because she's made these horrible, you know, threats, and, and she's she's hit him, and she's done this and that. If she's willing to go to the next level, I think huh? it's worth that's that's worthy of criticism. I don't think that that's something that they could just to criticize out. Scott for because she got physical. Criticize no, Scott no, for no, that. No, 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 no criticizing the stuff that happened after the fact. I would not, obviously, look, if Scott's being abused in a relationship, right, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, oh, well, that's Scott's fault that he got abused. Because obviously we know, again, you know, with it, with examples like Johnny Depp, you know what I mean? It could happen to, to men too, right? So I'm not saying, I'm not victim, you know, however they say, victim blaming Scott. I'm not victim blaming Scott. I'm saying that his actions after the fact, right, in regards to how he handled the situation, I think is worth, worth, worth criticizing. Because, again, if the whole goal is just, I want to get my son back, again, I don't think that uh, having to, you know, again, you know, capitulate to just getting a restraining order should be something that, you know, why that should be such a, a big thing. Like, I'm just not going to do it. But we've already been down this road before. We've already talked about this. Okay. So, I mean, I think... You know, I think what I think. You think what you what you think on it. Okay. So, so, so you you even brought up before that like, hey, men can get abused too, and clearly this does seem like a lot of verbal abusement of going towards Scott, it, physical abusement going towards Scott, all this sort of thing. So it, clearly the auto clips, you know, uh, show that. Um, I think you're, yeah, people have called it like a fixation on it, but I think it's just you, your coverage is a lot more focused on okay. Scott said that she's harmless. Scott said that it's all bark, no bite, but clearly she's acting fine. She's doing it. The only counter to that, and it's been the only counter, and, and hopefully you understand this, is that in his opinion, he doesn't feel like he can be harmed that bad by this person. I get that. I get that. My, right. my, only, my only thing with it is this. Why bother even taking the chance? That's that's really what it comes down to with me. It's like, why even take the chance? Okay, Just but in, okay, the, 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 this is why. This is why. Because to you, there's a chance. To him, there is no chance. There's no chance she would ac actually do any sort of harm yeah. to him. Do you, do you watch professional wrestling? Yes. Do you remember Chris Benoit? Yes. Do you remember what he did? Yes. And all the people that knew him said they had no idea he was capable of doing something like that. Okay. You're talking about a man who strangled uh, his yeah. wife and children. Yeah. His wife and kid, exactly. And nobody saw that coming when himself. Okay, and oh, what, what and, and the opposite to that is Scott is a two hundred and sixty pound six four six foot four man, and she's five foot seven hundred twenty pounds. There's a clear difference, and and Scott's not the crazy one that's going to murder her. She is claiming that she's going to harm him, and he ain't worried about that. I get all that. I get all that. But weapons are the great equalizer. You know what I mean? A weapon could be a great equalizer. Hell, it doesn't even have to be a weapon. It could be a whole host of other different things. We don't know was truly in the mind of someone because we don't that just goes to show we truly don't know anyone you know what i mean and here's the other thing too look so i think you and i i think you you and i can both agree on this right we're thinking from from that perspective of ourselves right we're not thinking it from the perspective of a mother because i i think it's pretty clear you and i are not mothers okay so for liz i mean you know she's looking at it from the perspective of mother I can only I can only assume she's right. Okay. The concern is for the kid. Okay. All right. Okay. The concern is for the kid at the end of the day, and okay. she, obviously she says, "Look, I I would feel more secure if this, if this, if this were to happen. That's it. I think that you know what I mean. Can you blame her? Okay. So uh, this is this is my response to that. You think of the mother. I think of both the mother and the father and that the father has a choice to choose how he protects his kid. And the fact that the mother wants to demand that the father has to protect him with a piece of paper rather than his own self and his own security system and how he chooses to operate his own home. I think, okay, well, clearly, 
Okay, hey, this is based off of what we know and what Scott has told us because Listen Delirious hasn't came out publicly and said anything. So, again, if you want to well, speculate either, either that, okay, either maybe either there's either. more. Hold on, hold on. If we want to speculate that there's more, we can get into speculation territory, but I'm going to make it very clear that's all in speculation. What is happening based off what Scott has told us and what has been shown from these audio clips is that Scott chooses that he wants to defend like defend and, and, and protect people this way, and Scott... Liz wants to do it through a restraining order. Okay, fine. They can do it their own separate ways. But again, this is all going to get back to should Zane be held because Scott chose he wanted to go this route instead of that route. And again, I don't think a piece of paper saying a, a, a person can't show up or be close to this person should be restricting a kid overall. Again, based on if this is all true and if, if that's the catalyst. Your opinion. But again, again, what I said at the very beginning is we're getting one part right we're getting one there's i still agree i agree the sons right we haven't heard the son's story and we haven't heard liz's story on this right i agree and for all we know for all we know the son might have had concerns did you you know we have to at least consider that possibility as well the son might have I, had concerns. i brought it up several times yes before yeah but i'm but again but we haven't heard from them, right yes right so you know i mean i think what they have to say is going to count in all this too. So right. I get what you're saying with Scott. Believe me, I understand. It's just, do you yeah. understand that the stuff with Scott is that he's coming here presently and he's telling it, yes, I have a security system. Yes, I want to handle things this way. Yes, I didn't want to get a short order because of this. So he says all of this. I'm like, okay, I hear I hear what you're saying, Scott. And can, can you understand I, that? Like, that. But again, but we're not considering, again, we're not considering the mother's point of view here either. For her, she... He could have told her all the same. Hey, I got, I got a, a camera system. I got a security system. I got this. I got that. I got, I got all this stuff, right? And she's like, look, I would just feel a lot better if you also just got a restraining order. You see what I'm saying? Does Say that, that make again? sense? I said she. I'm, I'm sure Scott, right? These are all the things that Scott is saying publicly. Okay. Okay. I'm sure these are all things he, he probably said to Liz too. But maybe okay. for us, look, I would just like, you know, I would have more peace of mind knowing that you also got a restraining order. Okay. And I, and, and, and my response to that is that they're divorced for a reason. They don't agree on stuff. And okay. Scott wanted to protect his kid this way. Liz wants to protect, his, protect Zane this way. They should do it in their own ways that they want to do. Not one parent should have holds and restrictions to another parent, it, unless it's through, like, courts and agreements and all the other sort of thing. But if it's not anything legal and it's like, oh, yeah, you must get a restraining order, then that that's that's a little childish counter, to be holding a kid over counter, that. But again, look, the counter to that would be, look, Scott said, he seems to be willing to do whatever it takes to get his son back. So to me, I think that that's, that's an easy thing to do. You know what I mean? It's just, okay, I'll, co uh, I'll, I'll capitulate on this one. Because if he's willing to go to jail, right? He says he's also willing to go to court and, and be homeless. It's just like, it seems like he's, he is, I, I mean, what is it? Is he willing to do whatever it takes or not? Because that's, 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 where, a, that's where it becomes that's, confusing to me. Uh, that's, like, a, that's where it doesn't make any sense to me because he's saying one thing, right? But then he's like contradicting himself on the other hand. You see Again, I mean? like I said, not, that's a like I said, that's a good question for Scott, and that's a good question. Like maybe getting more follow up on and everything like that. That would be great to, to get more context on that. He did make those claims that he is, you know, willing to go to jail, willing to go to court for his son, blah blah blah, whatever. <laughs> but like like I said before, when it just comes to what has been said, you know, on this topic, real quick, and if Liz did sit here and try to force or, or, or demand that Scott gets a restraining order. My quick opinion on that, and again, I'd like to hear your opinion on a, a clear opinion on like, okay, where do you stand? I 100% st stand. If if that is Liz's argument that, sh that the restraining order is the best way to do it and you need to do it or you won't see Zane, I say that is completely fucking stupid. If Scott doesn't want to get a piece of paper and he wants to protect his kid a different way, he can protect his kid the way he wants to protect his fucking kid. And I think that is my clear-cut opinion. It was pretty clear where I stand on that issue. Now, where do you stand on that issue? I want to know your clear-cut opinion. opinion. I'm obviously on, on a different opinion from that, right? I would think that if you're going to do whatever it takes for your son, if you're saying you're willing to go through all these other hoops, right? Go to jail, get, get suited to homelessness, you know, all this other stuff. Do whatever it takes to get your son. I think that's an easy decision to make. I don't see why it has to be um, difficult, right? Just because you say you don't, 
oh, I don't want to do it just because she's not because she's demanding it, right? Because I mean, look, let me ask you something. Difficult right? from Liz's perspective, but it's difficult from Scott's perspective just to bend over and listen to demands as well. Hypothetically, if this if this girl ends up killing Scott or his son, how do you feel in the end? Because it doesn't mean, right? What if what if something were to happen, right? Completely hypothetical, right? Hypothetical, okay. And there could have been more of a deterrent there because, again, just because his house is secure doesn't mean this shit would have to go down at his house. All right. So, so, you, so you know your yeah. So your opinion stands more with you know if if Liz's claim is that yeah you should get restraining in order you should do this you, you would stand with that opinion you think that that well, extra detergent opinion- is is what. What I think, what I think is this, right? If it gives her more peace of mind, right? And because again, it's not just about whether or not her son and his son is safe in his house, right? Because the restraining order goes outside of that. It goes outside of just the house. Okay. So it's that extra layer of reassurance knowing that, okay, home or not, or wherever with the son out in, you know, out in some place that they like to spend time with, there's that extra layer of security there knowing that if all right, he sees her coming, it's just like, yo, cops. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Cops. Okay. I, I, I really like what you just said there it's because guess what? Really God, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really like what you just said there because she can get a restraining order for Zane on his behalf and there. boom, th- there there we go. Scott, Scott doesn't need to get, get one. one. Problem solved, right? 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 Scott could get one too though. You know what yeah. I mean? He does. He's not worried about it as much as everybody else is. Right. He's not yeah. as worried as you are. Not as worried as Liz is. But Liz, again, Liz's concern, right, is, is her son being with Scott. Okay. And that restraining order that is on Zane that Liz could put on his behalf would cover Zane when Zane goes yeah. over to Scott's yeah. house. Scott too. You see what I'm saying? It's just like. Yeah. So Scott doesn't need to get one. Boom. Done. Clean. Done. Oh. Woo. Done. It would help all the parties involved. It would give her that extra layer. It's like, look, I want you to have one too, because she could be concerned for his safety just as much as her son's. You know what I mean? I would, th- I would hope she would be. Seems you know very I mean? okay. Do you know how you it's just like alluded? Like hold on, hold on, hold on. Likely that she doesn't think that she doesn't want safety. Uh, toy, don't toy. That. Do you know how you? Though. Do you know how you just sat here and then say that like some people might think Scott is controlling? Don't you think it's a little controlling of Liz to like try to push a restraining order that Scott needs to get? Don't you think that's kind of like oh, on honey, Liz? Don't you think? All right, so wait, Scott moved. Scott moved over here, right, with the intent for Liz to have a relationship with it, with his uh, with, with Delirious his daughter, and have kids. Right? Yes, that's why exactly right. So don't you think that she also? I would hope that she also cares enough for Scott to be alive to be with his son, right? Don't you think that's fair? That her concern might yeah. Be, not, yeah he can protect himself, himself and stay alive pretty well. Yeah, oh, right. Is that not yeah. fair? Yeah, he can stay alive on his own and protect himself she without might, a piece of paper. Yep. He also, though, again, the whole thing might be also that extra that extra layer of protection for Scott too, because she might want to ensure that Scott lives to be in his son's life. Uh, Ohm Record just it, sat it, here it in the chat. Ohm Record just sat here and message in my chat. Per Toys Logic, Scott could reasonably demand that Liz must get a restraining order on Delirious, else she couldn't see Zane because Delirious stalked and threatened Amy and her baby. Okay, what does that, what does that have to do? He's making a comparison to like what your logic was saying. If Zane applied one to Delirious, that's what okay. that's what it has to do with it. What, He's what making about, a comparison. What about, the, what about the Amy stuff? I'll read it again. Per Toys Logic, no, 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 no. Scott what could about, reasonably demand about... that Liz must get a restraining order on Delirious, else she couldn't see Zane because Delirious stalked and threatened Amy and her baby. Oh, you mean. You mean the threats that have never been conclusively proven to be delirious? You mean those ones? The the alleged threats, you know, that nobody's been able to prove were 100% tied to him, at least as of yet? You know I talked threatened? about those one time? I remember you did. Okay. Do you remember what I talked about it? I remember what you talked about it. Do you remember what I asked you? On that, What'd on that you particular ask? thing, do you remember? Uh, no, I don't remember actually. What I asked you specifically, I said that email that Ohm showed you. I asked you, I said, "What about those it? accounts? 
did they say did they say did they confirm 100 percent that they were all tied to h2 of delirious to which you said no they just say on that email they said hey all these accounts belong to this guy they belong to h2 of delirious where and when did you ask me that that was on a stream a while back okay i'll have to see what uh what my answer was like more definitively to speak on that because I, I, mean, I don't i don't recall fine. saying that go back and look at it, but um, at the time you said no I asked you if they specifically said that. Okay. I was again. I was just reading <laughs> Ohm's like Ohm's you, comment right? for you in the live chat. About, if we're gonna talk about the supposed threats, right? The emojis, you know, which again, and this is something that I've been consistent on in regards to that, right? The emojis. Whoever did that, right? Delirious or whoever it was, right? Yeah. Whoever said that, I've always said that's not okay, right? To even imply threats because that's what that would be. That's an implied right. threat, obviously, because you're using right. emojis. You're not saying it, but you're obviously implying that, and that is not okay. Mm -hmm. And whoever did that, if it turns out to be delirious, I will say it right here now, and you're hearing me right now, TJ, I condemn that, and I think that that's horrible, and I hope that whoever it was that did that, when it's proven whoever it was did that, gets whatever they got coming to them. Do, you condemn, to do you condemn anything else delirious has done? Um, In regards to... To what? Like, uh, for example, like all the alt accounts, him being confirmed to be yeah, Susan sure. Storm. Yeah, I can do it. yeah, one, yeah. I think that that's that that's all ridiculous to me. You know what I mean? To be to do all that to me is stupid, and I've said as much in streams. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's stupid. I think it's childish. I think it's it's retarded. I absolutely condemn it. I think it's it's a ridiculous thing to do, and I've been critical of it. But, you know, but it's interesting. So you remember when you talked about those threats, okay? To me, it's just like, do you think that a person saying, right, that was an implied threat, which you were yeah. very upset about, right? You thought that that was not okay. So, so again, the stuff that this person has said, okay, not okay either, right? Can we agree on that? Agree on what? That the stuff that this that this girl said, right? The yeah, the X. Yeah. Terrible. It's not okay. Yeah, it's Horrible. terrible. Should be condemned. Yep, no one's questioning that. So we can agree on that, right? Whoever yep, no one's questioning made those that. implied threats, not okay. Condemned. We also agree on that, yep. All right. We can find some, you know, we can okay. find some common ground here. Um, so, I don't even know what we were on, on top of. Oh, we were talking about the restraining order thing. All right, so we don't have to continue talking about that though. I think we kind of hit a hit a road bump. You, you you're more on the side of um, well, if the mother thinks that it's safe for the kids, then everyone in the situation has to get a restraining order. While I'm more on the stand side of if a father wants to protect his own kids his own way, he should be able to do that. And I think I that's kind of where we hit a road bump right there. I think I think that if you're saying that you want what's in the best interest of the kid, right? protect the kid the best way you know how to do it not through you know, a piece of paper that everyone else tells you to again, do it. again but a paper that gives you more reassurances okay gives one person more reassurance and that's Liz not Scott again, more reassurance if, Liz again, more reassurance it would give her it would give her peace of mind that's what I'm saying okay that's it you know what yeah, I mean her, yeah, that's yep. fine. We, could dis we, could, we could disagree on that Okay. Um, so th again, that is like majority of the things that I needed to talk about. Uh, we talked about the restraining so, order, the like, vetting one thing. One thing I would like to clarify uh, regarding you uh, asking to see my Discord messages with Delirious. Okay. Yeah. What's up? So I shared my d d uh, Delirious Discord messages out there uh, in in the video. I'm sure you saw them and me asking him if he knew who he was, and then he pretty much told me he didn't know so uh, is delirious more honest with you would you say or you know maybe maybe that situation where i asked him maybe he didn't I would have to tell me so anytime anybody messaged me anything you know in regards to whatever the subject matter is i have to take with a grain of salt um i'm always skeptical of anybody that messaged me here on Discord or on whatever social media they get a hold of me. That even included the person that um, approached me, the concerned party. I was skeptical of them, suspicious. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I made I asked a lot of questions a lot. I grilled a lot. You know what I mean? And it wasn't until they verified, you know, and were able to corroborate a lot of the stuff where I was finding like, okay, I, I think this person is who they said they are. Right. So, but the thing I want to clarify regarding, you know, asking to see this court message was delirious, right? This are going to court for matters of their own. Um, you know, I have, uh, you know, I've not spoken to him about this issue with Scott, because honestly, you were the first one to kind of hit me to all this. You know what I mean? I had no idea when I saw those Liz tweets, what that was even about. I thought it had to do with the court case. And that's what I was looking yeah, into. Yeah, most people thought it had to do with Ohm. That's that's what I thought. And that's and what pe- I started looking pe- into. People also kind of use that to say really vulgar vulgar things to Ohm, which again, I think it would be awesome if I saw, I, I should send you over like the Reddit page and what other people were saying. People were saying some really think? nasty things like to Ohm, like, hey, he should be popped for that, which again, I think that would be a good no, thing for you to cover okay. to and condemn never... more threats. I've And I've always condemned stuff like that too. I don't think Ohm, I don't think anybody should be should be um uh you know threatened in any manner over this stuff it's honestly right. it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with with you or i or anybody else in this chat or or your chat right, right. it's just like if people can have their opinions about it but that's never okay but I, I wanted to ask you you know will you share your messages with scott right now would you be willing to share those yeah i could okay because maybe look the reason i'm asking that is that maybe i could get a better understanding of where he's coming from you know, maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Because look, here's the thing, TJ. I'm always willing to have my mind changed on stuff. I'm open to it. Okay. You know what I mean? But I can only speak on things that I see in the public sphere. That's it. You know what I mean? Things, And I can only opine on the things that I see in the public sphere. Okay. So is that fair? What's fair? So I'm saying... Is is that fair? Like like yeah, you can make yeah. you can only make your assessments off what's in the public sphere. Yeah. Okay, but would you be willing to share what he had to say and maybe I could get a better understanding of where he's coming from? <sighs> um, you don't have to do it on stream. If you're not comfortable doing it on stream, that's fine. I'm just asking you for you know what I mean, if that's something you'd be willing to do. It's not that. It's more so um Um it's more so what specifically should be talked about here um like what what uh, what are you looking for to understand because you you, you want to see more of scott's messages what he said to me because um because i have some of like the scott messages in the video okay. and everything so no, people can thinking, have a better understanding. so like what are you, you never spoke to liz right because you, you said you know you never had the means i mean but i you know i do, you talk- I, I think i did on twitter i i don't know if i don't remember if she was one of the people that messaged me it was back during like that drama alert video i got followed by a lot of people who were connected to the okay. vanos crew but uh, liz blocked me on twitter eventually so i don't even know if i have dms with her or not Wait, well, did you ask did you ask delirious to speak with her when you were speaking with him talking to delirious and bringing up yeah. liz's ex-husband i brought it up to delirious um and what uh scott was saying about delirious at the moment if it was really um i'm sure liz was informed that i messaged delirious so she was probably made well aware that's my assumption and i'm pretty pretty safe about that assumption i feel pretty good about that yeah. assumption that liz knew about it uh, but why not ask him to, to speak with her don't you you don't think he would have told her you don't think he would have asked her uh, you want me to like message Delirious now and ask? Because I can do that if like that's the issue. Yeah, why not? Okay. Hey, yeah. can I speak to Liz about the Scott situation? Um, I got this idea from Toy Bounty Hunter. And since he talked to you recently, maybe that's me putting in a good word so he'll listen to me. Sure. Because the last thing he said to me, I shared on stream. He said, you are gross and honestly need to do something better with your life. You have zero clues. So it's unlikely that he's going to allow me to talk to his wife, um, especially since his wife angrily screen recorded a video of her blocking me on Twitter. And I got a lot of people to jump over to my Twitter to say some nasty things to me. But I highly doubt this is going to work. But I'll try it your way, Toy. See if this works. Um, 
what do you just, hope for me to get out of this? Like, just get maybe maybe she'll reveal her side of the things and finally talk about things publicly, or. Hmm. No, I'm just wondering, you know, why why you didn't ask before. That's all. Um, oh, so you. Well, I just leave it up to assumption, you know. I, I didn't leave it up to assumption. I I asked Delirious. He was a close person, like connected to everything. I asked the person who is currently with and having children with Liz, and I'm yeah, pretty sure it's a safe assumption. Yeah, I just don't see what what say he has in any of it. Honestly, I mean, do you think he has a say in in, in these matters? What do does really he have do to that? do with it? Scott has been blasting on Twitter what he looks like. He's been threatening to expose Delirious. No, 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 what do you no, mean? Not, not about that. Not about that. Not about that. I'm just wondering, do, is Scott told you something? Is there anything from Scott that would indicate, like, right, did Delirious, like, inject himself into the situation? Like, did Delirious ever threaten him? Did Delirious ever say anything to him? No, he didn't he, sit here and threaten that he molested someone. He didn't sit here and say that Delirious did this or did that. Not, he, what, 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 what Scott did, did was ever, Scott, did Scott, listen, anything? Scott drug Delirious into this by sitting here trying to expose what he looks like. It's something that I've been very critical of Scott for doing. Okay. But I reached out to Delirious asking, and I'm um, under the assumption that Delirious would have told Liz about, about this and would have told Liz, hey, this – TJV channel who talks about drama found Scott's Twitter page and what Scott is saying about me. I'm pretty sure he would have told her. If he didn't, then wow, this was a giant blind side for Liz, I can tell you that. But I okay, hold on. I'll even I'll even give you more. Do you remember the tweet that uh Liz made on what was it, August eighth or August seventh? She sat here and said that I am in direct communication with Scott. How does she know that? Through Delirious, which I asked Delirious. And she went out tweeting about it and called me a gossip channel linked to Omrecker. So I'm I'm, I'm 100% certain at this point Liz knows that I, I asked Delirious. Yeah. Why, why hasn't Scott exposed him yet? Scott exposed who? Delirious? Yeah. Um, I've seen people theorize in the chat, which I think this is maybe a, like a good assumption i guess um to, to, maybe maybe, 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 maybe it's like a leverage thing that's the only thing he has to leverage so he hasn't done it yet and um, maybe that worry will get i don't know what scott was thinking again it's something i was critical of scott for but what i was uh get, yeah. getting at there was that maybe he thought that since he was going to threaten yeah. what he looks like and yeah. expose a photo that would get them to like say okay we don't want you to do that we'll give you so he, zane he to talk to he hasn't told you has it told you when? When? Yeah, Scott, like Scott hasn't. Told no, you. he hasn't had a timeline as for, since the beginning, as far as I know. He's all he's only alluded to it. Hmm. Okay. I'm just I'm just wondering, you know. Do you want me to ask Delirious this? Because she she knows that I contacted Delirious and she went and tweeted about it again. So I don't think she. I don't think this question will be productive, but I'll hit send if you tell me to hit send. I mean, if you want. I mean... I don't I think, think it's going to do anything gonna... because of based off her tweet. Yeah. <laughs> but... I mean, just send it. Fuck it. At this point, fuck, fuck it. it, right? All right. Thank you, Toy. I mean, look, we're, we're trying to get we're trying to get the, the, uh, the whole story, right? Hmm? We're trying to get the whole story, right? Hundred percent, yes. All right, cool. Does Scott want to talk? Are, are you wanting to do that? I, I, you guys have had choice words about each other. I mean, look, I again, like I said, I have nothing personally against them. That is up to you if you want to. It's fine, we could talk if he wants to talk. You know, I mean, if it's just going to become a you know a shout fest or whatever, or just you know. Whatever I, I don't think that'd be too productive, but if he's willing to talk and be civil, sure, we can talk. The last okay, yeah. I'm just saying the last time I invited someone in to speak to someone I had a guest on, it didn't really end well, and that was like Omaker and Wildcat. So again, it's up to you. You're the guest. I'll leave it up to you. If you want Scott to be brought into this, I'll be up to you. If you want to talk to him, if you want to have any questions for him, if he want if he wants to have a civil discussion, I'm down. You know, with respect, sure. If it's going to be respectful, sure. If you right. can agree that, that's cool. I got to hear something from Scott in the chat or a Discord DM, but I'm not getting anything yet. Toy, 
says he will chat live on my stream with you civilly. So it seems like, um, you know, there's just not been the best interactions between you and Scott. Have you DM'd Scott at all or ever attempted to reach out to him? No. I mean, look, when I did the first stream, right, reacting to your video, I remember I had said, because uh, somebody had asked me, they said, you know, would you talk to Scott? And I said, maybe I would consider it. And I said that because I didn't know because I was reacting to your video, if Doesn't... there had been any legal implications, if there had been anything starting yet, I said I would consider it, maybe. But Scott flat out said, I can't talk to John. That's what he said. So I left it alone. So uh, is, isn't that very similar to, like, like you're talking about Scott's situation, and I'm talking about Liz's situation. You, you said, well, well, did you even attempt to reach out to her? Well, why didn't like I even I, told I, you I in a call? Like, I yeah. even told you in a call that like, hey, if you yeah. wanted to talk to Scott, I could give you his contact info, and you never requested or asked yeah. me for it. He said he couldn't talk to me. He said I can't talk to John. That's what he said. He responded. When, did he say that in, in like live chat. chat or? Oh, okay. In, in my in my chat in my I live not, chat. I haven't seen I haven't seen the all the chat messages from that stream. The stream where he hopped yeah. over and. That's what he said. Yeah, I, I mean, did. Um, I did. I did see some of it. I think. I think I joined in late. I think Sen was streaming at the same time you were, and I joined in late. I saw a lot of people asking Scott yeah. questions in your chat, but yeah, he said. He said I can't talk to John. That's what he said. <sighs> Have you reached out to? Oh, you probably haven't, but I was going to ask if you reached out to Delirious to ask him for his side of the story. Did I reach out to him about this? No. I mean, you saw the messages. No, yeah, I didn't. I know. Why not? Because I don't see how he is a factor in any of this. I, I really don't. I don't see like how he has a say in anything that happens between Scott and Liz. I mean, I think that's it's between them. I think he has about as much to do with it as as Scott does with uh, his girls, right? Which is not at all. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting any response from Scott yet. I would like to join. I am. I have some questions. Jill Venom, you want to join? You got some questions? Not. Oh, Mr. Sen said earlier in the chat that you banned, like he got banned from your chat apparently. Well, I don't know if he got banned. I mean, maybe somebody banned him, but, you know. Uh, are you and Sen having a falling out? So, I don't mean to ask this publicly, but. Cats, hardly anyone here has, you know, kids. And I'm familiar with them being young adults, but this is between two adults and their child, you know. So I'm just saying that generally. So, but what were you saying now? I uh, saying, is this like a falling out between you and Sen? Like, you guys all good? I don't know. I mean, you should probably ask him. It was a misclick. I got banned for a sec. It was a misclick. And he put the misclick in quotes. Oh, so you someone put him in timeout. Gotcha. Huh? Ugh. Are any of you guys wanting to join Sen or Chilled Venom? You got some questions? You got any questions for me, Toy? I got nothing for, I got nothing for Sen. Or for Chilled. Oh, okay. You know. <sighs> Just don't want to talk to him? A lot of their opinions aren't really informed. I, and I came to talk with you, so. And like I said, if Scott wants to talk, so. Did you say their opinions weren't really informed, or? I mean, generally with people in the chat, so. I mean, Sen's talked about it in his stream. I think he knows a little bit about it, but I don't know. Uh, any other questions you got for me, or? I mean, I think we've we pretty much covered most of this stuff. Uh, chat, you guys got any questions for Toy? If he's willing to answer a sure. question from chat, maybe. 
maybe vice versa. I don't know if you're still if you're still streaming. If your chat has any questions for me, TJV, can I have a cookie? I no. Anybody in the chat got questions for? Anybody in the chat got Chill. questions for um, uh, TJ? Chilled Venom says, "Why is he scared of a childish idiot like me?" I'm not scared at all. I, I just don't see what he what is he what does he want to talk about? I was here to talk to TJ. It has nothing to do with being scared. Brock Matthews Jr. says, "Yes." What color underwear is Toy wearing? I mean, that's a little bit risque, but I mean, you know, definitely. Uh, it's definitely something exotic. I'll say that. I'm wearing blue, so it's nothing special. What you talk about, man? That's nice. <sighs> it's just blue. Uh, question, what is the key point you will take from this stream? That's a good thing. Like, what's what's like the biggest thing you'll take out of this stream, Toy? The biggest takeaway that I have yeah. from the stream? Yeah. It's fun. I mean, it, it's a good time. It was fun? I mean, yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. Did you? Oh, yeah. Look, at the biggest takeaway for me is, like, no matter what, I don't begrudge anyone in this situation. Not you, not Scott, not anybody. We simply just disagree on stuff. You know what I mean? You know, it's um, uh, it's just going to be one of those situations, agree to disagree, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be anything personal. That was really my whole thing with all of this, too, from the beginning. It's just, like, they it seemed to be something that was taken personally. And it's really not because I don't lose any kind of sleep over this at night. Like I don't, I don't because begrudge Scott anything. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, another so question. I, I, I kind of want to get through these questions quickly. Cause some of them are really good. Um, Mr. Say, Sen let, let me say this real quick, but I, you know, it seemed like you took what I, at least to me, it felt like some of the stuff that I had said, you know, you seem to take personal and it was never, Nothing that I, I did on my stream was ever to be like a slight towards you. Oh no, no, I wasn't. I, it, it, like if it hurt me at all, no, no. I just I I was confused about some points, and I thought some points, you know, I had criticisms about which I expressed during this like slight interview with you and everything like that. And I feel like I got some answers. Some answers I'm just not going to get. We butt heads. We agree to disagree on some things. But um, a question in my chat is, John, why are you talking to TJ? Then don't you hold the same opinion about him being uninformed and an idiot? Did John, I ever you say took that? That's what Mr. Sen said. Did I ever say that? Did I ever say John, that about you, Miss, Mr. Sen says, John, you took whatever I did to you personal. LOL, stop acting like you're above this. Ha ha. No, I don't take anything he's he did personally. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I really I really don't care. That seems like drama between y'all. I'll, I'll stray away from that. Uh, question for Toy and TJV. Without, be, without the unbiased opinion, do you think Scott is selling the truth? Be honest. So that's a question for both of us. Do you think Scott is selling the truth? Sen? Or Sen? I don't Toy? Think, I, do I think he's selling the truth? I, I don't think he is. I don't think he is, per se. I think, though, that there's some stuff that was... I think there's stuff that's been left out. So... Um, I just want to see more proof. That's all. I'm kind of in the same boat. I, I, don't uh, see, I don't see the upside in just, even though, again, I may not agree with how it was handled, but in the long term, I don't see the upside to go that far, right? To to, to just make an outright um, fabrication, right? I, I don't see the upside in that in that either in the long run. That doesn't make that that doesn't make any sense to me either, that he would. Be, uh, I think, so uh, another quick question is um, how sure is Toy the concerned person isn't Delirious or Liz? So people think like the concerned party oh, no, that – No, it definitely wasn't because uh, the way they reached me was – they reached me through means that I don't usually use a, a social media site that um, I use but not as, as often. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain, especially after actually seeing the person, that it's it's not. Yeah. Okay. Another yeah, another. I mean, this is this is a lighthearted one. Toy versus TJV YouTube boxing match when. YouTube boxing match. 
Yeah, between you and me. So, bro, whenever, bro. Let's do it. You're, are you maybe, serious? Take that money, baby girl. You serious? Huh? Okay, so I, I public I uh, yeah, okay, so I publicly said that I'm from Iowa. Um are you okay saying like if you're from a certain state or, or no? Um I yeah, I've been I I have been open about where I'm from. I'm from Florida. Okay. You're from Florida? Okay, so that ain't that far of a drive. Um my girlfriend actually comes from Florida. Um her a lot of her family's down there, so we'll definitely have the boxing match down in Florida. I'm thinking Miami, we'll pick a big stadium we'll and sell everything out, like we'll that. Sell out the, we'll sell out the um uh we'll sell out the arena over here, man. Yep, we'll yeah. Make millions, we'll make millions. We'll, we'll make we'll millions to that. Uh, another question. What are your thoughts on people um, gay opping Ohm or Delirious or even Louis Toy? On people gay opping Ohm, Delirious, or uh, Or Louis? even Louis, yeah. I mean, it's probably, probably not a good idea. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just like, you know. It's usually doesn't um uh, doesn't end up well, I guess. Right. Um, question for both of you: What do you think about the whole authorities investigating Delirious as own claimed, and nothing ever came out of it after all that time has passed? Um, I think it's just because like all that evidence and authorities investigating well, both sides are meant for like the court case. I mean, we're just gonna have to wait and see what comes out of the court case. I think. Look, if that's true, right? Obviously, there wasn't any arrests and stuff like that, which would mean that they didn't find anything. Um, but you never know. Again, if, if there's something to find, people will find it, right? I, you, would, you would think that the authorities are going to find it, so. Um, question, no offense to you, TJV, but why didn't Scott go to Keemstar? What do you think, Toy? <laughs> huh, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, um, I saw in the. I mean, to to clarify, saw, Scott didn't Scott didn't go to me. I went to Scott because I saw his tweets and I was like, "Bro, are you fucking trolling or like what the fuck is this?" And then he was like, "No, dude, I really do know him. I like I, I do know these people. They did this to me X Y Z." And I was like, "Okay, well, you're gonna have to vet that and prove that." And so for me, there. I'm uh, you know, dodge my questions more. Um, so let me, uh, this is what I think, right? This is just something I want to say. I think that, uh, you know, these audios have more. I think they're, they're worth posting to get more of the picture. Um, so I, I think that that's something that should be done. So I'm just, Do what? I'm just so. Say that again? I think that the uh, the audios, I think they should be posted just so – because you said that Scott has audios that are much longer, right? Yeah, much, much longer. I think it would serve, you know, especially, you know, the public better if these were put out there. I'll see yeah, what yeah. I can – I can see and what more. I can do for that. Um, I'm – Again, it would I mean, be like it'd be the same like if I was talking to Delirious and Delirious had audio, like I wouldn't want to do it against somebody's will. So like I'll I'll do my best and talk to Scott and see if I can get some more fuller audios out there and everything like that and oh. see what it, what it's all about. But would you, would you consider yourself friends with Scott? No. No? Not even in the slightest. Even the slightest? Nope. Question you for sure? Toy. Does he buy Liz Cat's you OnlyFans sure? content? Do you buy Liz Cat's OnlyFans content? I have never bought anybody's OnlyFans content. Are you sure? You, you, ain't, you ain't buddies with Scott? You haven't developed a rapport? Nothing? No common no, no common interest? Um, let me think. There was nothing during the interview we talked about besides the drama in hand. And then that's what most of our chats have been about. Most recently, the audio and that's about it hmm. why did you oh. did you get something from your concerned just, party I'm, I'm, that I'm, says you know because you talked to his hand and stuff did he ask you to do that or because i talked to you know, who no because i'm wondering why because you talked to his aunt i'm just wondering why and i'm wondering if he asked you to do that he said i, I told him if there was like anything else you could give me to help like vet the situation and help like prove that you know like like this was very early on 
um, before like public records. I, I saw public records like, okay, yeah, they got married and all the other shit and the real names of, of the people and everything like that. Um, and like past last names. One of the things he says is, oh, if you, if you want to, you can talk to this person. Um, they've had experiences with like Zane and Liz. And I was like, okay, well, yeah. I mean, your story is more about wanting to get your kid back. So that would be definitely more of a focus I'd want to talk about. So talking to his aunt Julie, yeah, that was one of the things he offered. I think he offered someone else I could talk to as well. I'm going to have to look back and see what that was. So, you know, just um, to, as you said, I guess people want me to ask in chat, they're asking, uh, so look, the clips that I got, right? Yep. The order yeah. that they were played in was, you know, the order they were sent more or less. You know what I mean? Okay. And they were labeled as such. So what I want to know is, um, you said this guy has some that are up to 40 minutes long. You know, were any of these, you know, at least from what he might have said to you, were they in any kind of specific order? What did they? When did they happen? Did he give you a timeline? You know? These, so... So, so this is this. Uh, first off, there's nothing being said in those clips that would like clearly indicate like if this happened at that time or this time or anything. As far as I'm aware, um, and he didn't tell me specifically about the order of things. I more asked him, "Hey, do you have the original audio clips?" As in, like, okay, people were saying that like are these the full clips? Why are they cut up? Why is there like a bunch of segments where they cut up this way on purpose or whatever? And I was just like, oh, okay, well. I'll I'll see if like I can see it, and um, I actually got the information like yesterday or something like that. So I I didn't have enough time between like watching your stream and looking at your coverage and, and looking at the other clips that was out there. I didn't have enough time to do that and also go watch like hour long clips, forty minute clips, however long they were. Um, Dat Darn just asked a question. TJV, I have a question. Why did Toy make the last live stream without any info or context pertaining to the audio? I mean, you could have asked the people related to the issue. I mean, some info is better than none. So that's referring to like, why didn't you reach out to Scott to talk about these audio clips? Uh, that's pretty. That's that's a pretty easy one to answer. The person that I and I said this before, but I'll repeat it. The person that sent me the audio, the concerned party it was conditional it was conditional they said they did not want me to share this with anybody else they did not want me to tell anybody else they were trusting in good faith they said look this is basically what they had this is what they wanted to put out there because they felt that more of the story needed to be out there and these were the terms basically was agreeing to these terms then they would let me hear what they had you know so right. that's that's why because they had very strict conditions for under which they would give me these audio clips was one of the conditions not talking to scott to get more info i mean he was the what person there recording they said, nobody nobody they said look the the whole story is not out there you know what i mean but these will add a bit more they didn't want me to tell nobody that's why Remember when initially you and I talked and I said, hey, look, I'll give you, you know, I could give you the, uh, you know, I would give you the heads up, bro. They said, nobody, nobody said, look, nobody, no other YouTuber, nobody, nothing. This is, I will, I will let you hear these. I will give these to you only if you agree to these conditions to which I agree. So it was an integrity thing. They just, they said, look, under these conditions, I will release these to you. If you can. If you can meet me here, I will give you this. You know what I'm saying? I will let you hear this. Because initially, it was me hearing them first before they even sent them. Do you know who that sounds like to me? Who? The same person who sent me this, like, from the Susan Storm email that said, hey, I wish not to be named. Hmm. Well, like I said, the person that I saw, you know, wasn't hmm. like how she described you know who the Susan Storm Not person is, like right? Scott, right. No. You know who the Susan Storm per who on that account, right? Yes, but again, the person that Scott described was <laughs> this person did not look by did not look like them, and they certainly weren't married. You know, to the person that uh, corroborated, so.
Chilled Venom says, I was sent that email. I can back that up. Well, a lot of people were sent that. Were you sent an email from Susan Storm? Never. Never? Hmm. Why Why wouldn't you have delivered this one to send why you stuff? Why do you still ask questions like this? This is about a kid and his safety. Why do you joke? Who are you talking about? No, I'm talking to Chill. You know? Is he joking? Is, no. is it in your chat? He's, is it... he's in one of mine, so... Oh, he's in your chat, joking? Yeah. He's... Well, he's in, he's been in and out of mine, but... I see him in, uh... I see him in yours. Oh. <sighs> TJV, this continuation still, I mean, you still only were basing this in your opinion toy instead of stating the facts and listening to the audio in fully, and we're only hanging on one topic. And I think that, like, one topic you were hanging on was, like, the bark and bite and if she's really harmful. And But I don't know. Toy did cover different topics in his stream. It's just they were slightly different. They were all kind of about the same, like, the same topic in hand, though. But... John Morrill figging right now for good boy points. I love pulling out the morality card to make myself look like a good person. Damn. That's funny coming from him. Why share the audio clips if asked not to talk to Scott? That's very biased journalism. That's what They're very said. specific about the conditions under which they were releasing. That's all I'll say. Why why wouldn't they want you to talk to Scott though? Like why wouldn't you like wouldn't you want to go get like more info from the guy who was they there? Have, they have the reasons, man. Like I said. Like cuz you could have asked about like like the Facebook thing or how like Scott didn't want his Remember, ex-girlfriend to have Facebook, the controlling the the already, the gaslighting thing that you not assumed. Not, not assumed, but so. a speculator. What? Yeah. He yeah, already said he could He already said he can't talk to me. Hmm. But, like, one of the conditions was not to talk to him, right? They said to nobody. They were very specific. Nobody. You couldn't have even have told me, man. Well, that's what I, when I said nobody, nobody. Damn. Whoever this, like, concerned party is who sent it to you, they have your fucking loyalty, they have your trust, they have everything, because you did not tell me. And, like, I thought since I told you about the Scott that's, story early, you would have told me. That's the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. They they wanted complete and total anonymity. Uh, at TJV, why didn't Toy talk to Scott after he got permission to release the audio? Like, after your, vi your stream was already up. Me, remember? Oh, Toy's saying that Scott said he couldn't talk to Toy. And what but... difference would it make at that point, right? They were already out. I mean, for any future streams, if you want more info, I guess. Like, would, would you talk said, to hey, like, I'll, Would you I'll, want more I'll, info? I already said, hey, I could talk to him, right? Okay, yeah. But, He's being you know, self apparent now, answer. so. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so would you would you be able to like so this person reached out it, through text, I assume, right? Like text on another social media website, right? It was on another social media website. It was and on through a text. social media website. That's all. Okay, and it's through text. Like it, there was clearly yeah. like okay, okay. So you wouldn't be able to like even like blur who the person is so we can get context nope. of like what their conditions nope. were? They want to total anonymity, so like I said, there's nothing more that I'll that I'll say on it. Damn. You know. Question off this stuff, but do you think that in the next couple of years internet streaming news drama will make most media? Say again? Uh do you think in a couple of years internet streaming news drama will make most media? I I have no idea. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I... I have no idea. I mean, maybe. Possibly. I mean, a lot of people go to the internet first, but this is not really news. You know what I mean? I wouldn't consider anything that you and I do news, per se. Sorry if I skipped some of your questions, guys, in chat. I'm trying not to, like, have any repeats of what we already talked about during the stream. Like, one was asking, why doesn't Liz just get a restraining order only for... Zane and Scott can do without one, but we already, already talked about that earlier. We've already been down that road. 
Uh, all right. Um, let me see. Why did you think it was a good idea to release the clips under bias conditions? Like, did, uh, did, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me further add to that real quick, because like I, I can understand where you can just like shit on that comment or whatever. But like, do you agree with like the conditions? Like, obviously you followed them. And obviously, you stuck true to them, which is good on your part for this the concerned party. To corroborate who they were, right? So I corroborated who they were, verified they were who they said they were. Okay. Right. Um, and that was their condition. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's for the. It's for integrity, right? You know, when it comes to sources, you know, you have to make deals. All right. Do you agree with those conditions? Like, are you upset with those conditions? That like you can't be transparent and honest about who it is. I mean, look, I I would have liked to have right. I would have liked to, but at the same time, look, honestly, when it comes to when it comes to things like that, right? When it comes to situations like that, I mean, that's that's what you do. You know what I mean? Especially if it's um going to create that two way street, right? A uh, potentially getting more information you got to give you got to give something to get something back i'm sure you would agree yeah well again my question was though do you like the conditions like are you against them like would you prefer to just be open and transparent about who sent you shit like i am with scott like scott sent me 99 percent of the shit i know about the situation you know if scott had asked for anonymity though you know what i'm saying would you have respected that if he, he it, 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 draw kind of i, pro I probably would have denied his story and not talked about it I probably would have been like, huh? Why, what if his anonymity was just because he didn't want to get swarmed with random people, you know, uh, saying stuff to him on social media? Um, he was to protect himself. I think it has to do partial with, like, transparency and the comments that I saw that he made on Twitter. He was already having a uh, an attempt to, like, tag bit really – like, you covered it in your stream. He was tagging really big content creators, Vanoss Gaming, and all them. So me, if he was if he was attempting to do that, then I was like, okay, yeah. Then... You know, to see more of the picture, I can agree to somebody's anonymity because in, in a lot of stories, sometimes – that's how it has to be, right? It seemed to be the catalyst, right, of this whole issue, right? Did Scott share screenshot, screenshots of Liz denying him? You know, screenshots of Delirious denying him, any of that? Did he do any of that? No. I mean... Uh, you know, another I got another question real quick. Are we supposed to think that all the anonymous users operate in good faith? Like, what when Delirious anonym, anonymous... Is, you don't... We don't spread know. spread ohms docs so like we, we don't know that's the thing we don't know i i mean obviously there's always going to be a chance you're taking right there's always going to be a chance yeah for sure you know it's it's always possible you're going to get burned by a source somebody or, said it, it what if what if toy was deleting the audio clips delirious sent him when you showed the dms i didn't get any audio clips from Delirious at all. Huh. Um. I'm just reading off what what I said in the chat. I'm not trying to put you in an uncomfortable situation or anything. No, I don't even. Again, you know, I don't even know how to freaking delete messages in this shit. So how little I know. I don't know. Like you said that you you barely use it, but like clearly you messaged <laughs> the person a while ago. So, I don't know. Like like it's yeah. going to be it's going to be up to concern being like, okay, was there enough time technically for you to delete stuff and then maybe if Delirious was watching the stream, which Delirious has proved that he does jump in and watch my streams. I mean, I got stuff to back that up and show that that okay. he, uh, so. he 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 does watch my streams sometimes. Without me even knowing, without like, so without. How, how do you delete messages on here? You don't know how to delete messages. How would you delete something off your desktop? I mean, well, how would you do it on here? Okay, but t tell me real quick, how would you delete stuff on a desktop? You would use your mouse, and then you would click what That's... button? But I'm saying, how would you do it in Discord? Exact same way, bro. I'm trying to lay it out how easy it is to do it, and how it's okay. not that hard to find out. 
All right, so let's do something here, right? You're saying, I'm trying to see how you. So whose messages would I be deleting here? Because I'm looking at you can only delete your own messages on Discord, but what people are okay, saying in the chat would, and alluding okay. to. So then, all right, so then how would I delete audio messages that somebody else sent? That's what I, I was getting. Get, that's what I was getting to. You, what people are alluding to, I'm probably thinking, is you deleted your messages and Delirious was watching the stream, so he went in there quickly and deleted the messages, and that's what hap That's what people are thinking, I guess, but. Again, I, I don't know. It does seem a bit far-fetched to me. Uh, another question. Wait, Toy, why talk about not taking things seriously when you said there is no emotion to this? You you close you close to someone in this, question mark? Close to who? I don't know. I don't know what that's no, referring I mean, to. When I say I take it seriously, that doesn't mean that I'm emotionally invested in this. You know I will I mean? say, I will say, if we're, I will, if we're being... when I say take it seriously, I mean that I think that you have to be serious when a kid is involved. You know, what I mean, I think that you that that's not something to take lightly. So that's what I mean. But I don't. There's no like emotion behind that. Like I'm not emotionally invested in it. It did Does that take make a... sense. Like I'm yeah. not personally invested like that. I said, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful of the situation. I guess is the best way for me to put it. So that's what I mean that I take it seriously. Like, I'm not going to be, you notice, I don't know if you've noticed, but, you know, I haven't said the name of the kid. I've just said the son. Because I don't think any more attention should be brought to him. You know what I mean? Uh, someone said in the chat, uh, TJV Delirious is well known for watching your stream and deleting DMs. Um... It did take Toy a while to get that screenshot and combo in, Oreo, in order. Uh, Delirious does ops. He had alts and oppressed them or operated them, doxing someone. It's fair to assume he would delete his side of the combo for John, lol. John, where was this concern for Amy's I mean, kid with pretty, Delirious? Look, obviously, look, it's pretty clear that I didn't want to share my Discord because my messages are my messages. They're private. Right. Well, I remember back when I used to share my DMs with home and made videos out of them? Do you remember that? Yeah, that's something you, you just do. That's not something that I typically do. I've do you never, remember when I released I've never group chat messages, messages I've between never started, Wildcat, Home and I? Discord messages. Yeah, that's you, though. That's I don't do that. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not. I've ever done that. I'm not implying that. I, all I'm saying, no, but I'm though, just saying. I, I, I'm saying like I think that there's like a level of like transparency and that like like I don't back think back on. The end. Well, no, not no, not necessarily. But what I'm saying though is I think there's a level of transparency I mean, and what I'm gonna there should be a level of transparency with people. Um, and especially like if I'm interviewing you, I, I'm hoping everything you said to me was I mean, the I truth. Have I have messages with them too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying though but is that many. like, what, what I'm what I'm trying to say though is that like what I one of the questions that was asked before was like, what are you gonna take away from this? And I think the big thing is that there was a moment where like, I don't know, would you have told me like if you never showed like if that question ever popped up if you showing DMs with Delirious, if after the fact would you have been honest with me and told me after the stream? Well, my messages weren't for you, so. I mean, no, but, I but would you have been that. honest about like the context of when you guys last messaged each other, or would you have still ran with, "Oh, we haven't messaged in two years"? I mean, like I said, my messages weren't for you, so it doesn't matter. I mean, but look, since it was asked, look, yeah, I should have been forthcoming about it, and like I said, that's that's on me. So, where again, was this concern for Amy's kid, John? Um, didn't you say the emojis were just emojis and not a threat, even though the emojis had a baby an and a gun? Threat. I I've always said that they were an implied threat, and whoever sent them, that's not okay. I've always been consistent with that. I don't I don't know if they're talking about something else or not. 
if they're talking about a moment. What I've always said, what I've always said though, is that they have not been a hundred percent conclusively proven to be delirious. That's it. As of yet, there hasn't been any evidence to prove a hundred percent that that account belonged to as of yet. Now, if it comes out and the court docks that it is, I'm happy to be the first one to condemn him for it, for sure. But until we know for sure, you know, I'm not going to assume anything about it. But do I think it's okay? Not at all. Question a threat, for even an applied threat is not okay. Right. Question for Toy: Why is he? Why is he always hard defending Delirious because he did the same thing with the Ohm situation? How? You picked up. You're gonna have to say how. How am I hard? How am I hard defending him? Toy needs context. How am I hard defending him? I've been pretty openly critical about all the dumb shit that he's done. Some people are saying that the Ray Harpy account, the one that threatened the baby, was banned at the exact same time um, that all the other ones yeah. were banned. Sure, but there so was a white. It, 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 a it wouldn't. It would it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like completely out of the woodworks uh, to like assume that like okay that account might be some of the same alt accounts that were banned like said, that yeah, are confirmed to be delirious. The, the possibility again, yeah, the possibility exists. And do you understand that like if Delirious did do that, like and theoretically of, here, he would he would never want to admit to it. I mean, again, there. There might be a point in time where, again, if it if it comes to light, if it comes to light that those accounts for sure did belong to him, right? Through evidence, <laughs> it's not going to matter how much he denies, right? right? A lot of accounts, a lot of accounts, a lot of accounts were suspended. Om told me that. He told you that. Some that weren't even associated with Delirious, and Om knows who they actually belong to, right? Or so he claimed. Yeah. Uh, another question, Toy, can you tell us the criticisms you had for Liz from earlier in this convo where we agreed that she uh, talked about Scott first? So, like, what were your criticisms? Said, uh, what my criticism was is that I don't think that the situation, you know what I mean, should have been talked about at all, right? Not even vaguely, but at least the difference there is is that it was vague and there was no – implication as to who it was she was specifically talking about or what the situation was it was pretty ambiguous but i still think yeah i think she absolutely shouldn't have said shit i think you know private matters family matters should stay private right um at tjv wasn't that account along with the other alt accounts confirmed to be delirious via, via twitter staff in an email so what i saw and what i talked about at the time is that i saw um om shared something with me that you know it's similar to john with his uh concerned party here where there was a condition where if i saw these i was allowed to talk about it publicly which is what i wanted to do because all i wanted to do is be transparent and honest with people and i thought maybe that would be enough to get people to be like okay i don't see why tjb would come out here and uh sacrifice having all these delirious fans be subscribed and watching him um so i i said okay fine ohm i'll do it because he wouldn't let me screenshot it or do anything like that um, so I saw the Twitter email where um, someone from Twitter uh, confirmed in an email talking to Ohm saying, yeah, the Ray Harpy and amongst others were that. But they did. there was uh, conversations about other accounts that were made by other people that were just used to harass or spread around um, like a Kiwi Farms link or something like that. That's, you know, that holds what was considered doxing information at the time, I mm -hmm. think. So, um yeah, that, that's that's what I said a long time ago. I got a lot of flack, a lot of hate for it. Many of the other commentary channels actually got, gave me a bit of flack for it too, but it just so happens two weeks later is when Liz put out her video. I think it was about two weeks later. She put out her video confirming a lot of the alt accounts that were in the email, but the she Liz never mentions the Ray Harpy one. And so far through court documents, we have so, not seen the Ray Harpy you, one be mentioned. Let me ask you, did, did I give you flack for it? Um, I don't think so. That was more so other because ones, I, I think. Because I understood. I get it. You know what I mean? If those were conditions that you had to agree to see that information, you know, I, I don't fault you for that. You know what I mean? 
So the way yeah I yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not faulting you for like these conditions or anything yeah. either. But like like I said though like with the Discord DMs today and shown that like it, there was clearly like a lie with like the delirious DMs. Yeah. I'm I'm just cool. hoping that oh, I'm hoping everything else in this interview was transparent and honest from you. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes. Um, funny thing about the delirious account, Liz left out accounts that later got confirmed in the court case. Yeah, I know. I covered it. I made whole video and streams talking about the other accounts that Liz decided to just leave out because delirious had yeah. full aware that he made some of these accounts, even the Susan storm one, which was a big one. Cause that one was DMing a lot of us commentary channels about old information about Ohm to get us to make a video. And actually I someone got. I actually never got any any emails from that account. Yeah, um, someone. Most of us commentary years. channels didn't bite on it. We we knew what this was. We were like, okay, somebody hates Ohm. We don't know who it is because we, we didn't assume it was delirious at the time. But like, we all knew. I I, I might speak on behalf of everyone else if they knew, but I didn't know at the time. So like, most of us commentary channels didn't make videos about it. But one guy did, and he was like kind of like a nobody he had like 2,000 subscribers and his video did kind of pop off and then I made a video talking about his video saying this has absolutely nothing to do with the omen delirious shit this is obviously being used it's just shit on omen because he's had a past lawsuit or whatever with a place he worked at or, or whatever the fuck it was and yeah this is all being brought up just to hate on the account I got that exact same email with the exact same typing with the exact same everything and yeah, that was a bunch of bullshit, you know, like that people shouldn't be making a video about just some random nonsense and trying to spin it to make it well, make a person that's, seem that's worse. The thing. I, that person that you're speaking of, they reached out to Crow, but Crow didn't, you know, we didn't. Yeah, talk about yeah, that. yeah, yeah, which, that which again, I, I, was, I was happy that most of us picked up on that. Yeah, because I mean, I didn't think, you know, look, despite whatever uh criticisms i might have about omen stuff or whatever i don't think that he's a you know i'm saying it's just like and it just it looked fake you know what i mean it just is like i uh, you know yeah that just it it's not even the way he types it there's a lot of red flags there toy so, gave me flack for the pizza pirate account did you give chilled venom flack for the pizza pirate account no i don't think so i don't know what he's referring to when did TJV i do that I, I don't know. He's going to have to respond in the chat. Uh, TJV, have you messaged H2O since he sent that message, you being disgusting and gross? And if so, what did you respond with? The last thing... Okay, so when he sent the disgusting and gross thing, I have not gotten a response back since. And I did send, hey, can I speak to Liz about the Scott situation? I got this idea from Toy Bounty Hunters while streaming. So... That's what that's what I responded with him because I was planning on not responding to him after he called me gross and told me to do something better with my life because I find that a little disrespectful after I try to reach out to him for context. It's a bit hmm. disrespectful because, you know, there's another person in this whole drama situation with Delirious, uh, Omrecker, and every time I've messaged him, he's typically trying to he, – he, he tries to give me as much information he can with following uh, – advice from like his attorneys and stuff because you know i can't be told what? everything in the fucking world wait oh yeah when i ask what? about old situations before okay. like for example when delirious's what? account got suspended i uh -huh. asked I, I i remember i went to home and i was like hey so why would his account get suspended? Does he actually have alt accounts? Because Ohm was going on about alt accounts, and I said there was no proof out there that Delirious has alt accounts or is spending this time using alt accounts. And so when his Twitter account got suspended, I reached out to him. And obviously I'm not supposed to be told every little nook and cranny in the book. You know, I am a commentary drama report channel sort of thing. So there's always that slight... There's a you lot know, of people... random accounts so that got suspended too. Yeah, well, yeah, so like, some accounts were just breaking the rules and everything. A lot, so, yeah. yeah. So, I think there's a total like, of, the, the, if I'm not mistaken, the there's a total of, like, there's a total of at least, ten, may, maybe it's just right around 10 accounts that are proved to be delirious, either through Liz admitting it, the court documents admitting to it, stuff like that. There's at least, yeah, probably a handful, like you said, by the court documents. So... I'm going to send uh, I, TJV a piece of paper. Not, there was a good majority of the ones that were suspended had had no kind of um, had no kind of um, uh, no kind of um, uh, whatchamacallit tie what's, whatsoever to anything. A lot of them were random because the, the, the net was cast so wide. But look, 
Again, I think even Delirious responding to you, it was stupid, you know, the way he did, right? For that, you know, he shouldn't have oh, said Oh, you think so? Involved. Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, I mean, what's the point in denying it, right, that he knows the guy? I mean, you literally said the guy's first and last name to him, right? Yep. I mean, he would have been better off just not saying anything at all. So that's what I'm saying. It's just like, yeah. Like I said, I'm not I'm not on any of these people's side because none of these people are friends of mine. They're not my friends. They don't do anything for me. You know what I mean? We get occasionally. You're talking about you're talking about like Deliz but, and Delirious. Yeah, now? they're not they're not friends of mine. I don't know them. They don't know me. Just because I talk on occasion, just like with Ohm too. You know what I mean? I might talk to Ohm on occasion, but he's not my friend. You know what I mean? Have you uh, played any games with Delirious? No, I haven't played any with Ohm either. Because like I said, we're not we're not friends. These people are not my friends. I mean, we'll talk, but they're not my friends. I don't like them. You know, I'll talk to them. I'll be civil towards them, but they're not my friends. Uh, at TJV, what are you doing? What are you going to do if you find out Scott is lying or the kid doesn't don't want to see his dad? If it turns out like Scott was lying about everything, um, I would you know, definitely put. I would. Here's, here's I like. Can I add this real quick? Go ahead. Yeah. He shouldn't have said anything at all about Scott, right? Because I think it does push the narrative that he lies, right? And mm -hmm. it's not a good at all. Can we agree on that? Like delirious. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He called him a troll and everything. Yeah. And I would agree, a hundred percent on that. It's not all a right. good look at all. So again, look, if things turn out right through the court that proves things unequivocally, shame on him. And again, I hope he gets everything that's coming to him. You know what I mean? If he did, in fact, do all the things that, you know, he's alleged to have done, right? Right. So just like I would with anybody in that situation, just like I think, look, if Liz in this situation is willfully, if her son has been like, hey, I want to talk to dad, and she's and she's impeding that, that's messed up. I don't do agree you, with that. Do you play games with Louie? No. Have you had calls with Louis? Have I had calls with Louis? Yeah, Louis. Louis the only one I've ever I've ever talked to, you know, of of anybody. You know, what I mean, on calls and stuff. I've actually had a call with Ohm too, a long time ago. Did it go well? I'm, the maybe only not. Ones that I've actually ever actually like called and 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 spoken with. They're the only ones. Did the call with Ohm um, go well? I think actually, you know what? I did play, actually, this is funny. Actually, I did play Halo Infinite around the time it was released. Sen was there, so Sen could actually vouch for this. So we did play, I think, Halo Infinite around the time it was released with Louis. Sen and I did. It was Sen, me, and I think Crow, maybe Aura? But that's about it. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah uh, Scott just said that he will join the call, so... Are you still okay. with that? Like I said, it, like I said, if if we want to have a civil discussion and it's not going to devolve into, you know, insults and stuff, absolutely, I'll talk to him. If we could talk civilly and respectfully, sure. All right. Yeah. Let me get this set up. I'll I'll make a group chat for it. I don't know if you have to rejoin the call or not, but I'll add Scott up in here. All right. Great. Boom. All right, I'm calling them both right now, seeing if they respond. All right, John's you guys, here. You guys hear me? Yep, we can hear you. All right. Scott, is Scott there? Uh, he's not joining yet. It's ringing. Oh, no join yet. Let's see if he ends up joining. When did he send me that message? Because we did go on answering a lot of questions. He sent me that message at 1026. So that was only like 10 minutes ago. So. Okay. Should have joined. Uh, 
Also, I know that uh, Louis talked to Chill and and uh, Sen. Yeah. Yep. Chill didn't tell you that. Yeah, he's told me that. What about though? Because I I don't know the context of what they've talked. No, about. I don't know. That's oh. that's something. That's something you'd have to ask them about. Gotcha, gotcha. I just know that they've spoken. I'm not sure what? if it was even consistent. I think it might have only been back then, around that time. So you've talked to Louis in, like, BC before you've called him before? Oh, yeah. I've talked to him before, yeah. Like I said, the only ones I've ever talked to in, you know, you probably talked to a lot more people that were in uh, the Van Us group, but they just, uh, just Ohm and, um, uh, and Louis. Right. Well, I appreciate you being honest earlier and bringing up like you were seemed pretty chill and cool with the delirious thing. I'm, I mean, you could have obviously said no, but you didn't. So at least you were, at least at least we got to the point, like got to the, got to the bottom of that though. So I appreciate yeah. that. Would love to hear TJV on his views about what Chilled Chaos said about Ohm. What did he say about Ohm? I don't know if I've seen that before. I don't know if Scott's going to join. I mean, is he having some technical issues? I don't know. Oh, I love your chat. Your chat is so simple. There's only, like, it's a lot more readable than mine. Mine's is filled with a bunch of emojis. Don't worry about my chat, man. Why not? Your chat's fun. Don't worry about it, man. Your chat's fun, though. I could make a movie based off your chat, bro. Probably do the same. <laughs> I mean, that would be one chaotic movie <laughs> if you did it off mine. I mean, could Scott hear us or anything or no? Well, no, Scott's not even in the call right now. He didn't answer, so I'm, like, waiting to see if there's, like, an answer or something like that. Do you play mind games with people? You asking me? Yeah. I don't know. I don't see why why that would benefit me in any way. Does he have connection issues? Like, is there something? What's what's the deal? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Uh. I'm trying to message him. You joining? Um, do you watch like any detective shows or like anything like that? What? <laughs> do you have, like? Do you watch any detective shows or like movies or anything? Do Do I? Yeah. Or like, I mean, uh, better question: like, Do you watch like dramas and stuff? I mean, I've seen them before in the past. Sure. Uh, okay. I mean, have you seen? Has... <laughs> have you seen uh, mov like like uh, movies about like court and like lawyers and shit and TV shows like that? Have I seen like courtroom dramas? You mean? I have. Yeah. I've seen them like here, but I've probably seen more procedural cop cop shows. I mean. 
Have you ever Is wanted to? <laughs> no, uh, TV. Uh, well, no, I, it's 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 it, it. There's more, but um, have you ever wanted to be a lawyer? Have I? No. Yeah. Not at all. Have you like ever gone to school to practice law at all, or no? Have I? No, no, I have not. I I, I ask this because like you definitely dive more into like legal shit over on your your stuff I mean, than it's, I do. It's a fascination, but I always make it pretty clear that no matter what I talk about, I I always say, you know, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. I'm just doing a very basic layman's interpretation and just giving my opinion on it. That's it. Do you feel like some people um do you feel like some people would listen to you for like legal advice or anything? Like stuff that you say about like um, like what's legal and what's not, and what to do in certain situations. I've never, I've never told anybody to, so I, I don't see what you know. <laughs> okay. How often do you tell people to like, uh, like, hey, I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. I don't, I don't give out legal advice sort of thing. Like, how often do you say that? I mean, do you, do you watch my streams? Um. Yeah. Well, Those not all. Of, not all of them. Like sometimes when you okay. talk about other drama, I, mean, I don't. I don't watch them. All right. But I like mean, about the court documents, stuff like that, I do. There's nothing really more to say then. I mean. Okay. I was just wondering. I mean, is somebody asking you to ask these no. questions? No, no, I can. Sure? I can promise you, no one is. Mm, okay. Do you believe that there's someone ask you know asking me to ask you these questions? I don't know. Is there someone asking you to ask me, TJ? I mean, I did just ask my chat to ask you questions, didn't I? I do, obviously. That's what you're asking. Is is your mod Bowset going to be mad at me for showing off some screenshots of his don't messages? Don't worry about my mods, man. Don't worry about them. They're good. I just want to make sure they're not mad. They're good. You know? they're good, man. They're good. Don't worry about them. The last time I talked about a mod and a different commentary. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is something about Crow. This is something about Crow. Huh? It's people giving their opinions, TJ, on the internet. That's all it is. I'm, I just hope I didn't upset them is all, you know? I'm just looking out for them. You know, make good, sure. Man. They're good. They got thick okay. skin. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, okay, I saw in your chat someone, Deanna Ryder. Mouse set is bro. fine, TJV, LOL. Thank you, Deanna, for letting me know that. I appreciate that. Get, get the get the super chats, bro. Come on. Worry about that, man. It's all good. I don't get super chats. What are you talking about? I'm demonetized. Get, get your bag, bro. You know? I'm, I'm demonetized. My entire channel's demonetized. Yeah, none of that, you know, none of that, I think, is, you know, in my opinion, is sad work. So... You know, it's just it's whatever. It's just people, you know, saying what they feel on the. Uh, Someone in my chat court. asks a uh, question for Toy: Is he homophobic? What? <laughs> Do you have a phobia against Omerker? I mean, I, are you saying that is is your chat saying that Om is gay? <laughs> no. Do you have that, a phobia of Om? <laughs> That's not what homophobic is referring to. Are you sure that's not what you asked? No, I'm pretty sure that's not what I asked. I didn't uh, say... It's not like was, that's what you asked. It was... I, I didn't say homophobic. I said homophobic. Oh. Hmm. Okay. There you go. Mm. No. To no. either. But... Like, um... I think we've we've done pretty much all we could do here. One last question. It. One last question. Have you held any info for the point of convenience? Have I held it? What? Have you held any info for mm, the point of I, convenience? Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna answer. And but no. Wait, what? No, I'm no, not gonna answer. No. no. No, I haven't. You haven't? No, I haven't. All right. Well, it, but, it, you want to hop off? You done? I mean, I guess I guess the Scott thing will have to wait another time. Yep, so. I guess so. All right.
Well, I mean, it is what it is. All right. I'll catch you well, later then. All right. Well, appreciate you having me on, TJ. You have a good one. Yep. Same to you. Yep. Talk later, man. Bye. What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? Weren't expecting that, were you? Oh, there's a lot of stuff for us to talk about. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's a lot of shit to talk about there. Oh, man. I'm still seeing his his, his stuff here. He tells me not to worry about his chat. Why does he want to talk me to talk about Bowsette? What, what 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 what's up what's up with Bowset? Why can't I talk about Bowset? Come on, Bowset brought up my name first. I didn't bring up Bowset first. Bowset brought up my name first. What are you talking about? <laughs> TJV won the debate. I I don't know. There was a couple debating points there and there, but I don't know if there's a clear winner or not. I think we did find out a lot of stuff. Um, we did find a lot of information though. That's that's for sure. Get Sen and Children if they want. Oh, like like an after report. Oh, did he end? Uh John and Okay, so I see John and Scott are in a call right now. Should I join? Or are they talking privately because Toy Stream ended? They're in a call right now. Should I join or? They're going to kick me out right away. If they do, I understand. Maybe they want to talk private, but I'm going to see. Everybody in here. Hey. hey. All right. Looks like he's here. Trevor? Yeah. Hey. Uh, you guys talking? Yeah. Oh, we're, we're here right now. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm in the channel right now or you not. Know, I can see things live. live what's, this or what's, what's going on? Yeah. Do you I guys want to talk myself. live or? I mean, I just yeah, we'll talk live. live. I don't know if this is. I I thought it was gonna. Either way, it doesn't matter to me either way. But I, you know, like I said, I thought we were done. So. Oh okay. I I don't know. I just saw you guys in here. I was like, what the hell? Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, I just I just saw Trevor's message a second ago, so I just popped in as soon as I saw it. Yeah, I I, I saw you guys in here, and I thought we were done for the night, but now now you guys are in here, so. Well, okay. feel free. I mean, if you want to open it back up, I like I said, I was busy talking with my ex. My ex was flipping out with because you guys. So I mean, you guys don't seem to think, it, you know, whenever this stuff happens, you know, you guys put out some extra shit. It causes me problems with the ex. Like, and you guys hear how she is when she's fucking upset. Okay. So. While you guys are busy chatting, and you know, while you're busy talking shit about me. Um, you know, I, I'm you know busy me? getting ripped apart. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Okay. What what did I say? Was talking shit outside of my, well, my first, first, first for first time, first 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 the the first video that that uh, Trevor did, you didn't listen to the whole thing. You just kept point by point breaking it down every thirty seconds instead of actually listening to the whole damn thing. If you okay. would have shut your mouth and listened to the whole thing before this, actually opening it, it be, is this most how, of the how stuff, stuff you just, are, well, most of the stuff would have been answered if you would have listened through. I but did. instead, you were talking down to me, and you were being rude, and you weren't How actually listening. You? How was I talking down you to you, Scott? How? Go listen to your own video, man. How? How was I talking down Go to you? Go listen to your own video, please. Okay, because that's what you're pretty much doing right now. You're right now, I am, because I feel I'm entitled. After all the okay. shit you've done what over is, the last several what days. Is your girl, let me tell you, what does your ex-girl have anything to do with you? Why is she your problem? She's a problem because I am well, doing my best to maintain. Problem, why is she your problem? I am doing the best to maintain. Let me finish. You keep cutting me off. If you're not going to let Go me ahead. talk, then don't ask me a question. Go ahead. All right? So I am dealing with her because she has a series of problems, one of them being that she's suicidal, and second, one of her family members is a colleague of mine. Okay. Somebody that I have professional connections with, and I don't want to be responsible for killing herself if she gets upset. Okay. But you had said before she's her and I. Her and I don't have any contact. She's in her state right now with her parents who are watching her. She okay. does not live with me anymore. She was removed the night that we broke up. That is why we were fighting. Okay. We did not fight hardly at all prior to that. The only issue her and I had is she has some boundary issues that I wasn't cool with, and I said, you know what? I'm not hanging out with every guy you've ever fucked. 
we're not together anymore. Okay. So <laughs> again, I'm, I fail to see how she's your problem. She's your ex. You said she's, you have a relationship with a colleague of hers, but she's, no, she's not I have, I, I have, I have a relationship with her, with her, her parent. And I also have a relationship okay. with her because we have some startup stuff that we're wrapping up. We have some intellectual property that we need to either, I need to surrender to her or vice versa. We need to get it out and then done. After that, there's probably not going to be any more discussion. But right now, for the case, for the sake, sake of civility, okay, so her and I, her and I, we we agreed that we will collaborate remotely to finish the IP, and that's it. Why didn't that would that explain before? that would explain John's or or Toy sitting here saying that you guys still communicate on Twitter and we how do communicate. Toy We're completely yeah. civil. We don't fight. That Everything would that would explain though. Matter. They have to work things out. Okay, you know. So why wasn't any of that stuff said before then? Because it's not your business. I don't have to come out and dox a bunch of people to make you happy. Nobody My life doesn't revolve anything. around making Toy happy. It's about it's about putting all the, all the facts out there, right? It's about First of putting, do you realize that by putting out the audio, my putting out the audio to people other than people who are privileged to know the situation between her and I, that that could be considered a form of doxing as well. That's why that wasn't put out. I put out what needed to be said, which was that she was a person who had problems, and that Liz and I were trying to resolve it, and that I gave her proof of the problem so that she would get a, a restraining order. I mean, that, that nothing different has changed. You guys just basically took a girl who was having a psychotic break and you guys have put her out on the internet for everyone to hear. Not just like not just like a few a few dozen people, but literally literally potentially millions of people for the next decade. Pardon? You put the stuff out first. I put it out to people who know her and I, not to strangers. It was literally given to friends and family. Was it put on social media or not? It was put on social media okay. to friends and family. It was put in a public space. Whatever, man. It was not given to you. It was given to people who are in a protected space. Literally all my accounts are private. You put it on a public platform. You put it on I put it on a public platform on a protected account, which means it was for the people who were in the account only, not for you. And this would explain why it probably was taken down later on, but only it was taken down because it. because somebody who wasn't supposed to get on it got on it. Well, it seems like you care more about your business than your son. I do not have that issue, man. My son is the most important person in my life, and stop gaslighting me. You're an asshole. You're an asshole too. Good. Let's Whoa. meet in person, and be asshole together. So that's what this is going to be? Well, what I want you to do is I want you to own up to the fact that you're just being a dick for ratings. That's all you're doing is you're doing this for ratings. You want people to get in and you want them to click and churn and blah, blah, blah. Yep, you don't give a shit about the problem or the people involved. I could my son is the most important person in my life. Literally. This is not just about – this is not just about – see, here's something you don't fucking know, you asshole. Part of the issue with this situation is I can't go to the courts because if I do, I get served. Because I have orders against me now as a result of rejecting Liz's. You're willing to go home for your son, so what's changed, right? You're willing to go to jail. I have to wait until I get a lawyer. I, you, do you not understand the way this works? If you have process yes, coming sir, at you, you the only thing you can do is what wait you until you have a lawyer, and then you have to address the process you server through the what court. What are you going to get served with? I'm going to get served with a civil order, probably for uh, for for uh, for cease and desist on. Uh, parent, right. Do you have will you stop? Will you, will you stop? Will you, will you shut up? Let right? me finish talking. You keep cutting me go off. You go ahead. Let me talk. Ask me one go question. Ahead. Let me answer it, and then shut the fuck up. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. First, I'm the custodial parent. My son has lived with me the majority of his life, with the exception of a few years that he lived with Liz. Those years were surrendered voluntarily. My son, when we came back here, resumed living with me. Now, <clears throat> I am the custodial parent. We have 50-50 uh, custody. Oh, that is, that you is don't it. have majority custody, okay? No, we have we. I have custodial custodial parentship. She and I have fifty fifty. We agreed on that straight away. As parents, we co-parent. We don't fuck around with. As parents, we do everything as as a unit always. Okay. That's always been the case. I've never said she's a bad mom. I mean, but but you did say she was a bad mom. No, I you said she did bad things. My aunt said she was a bad mom. I didn't. She she did he or I'm saying she 
Scott did say in my video and in my interview that, you know, Liz does take care, but she does do things that are not okay for children to be she around. She fucked up. She fucked up. She made mistakes like people do. Liz is scatterbrained. There's no fucking secret about that. She sent a bunch of porn to my kid on accident. That made me go through the roof. It pissed me off. Is she a bad parent? No, not intentionally. She fucks up. She's in the wrong business to be a mom, but she's a mom. Okay, so if she's a violation of a custodial agreement, why can't you call the police for that? You're afraid we moved her here. Her we her haven't. Life. We we moved here. There's there's nothing that we can put us in because it's all California courts. Okay, we're in North, North Carolina now. So, so you didn't do anything in California to get that rectified in North Carolina, is what you're saying? No, we haven't had to do that. But that's not why I can't do this. I can't do it because I can't go to the I can't, I can't go to the courthouse without getting served all the services that they have. They won't tell me what I'm being served with. The only way I can know what I'm being served with is by going to a lawyer, having the lawyer go in and deal with an interrupt on whatever they're trying to serve me with, find out what I'm being served with, and then we address it that way. So, again, you yourself said, you don't care if you're sued till you go homeless, so what does it matter what you get served with? Because I don't know what I'm getting served with. You want to walk into charges that you aren't unaware of? I don't know if I'm getting asked to like cease and desist. I mean, do you have warrants at all? Pardon? Do you have any? I don't have warrants at all. I don't break anything, dude. I'm a fucking systems engineer. Dude, I'm a software developer. I don't break the law. I I, I can't. I have to get. I have to get public trust and all kinds of clearances. I don't break the law. That's why I don't fucking play around with people serving me shit. If I get served one thing that is considered a felony charge, I lose all my clearances. I'm unemployable. What what have you done that's a felony? What did you do? I don't know what I would be charged with. I have no idea. Yeah, I haven't done anything out. as a felony. I just told you out? I'm literally in my home 24-7. There is no felony for me to commit. Okay, so then why not find out if you're certain that you haven't? All right, all right. Let me let me do this then. All right, so someone charges you with something random. Now, keep in mind, anybody can charge anything or allege anything they want to you. At a process server, their duty is just to get you into court by charging you with something, by giving you the paperwork saying you have to show up at court. Scott, you just said you haven't done anything. They don't tell you that. that listen, listen. So what could you have done? Listen, before? listen. You cut me off again. Stop. Now, they, they can be felony, and they, usually that will be accompanied by a police officer who will immediately arrest you when they see that the server is there, or they, they'll be the process server as well, and they'll arrest you at the same time. Or if it's civil, they just give you the document and say you got to appear on the 15th or whatever. Again, I don't so know what it is. Why not? I have no idea that? what it is. I have no idea what I'm being served with. I have to get a lawyer first. The lawyer has to talk to the people and find out. Once that's done, I'm cool with going to the courthouse. I'll do whatever the fuck I need to do, and I'll go get my son. Okay. I can't go right now. Okay. So so why didn't that happen? Why didn't it happen? Because I don't have the money to get a lawyer. Okay. But you know there's other means outside of that, right? Again, you working 80 hours a week? I have to do yeah. things in time. Like, you know, legal stuff does not happen rapidly. It happens at the pace of whatever the court system want to do it. I am currently talking to lawyers. Okay. So you've worked, but you've worked within the system before. I don't understand why you can't do it now. Again, I know what you're I saying. Work with what do you mean by work with a system? What do you mean when you say something? Be very qualified about what you're saying because you're making a lot of vague statements. You, you did it before when you are in California. In California? Right? All right, so in California, it, it wasn't even in California. It happened both times that she's taken Zane have been when we were in North Carolina. And it's been because, basically, John enables her. Okay. You know, it, 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 without, without all this shit, like, she doesn't have enough money to actually defend herself in court on all this crap. She doesn't and make honestly, her own money? She makes her own money, but not enough for all this shit. Trust me. It's not enough. Most of the time, she's cash poor. Like, she has no money in her pocket anymore. Okay, so do you, have proof, do you have proof that he enables her? Yes, because he allows her to have a home without having to pay. He allows her to have bills without having to pay. He feeds her. He clothes her. Pretty much everything's coming out of his pocket. No, that's not, you know, that's not what I meant. I'm saying, do you have anything to show that? To show what? what? I mean, this, is, this is what I mean. When, when people come to the internet to say all this stuff, right? We're supposed to just take your word for everything. They're you a couple, know, and they, bought, have it, a, have they bought a $2.8 million house together. Whose money do you think that is? It's not hers. Again, do you have proof that he enables her? I do. It's public record, man. Okay. You can look it up. Why don't you There's show an index of people who bought houses. 
because it's not my business to do that. That's doxing. I get in okay. shit for that. Okay. Every time I've given anything that's proof, it's doxing. I get in trouble. I get threatened by her lawyers. But running to the internet, right? Saying all this no, stuff. If I, if I say it? something and then you, you tell me to prove it and I prove it, that's doxing because it gives the address of the house. That's something you were offering to do even for free. So what? You were offering to do that even for free. Yeah, no, I'm doing that with John, and that's not doxing. John's face is not doxing. Okay, so that's a, John is a celebrity, and his face is newsworthy. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's... I'm protected under the same law as paparazzi are, because I took the picture, I own the copyright. He has no right to his likeness. It's like Kim Kardashian. If I take a picture of her ass in public and I post it, it's not illegal. You just blocked by the guy. Got it. All right. What? You said you had metadata. That you had metadata to his location, and you posted that on Twitter. I said, I said I could, but I'm not going to. Liz knows I don't do that shit. Okay, so you don't do any of that. So what's the point of all this then? The point of all this is to get it. my son. Okay. So I'm going to show John's face. There's no question about that. Okay. Right now, he's probably trying his best to figure out what angle he can use to pursue it. What does that have to do? I, I. How does that guarantee you get your son back, though? It doesn't. It's a completely separate thing. There's okay. no contingency on one or the other. I keep trying to tell people that. Yes, right. they come up together. The only thing that changes this is I offered the lawyers why, a mutual non-disparagement agreement. Not? Stop and let me finish. I offered a mutual non-disparagement agreement, which would prevent me from saying anything bad about them and vice versa, and in the process would actually act as a squelch order against any doxing. And that's just by, the, by its nature. So if I actually fill this out with them, and this is the first thing I offered them before we started fighting. I said, we sign this agreement, nobody gets in trouble, nobody yells, nobody screams, nobody gets you know, pissed off at anyone else, nobody can ever say anything shitty. And that's what I agreed on initially to do. And no, they, they don't want to do that. Why are you taking shots at Liz on Twitter then? Oh, I'm making them now because... Your good faith would be not to do that? Pardon, I haven't actually said anything about Liz. Nothing bad. Go ahead and go back and look. I didn't say shit about Liz, other than that she was being an asshole and sent the cop over to my house because I locked my it's Twitter down. Shots, though. Huh? Not taking shot, that's still taking shots at her. Then taking shots at it's her. It's not taking shots at her. That, no, it's not. That's like me saying, hey, okay. you have a live stream going right. on right now. All right. I haven't, well, said, a, that, I haven't right? said a bad thing about Liz at all. I don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about her other than I don't like her choice of work. That's fair. I mean, I, I get that. You know, that's something I think we could agree on. You know, you know, my being associated with Liz fucks my career up. Every background check I get shows her as being my wife. Did when I got doxxed, when I got doxxed after marrying her, I didn't know she was a porn star. Immediately afterward, somebody went through my friend list and sent out all of her greatest fucks. So like 300 movies worth of her fucking people went to my grandmother, my family members all around, my family, my friends, my coworkers, my venture capitalists, angel investors, everybody. I had people calling me and saying, hey, why don't you bring your wife up and we'll negotiate for your uh, for your funding? Look, if that's whatever happened in the past there, look. Well, I'm just trying to tell you, it does not benefit me because people have been saying shit that I'm clout chasing or whatever. I don't want to be known. I'm the reason why I was never added to any wikis. I told her if she put my name on any of it or allowed it to be there, that I would sue her. She was working under my last name, too. Another thing, I told her I would sue her. Again, look, if that happened, I would say that's messed up. It did happen. It did happen. And that's messed up. And that's messed up. And that's messed up. And that's messed up. And I understand. But again, uh -huh. I think, again, taking the shots online, don't you think it would curry better favor for you not to do that? It would show good faith? I'm not working with those things as the same thing. John is not in any way related to my son, other than the fact that he's an asshole who picked the fight with me. And now I have no reason to be nice because Liz was literally the only reason I was being nice. I'm just wondering, I, how did he pick a fight with you? Just, I basically moved across the country to help the guy out because he was in a situation where he would never see his kid. He is an agoraphobic. He never leaves his house. He can't do anything. But didn't you do he that can't. for your son first and foremost, though? Wasn't that primarily for your son 
No, because my son lived with me. Yeah, that doesn't make he sense. wouldn't have gone anywhere. My son wouldn't have gone anywhere. My son would have gone nowhere. Liz would have been landlocked to me 100 miles away or less. Okay. And she would have had that baby in her stomach and would have never been able to go out and see Delirious because he is too much of a fucking man baby to do shit for himself. That's, that's pretty personal. I moved across the country to move to where he lived so he could see his fucking kids. Yeah. And every time I go near him, he fucking grimaces at me and looks at me like, uh, and then walks out. He doesn't even say hi. He's an yeah, asshole. He's rich. He, could, he probably could have moved to you, right? He could have, but he wouldn't get on a plane or drive across country. He's scared of cars. He can't drive. Yeah, Liz you know, drives him everywhere. Prior to Liz, he had an assistant that used to drive him around and basically acted like his fucking mommy. You, I don't think you should have given up your son in your life for him. I didn't give up my son. My son was living with me up until a few weeks ago. So what are you gonna do this is go why I'm mad. Everyone seems to have their fucking timetables out of whack. They don't know what the fuck's going on, and they keep talking. And they don't understand that they don't know what they're fucking talking about. Okay. So you shouldn't have let him go. I had to. Because you, you know, the only reason Zane went to his mother's was because I was dropping my ex-girlfriend off at her parents to get rid of her. I had her go on the plane twice she missed both of the flights then i had to drive her up there to drop her off okay i got there to drop her off and that's what happened okay i don't think you should have left california man i think you should have stayed you know what my my, my you know my friend he he says the same thing he said i should have never left california i should have just told told liz to pound sand and go fuck herself yeah. should have made you should you have know? made him come to you Again, you know, I'm not the type of person to deny a kid their their parent. I was trying to do the right thing by everyone. I wanted I wanted Delirious to have his kids. I wanted to have my kid. I wanted Liz to have all of her kids, you know, available. I wanted it to be close. I wanted to treat everyone well. They constantly tell me I'm part of the family, but then they shit on me. Look, I think you should have looked out for yourself first in that instance, man. This is my and honestly, look, that's where my criticism comes from. Honestly, is that Your criticism. Look, I don't, I don't, listen, listen, listen. Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. I have nothing against you, dude. I get it. Really, I do. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I do. I, I hope, look, listen, even if you don't believe it, I do hope you get to see your son, man. Okay? Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. But here's, like I said, you know, you're saying all this other thing. You're saying a bunch of stuff online. You're saying what you the links that you're willing to go through, but you it doesn't oh, seem no. like a, a, a three pay, a three line op ed <laughs> on Delirious, which is 100 percent true, by the way. I'll state this for a fact. Delirious is about five nine. He's got one eye. He is pretty much uneven skin tone. Looks like a potato that's been shit on, and you know, shaped like a gargoyle. And okay. his stomach is is literally his build is like grimace. Okay. He looked like a poop emoji that was spray painted pink. Okay. All right. Well, look, again, like I said, you know, I I don't I don't really care about how he looks. Maybe some other people. I don't do. either. But I think about forty percent of his fan base might, and all the parents that okay. trust him because they think of Elmo and and Barney, they need to understand that the person behind that lovable character why? is a piece of shit. Okay. Okay. So. Why do they need to see what it looks like? What What does that matter? In the grand if you saw, all right, let me ask you this. If you got a kid, do you have kids? Yes or no? Do I? Yeah, do you have kids? Do I have kids? You speak with a lot of passion. I don't know anything about whether you have kids. I'm asking you as a, as a potential father to father. Do you have kids? I will say I, I understand. Okay, you understand. Great. So we'll go with that. We'll I, say that you either have kids or you're an uncle or something. You've You've had a... You've had a, a fatherly relationship, something. Okay, so now, have you ever been on the Megan's Law website? You look through and you see what those guys look like? Uh, the, I, I know of it. I know what you're speaking of. But, yeah, so um, when, you, when you look at the Megan's Law website, you see these guys, and they have a certain look to them, right? Okay. And, and they're, not, they're not particularly attractive. Like, you really go on there and go, wow, that GQ model, he's mighty sexy, and too bad he diddles kids. You know, you see a guy who's got a misshapen head, maybe missing an eye, looks like a potato dipped in shit. That's the kind of guy you see up there. Now, when I when I talked to him, you know, he sounded like a nice guy and everything. But when I drove up to the house for the first time and saw him for the first time, when he glared at me and walked inside for the first time, hmm. my first fear was, Jesus Christ, this guy 
looks nothing like he sounds. He's actually pretty fucking horrific. He's terrifying. I don't even know if I want my kid to go in there. And I asked Zane, I'm like, Do, are you cool with going in there? And he's like, I guess, you know, if it gets weird, I'll call you that kind of thing. He's just like, he, he didn't know what to think of this guy. Okay. So I'm just telling you like appearances do matter. People do care what somebody looks like. Are you going to leave your kid alone with, or your nephew or, or your sister's kids? Are you going to leave them alone with a guy who literally looks like somebody on Megan's law, somebody who's 10 times worse looking, somebody who's just absolutely fucking horrific looking you know, and, 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 and just mindless to say, you know what? He's that nice voice. You know, I mean, Elmo has been busted like three times for fucking minors. I did. You know, and then you have, not, you have, you have Barney, Barney was something similar. I typically would not leave children with anybody that I don't know. personally. Well, here's the problem. All right. Now here's the problem. Let me, let me raise the bar here. Somebody who was two years older, not even two years older, a, a year and a half older than my son. It's been proven. I'll say it's alleged. It's been alleged with its evidence submitted that uh, that, that John, H. Joe Delirious, had phone sex with this person, a child. Did he know? Yeah. Yeah. One and a half years older than my son. Okay. Did he know? It doesn't matter if he knew. His friends knew. Here's the thing. You don't just jump on the phone and start having phone sex with somebody. If you're going to do anything that is emo even remotely like I mean, lewd, exchange. Yeah, now listen, yeah. if you're going to do anything that is even remotely lewd, you exchange ID, you know who you're talking to. You because, you know, even when you go to like a bar or a club or whatever, you check the fucking ID. You don't just sleep with somebody. Let me ask you, you know, do you feel the same way with Ohm? Do you feel Ohm should reveal his face? I, I don't care what Ohm looks like, but I'll probably know soon. All I have to do is ask him. Well, his face is out there, just so you know. I'm sure you can find it. I don't care. I don't care. Here's the thing. I don't know anything about Ohm. Ohm and I are not besties. Everyone Look, seems I, bringing him up like him and I are in the same bed together. For fuck's sake, I've been accused of being Ohm. I'm not Ohm. I, I I'm, as far as I know, that would lead to a major fucking identity I, crisis on this part because I'm almost 50 it. years old, and I'm pretty sure I'm not him. You kind of sound like him a little bit. I'm just saying. What? You do kind of sound like him, though. Well, that's only because I'm not pissed. Toy, is this, are these the most pressing questions that you have for him? Yeah, ask me, ask me whatever questions you got that you, you ask me. Get some clarification, some points that you have. Be clear. Do what you should have done in the first place instead of slashing me up online. Actually, ask me some real fucking questions, please. Hold on, hold on. What I was saying, and I still stand by this, right? I don't think this should have been made public. I think this should have been handled behind the scenes. Liz made it public. There were people already bringing me up in the channel, and she deleted all the comments that she could. What she put out there was pretty vague what she put out there was vague but then people identified us because of public records i looked up the public records they saw my name i i made my criticism of that too i don't think that she should have talked about it publicly but again the one again the one i would have i would have done something else if i could have talked to her here's the thing as soon as i dumped my ex and came back here i sat down for like a week i called everyone said i'm back home i need to take some time i just drove 14 hours through a storm i almost died about as many times as i was out there in hours i almost got hit by a truck like a big rig i got flooded out and almost went off the side of a road i had hail dropping on my car i had all kinds of stuff just to get home because i had to drive home in the middle of that storm because it was really ill-placed it was like right after i got her committed I ended up having to hop in that fucking car and drive home. I had to leave as soon as her parents were okay. I made sure everyone was all right, and I left. I almost died. I came home. I was very traumatized by the fact that I had dealt with all this stuff with my ex. I was traumatized by the fact that I just drove 14 hours straight through hell to get to my home through through in the middle of the night with no reception on my phone or anything to call anybody. There's a lot of problems going on all at once. I didn't bring any food in the car because I didn't think that far ahead, and I, I didn't want to stop anywhere because of the weather. I finally get home. I call everyone, let them know, hey, I'm home. I'm going to need a few days to process some stuff. And I, I, I went through all that, and then I called I called my, my friends and said, hey, I sent you something. You need to listen to it. You've got to take care of your business. You know, If it worries you, I suggest you go to the courts. Um, I talked to a few people at, at more length than others. I advised Liz. Eventually, I called her up and I said, "Hey, um, I wanted to let you know that you there's something that you should be aware of. 
because she she knew I was I was I was going to to separate from from my girlfriend at the time. Um, I told her, and she she is actually never liked her from the beginning. She just hated her. Um, you know, literally, it was the most awkward situation because I like she came at me full bore. You know about about her. I you know just she doesn't like her. She's look at this and look at that. She gave me like an entire fucking dossier on her. Like gave me like forty pictures and a bunch of other stuff. Um, basically, Liz more or less doxed her, and I guess was doing all kinds of really stalkerish crap. Um, had pictures I had never seen and and accounts that were like long dead, and it was really weird. Um, it made me uncomfortable, but nonetheless, Liz made her her opinion known. Um, they met. Um, Liz Liz still didn't like her. Uh, called her out for speaking weird. Um, uh, said a few other things. You know, uh, she tried to be nice to Liz, and Liz was just really standoffish and shitty to her. Um, when it's no, 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 neither here nor there. Um, I finally got on the phone with Liz and told Liz what was going on, and I, I gave her the information, and you know everything was fine. Uh, I talked to my son, and my son said that he wanted to come home. That his mom was getting on his nerves. That's why he was up there, is because I, I didn't want to have my, my, uh, my ex girlfriend in the car with him or driving up with us because I didn't know what was going to happen. I just knew that you know it wasn't going to be a fun thing because breakups are never fun. I didn't know to what degree it would go wrong. So, um, I see again, and this is what's weird to me, right? Why didn't you just keep that from her if she's harmless, man? I kept it from her because, or I didn't keep it from her because, uh, yeah. I, I, but once again, I, I kept it from her for several days. I was trying to think about what I should do because I know that my ex-girlfriend, she's not really harmless. You know, she's, 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 she, she'll scratch me up or whatever, but she wasn't trying to, it was a, it was like a less than a second in, in the blip of our relationship kind of thing. It was one time and it was because I was leaving her. Part of her condition, you know, she she had had some stuff to drink earlier in the day. She has a condition that I I won't I won't get into, but it interferes with her brain chemistry somewhat. She got upset, and um, when she got upset, it triggered her. And the situation would have been different if I would have walked up and given her a hug and a kiss because she kept reaching out for affection instead of like getting upset. But she escalated because I was rejecting her, and part of her condition. The, the social condition, what would be considered a, a mental illness or whatever, is that she can't handle rejection. Um, so one so, of the things you said, so, right? So let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. There's never a situation where somebody who's not her lover or her, her partner can reject her in that way. Okay. So it, it's not like my son is going to reject her and she's going to flip out and attack him or Liz or anyone else. It's only the boyfriend. Okay. And you, you said something, right? You said something in the... Uh, in the tape, you said that this, you know, that she's constantly making stress, that, that this always happens. No, this always happens. I, I was talking about then. I was talking about her making making threats and everything. It was a whole day. You have to understand that is that is audio from one day. Okay. It's literally, I, I got up at like nine o'clock in the morning. We had a fight at like 930. And then she continued to whoop on my ass until 11. So, but you also said she constantly does this. Well, where she's where she's ranting and stuff. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Say again. No, 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 no. Not about hurting me. I said she was constantly hurting me. I'm pretty sure that that was it because she hadn't hit me before. She hadn't done anything at all until that day. Like literally, no hands on me at all. I mean, literally, literally, the only. I'm going to say something embarrassing and whatever. All we ever did when we were together is have sex, constantly. That's it. Like eight times a day. We didn't have time to fight, man. We were too busy fucking. It's embarrassing as shit to say, but we we barely had time to talk. Okay. She also said that you used her. What did she mean? She made that claim. Oh, because we were fucking around with kink. We were doing all kinds of stuff. She was saying I was using her because our sex is pretty advanced. I'm I'm basically going to embarrass myself at this point. But I mean, it's on the far edge of of what people would consider BDSM. I mean, that's our private life. But you want to know there? No, I mean, I'm just wondering. Latex, rope, whatever. Oh. Yeah. So again, there was things. Like I said, she says that she said I used her, but she's saying that because she's mad. She's basically saying that because we were being kinky and weird, that 
I used her for sex because I was taking her home and leaving her there instead of staying with her and getting married. And honestly, if we hadn't had that fight, I'd probably end up engaged to her in a year. She's really not a bad girlfriend in most respects. She's pretty awesome. She's fun to be around. She's hilarious when she's not mad. And, you know, usually she's not mad. It's, it was a situation. And I'm not trying to defend. I'm not trying to defend that night because that night was horrific. I was not expecting that. I didn't. I, it was completely out of character for her. It freaked me out. Okay. So has, has your son ever heard these fights? No, he hasn't. Okay. He he heard he heard one thing where where she got mad about something and I at, like he just came by and said everyone everyone okay and I said yeah everything's fine and she said we're fine and that was it we he's heard almost nothing like there's no reason for him to even believe other than I told him we were having problems and I was taking her back to her parents hmm. he knew why he was going to his mom's okay so could it be possible he he doesn't want to come back to you um here's the situation with my son. All right. And I'll be I'll be blatantly honest. I found this out the other day. Um, my son, he went to his mom's thinking he was going to be there for like a week, maybe less. I told him I was going to drop off my girlfriend and I was going to come back. And I just needed to, to figure out when the best breaking time was to go because her parents were expecting me up there. It was around Father's Day. And um, I got up there. I called him, was talking to him pretty much every day having good conversations, no problems. And he and, and Liz both were asking me, like, when are you coming back? Have you broken up with her yet? You know, trying to see what was going on. I told them, you know, some stuff is going on right now. I'm trying to work through it to figure out what to do. Um, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted and, you know, just let them have their updates. Because Liz, Liz, was, Liz was encouraging the breakup. And she was, you know, her and I, prior to all this, we talked pretty much every day. And, I mean, we, we get along great. We don't have a lot of fights. Um, you know, and I, like, again, like I said, you know, it's, we, we talk every day. I mean, my son will, will at some point corroborate that. I just, I don't feel comfortable him going up in front of everybody and talking. He's still a minor. And also Liz and I have gone through a lot of uh, pain to try to keep him more or less out of the limelight. And, uh, unfortunately this has been a thing. So, um, obviously Liz and I are not going to continue being friendly. We're probably not going to talk ever again, which I'm fine with. Okay. Um, I prefer that, but let me let me go on. So um, when I finally broke up with her and I got home and I called Liz, I talked to my son. My son told me he can't wait to get home, uh, that he had been a bit sick while I was gone and that he you know, had bronchitis. He's getting over it, that he wanted to come home as soon as he could, that mom was getting on his nerves, that um, he was really getting tired and he just wanted to come home. Hmm. So um, I ended up talking to her like maybe three days later. I'm like, hey, let me talk to the boy. You know, how's he feeling? And she said, oh, he's still feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, he hasn't recovered, you know, too well. He seems like he might be getting a second dose of bronchitis. And I said, okay, but, you know, can you put him on the phone? I want to talk to him. She said, well, I, I don't I don't want to put him on the phone. I'm like, why not? She said, well, I don't know. I think the whole thing with, with your, your ex, um, it's just wearing on everybody, and we all need a break. So you're not going to get to talk to him for a while. And I was like, excuse me, when am I going to talk to him? It's like, whenever we feel like it, we'll just, we'll let you know. All right, so, so I'm pretty have... sure by that point in time, she already went to the police and to the courts and was already taking action against me. Uh, more than likely, it's a civil action for the, through the family courts for both the cease and desist and everything else. Um, her and I got into a fight, and I I yelled at her, and I basically told her, you know, to put the put my put my son on the phone. Uh, we had a uh, probably a struggle for about 30 minutes or so back and forth, and. Um, then I finally, I basically told her, I said, you know what, fuck it, I'll go ahead and I'll show everyone what Jonathan looks like. And, um, you know, and she's like, you won't do that. And I said, I will. And I said, you know, put my son on the phone. And she said, no, I'm not going to do that. We'll, we'll get a hold of you when we feel like it. Hold on a second. And that was it. Just hold on a second. Yeah. So, I just want to ask this, right? Do you have sure. any proof of keeping your son away from you? Like, do you have any text messages or anything like that? Maybe an audio recording? I, I don't have audio recording. I didn't record Liz. I don't I don't tend to record stuff with Liz and I at all. There's no reason. We don't really have a lot of conflict. Your ex got I, mean, I rec why? Because my ex told me she was gonna fucking tell everyone that I raped her. 
Yeah, but Liz is keeping your son from you, dude. No, there's a difference. That wasn't a planned conversation. It wasn't anything like that. It wasn't like it wasn't like, okay, well, this is something that's happening that's gone shitty. I need to protect myself, so I need to keep my phone in my pocket with the with the re recorder on at all times. I mean, it, it's not something like that where I'm preemptively trying to keep myself from getting put in jail. I almost got shot that night. Getting her put into the psych ward for for flipping out, threatening to kill her parents, me, all the animals in the house. I almost got fucking put in jail. I almost got shot. The cops showed up. They see a guy who's way bigger than them. They all got their guns out. She's playing meek, waving a phone around, saying, over here, officers, it's me. And he's like, and I'm standing at the door with her dad. Her dad's like, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. He's the one who called. Her dad, who's dying of cancer, had to save me from getting shot by a bunch of cops lurking up with guns. And then they heard the dispatcher saying, hey, hey, hey cease, cease, halt, 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 stop. They're telling the cops to back down because I'm the guy that they're supposed to be talking to. And then they looked at her, they isolated her, came over to me, and they left me alone. But they sat her down because they didn't want her running. Just a second real quick, Scott, right? Because sure. it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I, yeah. That I just well, I'm, saying, I'm just saying the situation was very different with my ex-girlfriend. It wasn't it, – she was having a fucking psychotic break or something. Okay. I don't know specifically what you would call it. It was a bad situation. She doesn't even fucking remember. She doesn't remember anything. She started sobbing uncontrollably when she finally got out was able to talk to me. So I don't call up Liz. Liz doesn't have these kinds of things. Happen. Liz, Liz is somebody who flips out randomly. She doesn't have anything like this. So Liz and I, when we talk, we're civil. We don't fight. Scott, Scott, we excuse talk. me. Excuse me. Let's pause. Let's pause for a sec. Let's pause sure. For a sec. This is a lot. You just you said a whole bunch of stuff. There's just some certain things that I want to address, right? So, um, well, this is what you should have done in the first place. How, how did how did, how did Liz escalate, like you said? How did what escalate? How did Liz escalate, like you said? Well, we start going back and forth. I mean, we start bickering like a married couple. That's what we do. Liz and I have always fought like a married couple because we were. We never really made the transition out of doing that. So you also so said, like, you said she started putting in her paperwork, paperwork for what? I said, no, no. I said, as far as I know, she put in the paperwork several days prior. And that's what that was about is it was an escalation of like her lawyers and everybody telling her no contact until it was done. So you don't know what it was. Just, I don't know what it is. All I know is that after that I got served or I was, they were trying to serve me with a civil order. They didn't say what, but I got that same day I got my cease and desist. And they've been trying to serve me with whatever paperwork they have right now, but I've already had correspondence with with uh, what Trevor and and everybody has has seen it. I've had correspondence with their lawyers, so everything I say is confirmable through the emails. Okay. You know, so I mean, I was peacockish with them and basically told them all to go fuck themselves. You know okay. that I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and that's it. And I repeated exactly what I said. No, you know, I, I, I remember I heard it on the stream, but that's that's what I'm saying again. That's why. Again, look. That yeah, that listen, yeah, no, for the criticism, right? Because, like I said, it seems like you're willing to do whatever, but again, I again, and I go the back situation to with my son is Liz has a tendency to cookie cutter things. Okay, so when she sees me mad, she'll take something and she'll go tell my son something. And he's a bit of a hothead, he can be a hothead like me, but he's like Liz, okay, he'll stew on things forever. We can so talk about if, he, like if, if he gets if he gets mad and he doesn't get a hug and an apology quickly. He, he gets in his head and he starts working things up and things become huge. I had to deal with it defending his mother against him when he's mad because they fight all the time. You know, he and I don't fight all the time. We have like one fight every six freaking months, maybe less. You know, I mean, it, we have a great relationship, but him and his mother, they fight like on a weekly basis. Sometimes he fights with her multiple times during the week. And I mean, I'm constantly having to defend her. And I mean, I tell him, I said, no, man, I get it. I understand all the things that you don't like about your mom. I don't like either. And I understand why it would be so much worse for you. You know, you're a young boy who's, who's coming up through puberty. you got all these other guy friends. They're all into cosplay stuff and occasionally pull out the nudies. And you're just sitting there anxious because you're scared you're going to see your mom's tits. So let me let me ask you, have you ever tried just getting CPS involved? And we'll go back to the – we can go back to the – CPS Liz doesn't stuff. care, man. I, I Like when Liz used to have a massive drug problem, she used to be like escorting and, and doing all kinds of other crap that was really shady and bad. And that's all provable. If she wants to to start a pissing match, I can go to the the places she was working at, yeah, and I can call the DJs because I know them all from the actual electronic music clubs. So you haven't I, gone. No. You haven't gone that that avenue. You haven't gone. No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't want to. But I I went uh, with the courts when we were having our divorce. 
um, a lot of a lot of the the stuff was contingent on her being able to prove she wasn't using drugs and she couldn't. Um, there was a lot of other stuff, but we were we were really really civil. Like I said, I didn't do anything to to mess with her. I didn't try to keep him away from her at all. What I did is I I got it to where she had visitation, and it was supervised. And you know, basically, she came over. She spent time with Zane and my aunt. And uh, my aunt, you know, she just she she actually was very nice with Liz. They never had any problems. They still are more or less uh, friendly when they talk to each other. I mean, you know, um, Liz was just talking about how great my aunt is, you know, recently because of some stuff that happened, you know, with my family. So, um, you know, ult ultimately, the, the child courts, uh, they don't care. Like uh, child protective services don't care. Like in California, they're like, oh, your 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 wife's a junkie. She's uh, she's a prostitute. She's this. She's that. Um, they don't care. They they're like, well, she's a woman. And you know, it was it was very uh, expensive over over time for the law offices and myself to get into a position where we actually had any real ground to stand on. And it required me to do a lot of stuff that almost put me in contempt of court. I had to, I, like, for instance, Liz, like, I'm an actress, I'm a model, and I'm like, you're a prostitute, you're a porn star, and you're you're a nude model, and you're a, a, uh, a, a B, B, B actress. And, um, you know, and they're like, they looked at me like, Scott, how, 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 you're holding you in contempt. And it's like, well, for what? I'm telling the truth. And they put her under oath and made her repeat that she wasn't. And she's like, uh, actually, and it's on public record. She's all of those things. All right. So just, just real quick. All right. Cause again, I'm happy to go back to stuff because it's, you know, it's a lot. And I'm about. fine with saying all this uh, stuff. It's all, it's all the truth. I, and, and just to clarify again. Yep. Do you have proof right now that she's keeping away from you? I know, you know, we had to talk about yeah, technical. Well, I, have proof, I have proof because she said directly to me that she's not going to let him talk to me. And I do have proof on that. Okay. And, uh, and that, that, that they will talk to me when they feel like it. Do, and do, then, do you have, and I can reply to text messages and stuff like that. Anything I like cannot that? give that to you guys, but I can actually give you the information exactly what she said if I need to. See, that's what I'm saying. I like, have to. I have to retain counsel when I start I, getting stuff off of her and I share communications, I, because I at that point it is doxing. I can understand that. I can understand that. I mean, it, it's stuff that can still be redacted. But this is again. This there, is there is also a presumption of privacy that is held with text messages. That if I breach that, I'm in. I'm guilty of a crime. Again, it's it, it's proof. Again, it's 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 guilt of a crime though. If I actually post her text messages, it is a crime. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, that's the thing with taking it to the internet though. It's just like this. this basically, I don't know how familiar you are with the. What I can do is I can retain counsel, like I told you, I'm in the process of doing, and then they can advise me on the best way to handle this so that I can do things legally, because at the at this point at this point I have I have 16 years of evidence. I mean, I have I have three phones that are loaded with text messages between Liz and I from the time we met all the way till now. Okay. Never deleted a single one. All right. So I mean, I think that's great, and I think that's the right way to go. And I look, dude. I hope you do that. What I'm saying is, just like again, this right is now, all I have is I have no contact with my son. I have I have multiple service attempts, literally every day, one at the beginning, one at the end, and I get calls on the phone that are privated. Right. That when I answered one is from the sheriff, and they're trying to do a telephonic service. See, but when stuff's put out there, right? When stuff's put out there in the public sphere, he put it out there people, first. People, I again, address it. It's gonna be. I get it. It's gonna be, but it's gonna be criticized. Is what I'm saying. So I'm I don't saying, care. It, it can be criticized, but I mean, there was somebody telling me I needed to send her. Or I needed to send them my wedding, my wedding uh, license to prove that I was who I was. I said I was. You know, the thing is, is everybody knows I am who I say I am. It's without question. It's a fact. And Liz isn't even disputing. You know, it, it's it's not. If I was some crazy person pretending to be her husband, she would pop in and say, "Yeah, he's a crazy guy. I was never married." I'm it's public that. record. You can find it. We you can find where we were married. You can look it up if you know her actual name, and you know I what get, what name. If I you know her actual name, huh? I, I get all that. I'm just saying. Look, when you when it was brought into the public sphere, and you decided to yeah. talk when you did, that this is the nature of what commentary channels on this platform do. I don't know. Yes. How really but again, that. if I respond, I will do what I can within the confines of the law. And I need to consult with a lawyer before giving you my text messages. That's what I mean. Because I know, I know, first of all, I didn't give away the audio of my ex-girlfriend because there's a lot of complications with that. 
even though it's a one party state where it was recorded, there is a potential that she's protected for having some mental illness. But again, that's I mean, this is one of the reasons why I think all of it should have been handled publicly. And again, and that's my only criticism, dude. Honestly, that's it. It's why I think it should have been handled behind the scenes. Well, I originally yeah. wanted to handle it in my own family. I was talking I, to Liz, and Liz decided to make it a big deal. She posted that. She's again, the one who decided well, to limit my access to my kid. I can't even talk to my kid to find out what his opinion is. For that, which I all have. I know, all I know, all I know is he was ghosting his friends for nearly two weeks. Finally, like the kids are like, what's going on? What's happening? Where's Zane? He hasn't been talk talking to us. I said, I, something happened with his mom and I, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I had a messy breakup and now I'm not allowed to talk to him. And they went and started asking him. He confided in a few friends, started talking to several of them. I'm hoping it had something to do with the fact that I encouraged them to talk to him. Not about me, but about just like whatever's going on with him because I got the what feeling that he might've been upset. I want to address huh? something you said before, right? About Go ahead. Apple. You know, what made you do it then? Why did you share that with those people? I shared it with people because she tried to say that I did something I didn't. She tried to tried to say that I was a bad boyfriend and a bunch of other crap that wasn't true. And I said, uh-uh, no, never. I posted it out. I said, this is the reality, you know, for people who actually have interest in her and I. And I shared it to people who had common connection. That was it. And that's 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 how it was. I mean, and she she and I were having a struggle at that point. Obviously, we had just been through a huge freaking blow up. And, you know, when she was in the fucking cop car before they transitioned her from the cop car to the ambulance, she was writing shit on the Internet about me to slander me. Quick question, so Scott. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Out of the hospital was begging me to take her back, and I told her I still cared about her, and I love her, and I'm sorry that everything happened. And I mean, you know, it, it's, a, it's a tall order to expect somebody to immediately lose feelings for somebody when you know that they're having some sort of episode and that it's not really how they are. She okay. does a lot of activism and good things in the community. She's she's very political. She deals with like uh, human trafficking and child abuse and whatever. And the best my explanation I have for this is whatever happened in her head because she has these these little the strokes like ischemic stroke, and they trigger something, and then it's kind of like Tourette's. You just kind of riff on this thing, whatever it is that got popped. That's what comes out of her mouth. And she does this this ranting thing occasionally about random stuff that doesn't make any sense. She'll like she'll, you know, I don't know, be chewing bubble gum and have one, and then she'll just start talking about the bubble gum. It's just, it's just a thing. Okay. So I, I the have a only quick thing question. I can go ahead, ask whatever you want. Okay. Okay. J j I don't mean to intervene. I, I really do want this to be between you guys, and because you know this is a great opportunity for Toy to get clarification on anything that he wanted, but. Scott, you you had those audio recordings on your Twitter, but your Twitter account was private. I'm just trying to catch people up in the chat who were confused about this, but your Twitter account was private. Only the people that you wanted to see it saw it, and then it was taken down when people had access to your Twitter and was seeing your Twitter publicly. So those audio recordings shouldn't yep. have gone beyond those people. So having said that, um, with Toy No, the, having audio, the audio was never intended to go beyond a controlled right. audience okay, of okay. people. And... So, so with Toy's stream that he did recently, which is something that I was the main subject of the stream because I had some criticisms of his stream and what he said in his takes and stuff like that, was that the thing that kind of – was that like the point that they're, okay, some of these audio clips are public? I'm, granted, not all of them, but some of them are. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Say, say, say the last part again. Is Toy Stream the thing that made the, some of those audio clips public? Not all of them, obviously, he from what you've all seen. Them, all, he made most of them public because the audience that, that they had previously was 16 people. Okay. So and what, what he did is he took it and he sent it out to tens of thousands over the course of the next decade. You know, I mean, it could be a lot more, maybe hundreds of thousands, millions, who knows? I mean, it depends on how much, you know, Delirious and, and, and Liz draw attention to his stream or whatever, or if he somehow goes viral at some point and people start watching more. The point is, is that, you know, he's taken something that would have been limited exposure and he's blown it up many magnitudes of, of size to what it was originally intended to be, which might actually have some liability on him. I don't know. I mean, okay, he should have probably considered her mental state. 
and it certainly doesn't help that I was covering his stream or whatever, but since he was making them public no. over there, I just want to put on, were, on record you were and everything. You were, uh, you were addressing his statements. Um, I right. mean, and I, I one, asked you first. Who, I, I just want to clarify, Scott. Yeah, I asked you, you and, so and I was going to ask follow-up questions about it, but I wasn't going to like make content out of yeah, that besides streaming and you talking. Didn't, you, didn't, you didn't do anything um, wrong. You were addressing his comments because he was, in a way, just kind of coming in and and just bull in a china shop shooting his mouth off without getting any context without asking any questions he knows where the fuck to get a hold of me he could have contacted me anytime and asked me for context and been a real journalist you talk he to wanted me. yeah you wanted to be a shit flinger you instead of actually be a real journalist you can't talk to me that's what you i'm said. talking i'll talk to you I'll t no i i said i can't talk to you because you're being a cock in front of the the fucking chat you're being an absolute dick. You're cutting me off. You were basically I'm talking over me. I can, during the first good. one, the, during the first one, and I, when I said I can't talk to you, John, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Delirious. His name is Jonathan. People were asking me, why don't you call Delirious? Why don't you talk to Delirious? And I said, I can't talk to John. Okay, so I that was like a misconception that, that Toy okay, had. He thought you were talking somebody to... Chat, yeah, somebody in my chat said... No, no, I told you, I told you were an asshole John. in the chat and that I was going to go. And, John. Was and then you said, I can't talk to John. So I thought you were referring to me. No, I'm talking about Delirious. So. Well, I'm happy to talk to you. I don't have any issue with that. I would have preferred it. I mean, if you would have reached out to me, I would have actually given you the answers to your questions instead of you running speculatively all over the place. Because even right now, I'm having a big fucking fight on my phone with my ex because of this. Because, you know, she doesn't like any questions answered. She, is, she gets upset. And I mean, I'm not trying to trash the girl. I'm not trying to put this shit out any further than what it is. But I mean, you guys keep asking for answers. I'm giving the answers. I mean, this is not this is not improving any. It's just the, the 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 situation is just shit. I mean, her and I are in a rough spot because I do care about her well being. I don't want her to hurt. I don't want her to be sick. I don't want her to have any more of these episodes at all. I want her to be okay. But at the same time, I also know that none of my friends are cool with her being around. Uh, I can say none of my families or my remaining family are, are cool with her being around. And and certainly Liz Liz is not cool with her being around. I mean, it's gotten to be uh, you know pretty pretty much a, a massive headache. You know, I mean, and and I do have some some business to to sort out with her, huh? I don't think she's she's your concern anymore. I think your son. Well, is here's the thing: she is my concern because I do care about her. You don't you don't just like bail on someone completely. If you can be a friend from afar and you you don't have to worry about anybody getting hurt, you know, and and the person's actually somebody that you've been friends with for a long time. See context, I've been friends with her for 6 years. Okay. I does that and, 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 and we had never had a problem up until the breakup. So, okay. I mean, we But is that is being with her more important than being with your son? It's not going to be about that because Liz would have done this anyway. Liz would have done it if there was no fight. I mean, Liz would have done it anyway. Liz, because Liz looks for opportunity. That's all she does. It, 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 this, if it wouldn't have been this, it would have been something else. I would have, I would have, I would, no, she had tried before where, where I had dropped Zane off and she's like, oh, well, I'll just keep him for the rest of the month. And it's like the rest of the month is literally four weeks. Regardless. And then, you know, so it, 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 it's regardless of whatever's going on, this was just a good opportunity. My, look, regardless, my friends don't threaten my loved ones. And my friends, they don't again, think it's again, again. Do your friends have Tourette's? I mean, like every person who meets you at a, at a bus stop that screams out "fuck you, bitch" is is suddenly a problem. I mean, here's the thing: she has never done anything to harm anyone. The scratches on my arm were because she was trying to keep me from leaving, and she did hit me, but she was drunk when she hit me. She didn't hit me when she was sober. She didn't hit you when she was pinning you down on the bed. Because you had said that she was, she was drunk. She was drunk. That was when we went to bed just like a few hours prior to us waking up. Her dad was there and he's the one who stopped it. I wasn't getting hurt by her. I was just like, what the fuck is this? And I just rolled over. But the point is, is that she had drank a lot before she went to bed. And it's not, it's not, a, situation, it's not a situation. It's not a situation that would normally happen. You know, normally she wouldn't get that mad. She's she's very jealous of Liz, and she is very jealous of of another person she mentioned, who is named Cindy. And then, you know, for some reason, she got jealous of of my best friend's wife. And um, and those were the primary people she was threatening. Uh, there were a few other people who were kind of collateral damage. And and those threats, they're nothing that would ever come to fruition.
It's just it doesn't happen that way. No. She's never done anything to anybody. And I know her mother. Her mother raised her. Her mother said, no, it's not a it's not a thing. You know, it's just it's just part of the condition and it's like it it's a trigger. And in order to get her to that point, she has to be in a very excited state where she she just she she loses cohesion and she just blacks out. She doesn't do anything that is particularly physically aggressive. Usually she'll yell and scream and say weird stuff. But generally speaking, she doesn't do anything. The only reason why she did anything then was because I was moving toward the door and she didn't want me to leave. Even though she was telling me to leave, she was blocking the door. Yeah, I don't think it's I, – I don't know. Look, I'm of the opinion that it's – Again, not again, you can also take it this way. Well, Liz is a third Dan black belt in Taekwondo. She's pretty adept at taking care of herself. Her house has all kinds of, of squirrely places where they're, they're for security because most of the fans are fucking lunatics. Okay. Uh, they have more than enough self-defense that they're fine. See, and again, like legitimately, legitimately, I would, I would, I would, I would attack an open air military installation before I would attack their house. And this Anybody who has any fucking stupid ideas, stay away. If you yeah. figure it out because real you will quick. get hurt. Scott, Scott, real quick, because yeah. this is again, you drive criticism. You're saying that she could defend herself. She's she's a third degree black belt and all this stuff again. I told her because she could cover the kids. Okay, but you. Also I care about Liz. Listen, I care about Liz, and I care about those little girls. Okay, and I. And I, I, I did not believe. I did not believe my ex girlfriend would do anything to children because she's never done anything that would indicate that. And okay. you know, but but, she was saying stuff that I was kind of on the fence with, and I figured better safe than sorry. That's Paperwork it. doesn't do anything for me though. You all right? But you had said she has she has a tendency to be histrionic, right? So again, Liz does. why even tell her? Because if I don't tell her, she will find out eventually, and then I will be twice as bad. How? How she? How? How would she have found out? She would find out somehow. I don't know how. Like something would happen, it would come up, and then she would ask questions. Liz has a way of being pedantic. She pulls stuff out of people. When she's talking to people, she'll keep you on the phone for five hours till she gets the answers she wants. Just real quick, just real quick, TJ. TJ. Yes. There? Yes. I had sent, I sent something in this chat here for, for you to see, and I think this is probably where the um, uh, the confusion came in here. Um, yeah, with the dev, yeah. You see? Yeah, I, I saw that. But All you right, so what do you, you guys don't, don't, you mean, uh, Enlighten me? Yeah, show it, TJ. Oh, okay. I can't see it. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Where should I look? The right, channel. Uh, I, yeah, I said to you, uh, the it, it, it's just I'll just say it for you. It's pretty much um, toy. Um, it's back when you said that I can't talk to John where the confusion happened. Dev. OK, said, yeah, so uh, it's a disconnect. It's a disconnect. It's fine. Yeah. So, I mean, somebody had said something about delirious and I, I you know, basically I just said I can't talk to John. I probably should have said Jonathan just for clarity. But yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, and <laughs> the way with the way Scott spells it, I don't. You don't have an H in how you you say John for your name, and and Scott put an H in there. So I, I, don't know. I usually spell it out Jonathan as Again, a proper J O H N. People, people, people have called me John with the H in my chat before, though. Okay. okay. So All right. Well, and so I, I didn't even know your name was John. I was getting confused in 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 uh, in in, uh, yeah. in, uh, in Trevor's channel because people kept saying stuff like, uh, you know tell john this tell john that and i'm like what is john here like what's going on i didn't realize that that's even your name yeah, yeah. No, most people get re referring to as toy so um anyway so yeah i mean the situation with liz it eventually it would come up i mean i would eventually talk to her and tell her about it i don't tend to keep secrets from liz i mean um you know call it crazy but when you know somebody for for 16 years you you tend to talk to them every day you're gonna you're gonna confide in them stuff and i mean you know she asked me what happened and i told her we we had a physical confrontation it was not what i was was hoping to have i was hoping to just make a clean break and just go home and i explained to her what happened and, you know i i gave her the the audio i mean that's just that's that's the way it, it it, it went down. It wasn't like it was a big conflict. And she was just like, oh, Lord, you need to not ever talk to her again. And then um, uh, just what I was getting to is later on that week, um, uh, Liz Liz was you know, doing what she normally does. And she basically just monitors everything I'm doing online. 
and she saw like that Kirsten. Uh, sorry, whoops, there we go. My ex girlfriend uh, and I were interacting, and she got upset. Hmm. So then, why would she I told her, before if she's opportunistic? Um, well, she she was already because she was basically not letting me talk to my son. She said he was sick. So um, I talked to my son for like a few seconds. After that, any to- any conversation I had with Liz, there was no no talk with my son. Um, you know, it's just like, oh, he's sick. Leave him alone. Let him sleep. And then next one, it's like, oh, he's he's not feeling well. He's he's out. I'll let him know you called later. And it's like it, basically about a week of these calls kept going by until she told me she wasn't gonna let me talk to him. So basically, what ended up happening is is because we had the escalating fight. Um, you know, obviously I lost my temper about it and I, I was not polite to, to Liz and I demanded to speak to my son. So um, you're saying there's no way at all for you to communicate with him. So he doesn't have his own, none, you know, none. there's phone, none at all. There's none at all. Account, nothing. There's none at all. That? There's none at all. And the cease and desist basically, um, additionally, Liz said she got a TRO. Um, she said that I am, I'm not allowed to talk to them, that she got a temporary restraining order from me, probably to keep me and Kirsten away. Um, because it's not a DVPO, uh, which would be a domestic violence protective order. Uh, it's just a TRO, which is like a temporary thing that's set up so that you can do things like bar communication, bar contact and whatever. The justification for that being that there was the discussion about potential doxing and she doesn't want me to be able to communicate an address or anything, but she's already aware that I wouldn't give the address out to anybody. So I, 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 I wouldn't do anything to, to jeopardize the little girls. I think the little girls, as, as being adorable, I, I, I think that you know, they're, they're my, my son's sisters. I mean, if anything happened to them, I would probably be just as upset as Liz and, and, uh, and Jonathan. So quick I mean, question, yeah. the TRO, um, uh, so how long could that be set up for that you can't see Zane or any of them? Um, it is a minimum of 30 days, but if I don't go to court, it can expand out, I believe, from what I heard, as long as two years. So Shit. Just, just to sad. go back for my so you don't think it's enough to harm their father? I mean, you know, something happening it's to their father? It's not going to harm Jonathan. Nobody gives a shit about what he looks like except for people who are paying or, or viewing his stuff that, that might think, oh, he's, he's kind of creepy. I mean, my, my intention, my inten- it's, it's, first of all, she's, Jonathan's never anywhere with Liz. If he is, he's always hiding so that she doesn't get seen with him so that he doesn't dox himself. So he doesn't do a face reveal on accident. They were going to do a big party, and in order for him to do his party, he had to rent an entire movie theater. You know, he had to rent an entire movie theater in order to avoid anybody seeing who he was. Okay. So that's how much he wants to hide who he is. So, I mean, getting getting into all this stuff, I mean, John, he doesn't want anyone to know what he looks like because he knows. Liz originally was really optimistic. They were talking about doing a face reveal after, like, their third month together or, you know, like, on their wedding or whatever. And then, basically, that all got retracted when she realized that his money is going to get a major hit if people see what he actually looks like. I mean, who knows? I'm sorry. If my audio is cutting out, my yeah, ex is, like, pounding me with text right now. She's pissed. Yeah. So. You know, I guess the last thing, the last thing I'll ask here, you know, mm-hmm. um, is about the custody, right? You said, you know, so- initially – just just let me ask this real quick so you said you were the custodial parent but then you said it's actually you have 50 50 custody okay so no 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 all right understand custody and custodial parent are two different things yeah. custody is is your ability to determine legal disposition of a child and like whether or not you make decisions so like if i say private school she says public school we have to go to a mediator at that point and we have to get a consensus public school or private school one or the other. Luckily, we both agree. Um, you know, he's private schooled and he's homeschooled, so he's yeah. he's kept away from people's you know criticisms and stalking and whatever. He's re- relatively safe, and we we have agreement on that. Okay. No, but no, other no, decisions no, no. like his medical his medical assistance, like if he needs different kinds of uh, like uh, if he needed an organ or something, you know, we'd have to agree that he's going to get that, that kind of surgery. If, you know, anything that that's pivotal in his life, we both have to agree. I think I, should, I probably should have been more specific. Yeah. Know? 
So, so custodial he, custodial he, parent just means he lives with one of us or the other. So mm -hmm. the way this works is Liz and I, we have uh, primarily I'm the custodial parent. On most of the paperwork throughout his life, I've been the custodial parent. With a few exceptions, uh, Liz has had him, but but you know a, a few years at a time. Um, generally speaking, you know, I get him for a week or two if I, if I'm the non-custodial at the time, um, you know, we've, we've been very friendly about this, um, more or less the last, uh, the last, uh, let's say the time that, uh, Zane's been with me, um, since he's been with me, he's had a few blocks of time where I've had to fight with him about going to see his mom. Um, he's in general, just been really sour on her. He, um, he, he, he re recently had to, I say recently, but it's actually been since he was about 11. Um, he's really aggressively had to, to deal with people who knew who his mother was and uh, knew more about what she did for a living than what he did and started stalking him. Um, some, some young children actually had to have their parents informed and the kids uh, notified and, and legal paperwork uh, handed over to to get them to leave him alone. Um, some adults have also reached out to him inappropriately. Mm. So, uh, all, all. Why didn't so you and get more control of, you know, of him? Well, he, well because, because he's lived with me, man. You're not hearing me. He lived with me 100% of the time, except for when he decided to go visit her. And he only visited her to go see his sisters. I get and that. I told, and I told him, I told him to go visit his sisters because he was concerned about what kind of girls they're going to grow up to be with a mother like Liz. And I told him, I said, well, then it's your job as her, as, as their brother to be around, to teach them what a good girl is supposed to be like so that they don't end up like that. If you really have concerns, you need to be the voice of morality and you need to come in and you need to talk to your sisters before they start acting out. And um, and he he said, well, then I guess that's what my job is. And I said, then you need to start going there more. You need to go see your sisters more. And he loves his sisters. He's a great brother. He's always been good with other kids. He's uh, probably one of the most empathetic and loving people you'll meet. He's just a great kid all around. Um, I, I mean, all I can say about my son is that if it's one thing that Liz and I have done right, if it's one of our wins that we can take away from all this, is that as parents, We've done really well at raising a great person. No, I mean, I think that's good. Um, that's good. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, there, there, there's not a lot to do at this point. I mean, we we came to North Carolina from California. Uh, the paperwork is all in California. I don't know if it if it stands here because most of the document was very California court specific, including the regions we could live. From my, from um, my understanding, it would stand in North Carolina as long as you registered it in California before you left. Well, we already had that for years. I mean, our agreement was in a standing agreement in place for a long time. So, uh, but but the problem is, is it no longer applies in terms of our jurisdictions and whatever because it was very jurisdiction specific. Um, it was more or less tying us to Southern California. So, I mean, in, I think honestly, in order for Liz and I to to, um, there may be some things that carry over. I don't know. I need to talk to a family court lawyer. I need to. I need to to get them to tell me what parts are actually throwouts and which ones are uh, are, are are keepers because I think um, even some of the wording marries us to uh, Southern California for our our venue. So that means that if we try to go back to court, we have to fly to California and we have to fight it out in the in the California courts to get a transfer of venue, and then transfer venue to North Carolina. Then we'd have to revise all of our agreement around North Carolina statutes and, and, um, and regions, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's cost prohibitive. And it's also one thing that I think, um, will be leveraged as an opportunity because, uh, if there's not a lot that carries over, then that means that, you know, there may be another, another custody battle. And I mean, Zane's older now, so it's not going to be as messy, but if he's mad being a teenager, I mean, the entire situation could be just, you know, determined based off of a, a fleeting moment without him fully realizing the consequences. So mm -hmm. at this point, um, if he's mad and he doesn't want to talk to me, he might make a judgment based off of that. Okay. But if he doesn't talk to me, then I have no ability to help him to understand the situation fully. And Liz won't do anything to correct it. All right. 
So, so I guess I guess the the you know the last thing I'll ask you that we could you know, and we could talk again if you'd like um, another time, and maybe we could uh, you know um, come to better understanding of stuff. So why didn't you tell your story like this? You know, instead of talking because... about why. You know, why are you going off on Twitter? You know, he like, he did in my video. Guy? Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Why fight with lawyers the way you did? You know, why not keep your composure for your son? I did keep my composure at first. I didn't do a whole lot of crazy stuff until after I was attacked by her lawyers. Yeah, you know, that, that was when after she tweeted as well. well. I think that would have been. It, it was, keep in mind, she tweeted twice before I said anything. I, you know, again, like I said, that's that's my. My criticism is just the way that it was handled publicly. That's it. You know what I mean? Well, I that's Liz, that's though. You look at her handling of everything, man. She can't even take a shit without blogging about it. And I already said, she again, I have my criticism. Literally, if Liz goes outside and Ant aggresses her, she has to get on and you know talk about the lawsuit she has against the Ant Hill. I mean, it's just every single fucking person. She did this with Sam. She did this with everyone. I had to go to court to get Eddie out of fucking jail. I mean, every guy she's ever been with, there's been problems. It's not us. It's her. I mean, that's your side of it. It's not my side of it. It's public record, man. You want to talk about my side? You go talk to Philip DeFranco. He did a whole thing on it. She made it sound like Sam kidnapped her. He was in Bulgaria when she did that. But there was nobody in the fucking house. This is why I think you should have just stayed away and take your son, you know? Stay away. I can't do that. Legally, I couldn't. Yeah. You know? It's not a time machine, bro. We can't go back and change that shit. He, I can't plus, go back. he was doing he was doing that for Delirious, so Delirious could be around his daughters. That would no, be no, no, no. I mean, before you left, I'm not. I'm not talking about you know after. Listen, I, I'm going to say something. I want you to. I want you guys to process this, okay? Um, you know, even if I could take everything back up to the day I met Liz, I wouldn't. And it has nothing to do with loving Liz or wanting her in my life. It has nothing to do with, like, uh, regretting divorcing her because I don't. I divorced her. I filed on her. I wouldn't take it back because I got a great son out of it. My son is my life. With all the things I've done in my career, the things that people would consider successes, the only thing I genuinely consider a success in my life is my son. That is great, man. Well, look, I think we've gone as far as we could go. Like I said, maybe we could we could talk again sometime and maybe uh, address some other things if you're down. Um, yeah, but, I mean, uh, I can't I can't possibly piss off my ex any more than I already have. So, uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> I, I'm I'm so gonna have a in, fucking look, hell of a night, man. Look, thanks. You know, I know we came in here like yelling at each other and cussing at each other and stuff like that, but like I said, look, I don't begrudge you, dude. Well, as long as we can establish some mutual respect, man, you just, you were being a real yeah. dick. And I would like you to well, at least admit yeah. that. Yeah. I, well, no, I, I'm not talking about now. Too. I'm talking about before. I'm talking okay. about before. Right now, we're talking as two men. We're showing respect. Yes. I'm yes. giving you props yes. for that. Yes. What I would like is just a basic apology for your initial approach. If you're really giving me all this respect I, right now, I can, just say, sorry, I came I, off wrong. I, I, I could have handled it better. I can be man enough. I can be man enough to do that. But I'm saying, it, it, would you agree so do it. So do it. I, no, I, I agree. When I came in here right so now you, talking to you, I, I had a lot of pent up anger toward okay. you because you were being a dick. So will you apologize as well? I will. I have no problem with that, man. I can't. I, you know, listen, if you're willing to say that you were wrong, I'm perfectly good with saying that I came off half cocked okay. and being okay. a bully. I, I apologize for anything I said that offended you or if I was out of line with what I said to you. That's like one of those non-apology apologies. Just say I was being a dick. I mean, um, it's pretty sorry. easy. Sorry if uh, okay. Are you going to say the same thing? Yeah, that's easy. Okay. That's I'm just handle like men. I'm sorry, I was being a dick. Yeah, and I was being a dick too. So now we're done. You no sorry? more being a dick. So now we're done. We're not being dicks anymore. No. Are you sorry? Yeah, I told you. I'm sorry. I was being a dick. I came in this. I was we're pissed good, off man. at you. Then we're good. I was pissed off. All right, we're then, good. There we go. Good, I have no this like. Is I, how, I have this no is how men handle things. We kick back if we were in 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 contact. We'd have a beer or a juice, and we go and flex yeah. a little bit, raise a dumbbell, sure. and and you know, sure, pat man. each other on the back. Right? That's how it works. There's no, there's no ill will, man. For real. All right. Good. You know, and and 
when I say, look, man, I hope you get to see your son. I really yeah, do. Yeah, I hope so too. I, I I I, I'm not like seeing you said, them like you said, until I get, I have some hurdles, like, right? Yeah. So my first, my first hurdle is I need to avoid service until I can get a lawyer. The lawyer, I don't know that I can afford that right now. So I basically, you know, the the range is between like two and six thousand dollars, depending on what level of coverage they need to give me in this situation. I don't have that just to drop on someone right now. Like I, I had a lot of stuff I had to deal with recently that cost me a lot of money, and I'm, you know, I need to I need to address that. Uh, question for Troy so, about that real quick. Do you, uh, do you think like a GoFundMe would help Scott? Would you recommend him doing that? Dude, I, honestly, I think that's one of the avenues that should have been taken, man, for sure. Well, it, all right, it, then it, it, here's it, where it, you it, get to here's where you get to say sorry for being a dick. Would you actually endorse that and help? Absolutely. All right. Sure. Oh. I mean, sure. Why not? All right. There you we go. I mean? That's that's the best way of saying sorry. Because honestly, look, you know, what I mean, to me, look, I, I'm of the opinion. Like I said, I think the best way to do it is in court, man. You know what I mean? And I wish you all the best. All this, I'll, I'll, give you receipts. All the best. I'll give receipts for everything that's donated straight away, everything going straight to a lawyer, nothing else. Um, you know, so. You, truly, wish you all the best, and I hope you all can work out. Oh, I'm going to need it, man. I don't make – I literally, like, three months of their pay combined is equal to my standard rate. If I'm really pushing myself to the point of almost having a stroke, I can maybe make four months' worth of their pay in a year. So yeah, they make they make significantly more money. I make good money. I mean, I'm not going to pretend I'm poor, but I I don't have any money left, and I'm not going to have enough money to defend myself in court. You know, I stepped down from a position as a CTO like about four months ago, and I haven't gotten into another position, and money hemorrhages like fast. So you know, I'm I'm broke at this point. I have nothing in the bank. I have nothing in my pocket. I'm literally working and then spending money on bills that are two weeks late every single fucking time. Would I you have say nothing though, left. better to be broke with your son than without him? Pardon? Would you say better to be broke and be with your son than be without him? My son said he would live with me in a cardboard box over living with his mom in a mansion. Wow. I guess now is the time to test his words. That's awesome, man. Well, look, again, like I said, if that's, you know, it, I wish you all the best then, man. I wish yeah, you all the well, best. I appreciate the shift in demeanor and, you know, maybe it's through humanizing me by actually talking to me. Um, and I appreciate the apology and the willingness to, to stand by me and help me out with a GoFundMe if I set that up. I'm still very, um, I'm very reluctant to, to do that. I don't like asking for help. Um, if I can do this on my own, I will. So I still got to make some phone calls. And, you know, I just want to, want to, say this because I, it goes without uh, saying I mean my ex is not a horrible person the first thing she did when she heard that Zane and I weren't talking and she started crying she apologized and she said she didn't mean for any of this stuff to happen and she started without me asking she started calling a bunch of lawyers and getting numbers and getting advice for me and you know she, she's not not a horrible person she said some horrible things that she doesn't even remember uh, I made her listen to the audio and you know she's she can't even recognize the person who's on there she feels like garbage can i just can i just say one one last thing scott if i may yeah yeah i just want justice and i just want truth oh, at the end of the that's, day okay? that's what i want that's right. what i want and that's what i want. you need to do what you can for your son but i if if i may i sure you can't fight the way that you do online i don't think it's helping you if you know that's that's just my my personal you know opinion on it i i think there's a better way i'm not fighting that. very hard at all man i just I, like no. literally posted like four lines of text I mean, and other than that i've left it alone like the things, saying like the little things just to you know because honestly i mean it it comes off a certain way and it's honestly just look you know i'll take you know i'm down to help yeah all right hopefully tj will too i haven't been I'll fighting help you go i'll help you go fund me your son, your son's info shouldn't be out. I don't think. You know, no, it be. it's not uh, going to be out. I mean, everyone knew his name. Liz had already released that a while ago, and she was actually running a bunch of accounts under his name, pretending to be him. But this this family matter should be taken off of this. And look, I'll even go a step further, dude. Not only will I endorse, me, I, will I endorse really? your GoFundMe? All right, publicly. Yeah. I I have no reservations about 
you know, taking the video down either. Because I think that the best way for this to go down, again, just in my opinion, yeah. right, is for it to, to be handled in the court. Because I really, I believe, I truly believe, dude, that justice will prevail if you go that way, man. Well, in general, family courts, if you can get in, I mean, they're going to decide equal unless I'm like a, a serial killer or a child molester, it's going to be fine. Gonna um, do but, the but the cost of the issue is I don't want to be homeless and that's the main thing is I can't afford to pay a bunch of court fees. They can. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I get that, bro. But that's, that's the beautiful thing about, right, about starting a GoFundMe and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Hopefully that will yeah. leave any kind of. I've um, been avoiding doing that. On you. Yeah, I've been avoiding all of that. I mean, for, for a while. Um, so I do I do appreciate it um, that, that you would, would help out. Um, I'm still not sure I'm going to do the GoFundMe, but if I do. Um, it's nice to know that I have some people supporting me. Um, I'm going to see if I what what I have. I'd rather I'd rather have a couple hundred bucks in in my my wallet and then you know pay pay out you know a lawyer out of pocket. Um, yeah, you know, then I ask for help, but I I don't know. I mean, it it seems like I'm probably going to end up falling on my chin if I don't. So I think um, yeah, like I said, uh, um, real quick, I have something to add because I don't know when this will all end. But since YouTube, you know, apologized and everything, I'm going to extend my apology. Um, I did talk to Toy prior to like like the video coming out and everything and i did yeah. like extend like because i talked to you um scott uh during the interview after the interview we you know i was said i was like gonna reach out to some commentary channels and i talked to sen at the time and i talked to uh toy and maybe i should have pushed a little harder for you guys to talk sooner so none of this would have happened but well, okay, yeah, i'll send my apology that i didn't try hard enough yeah. just in case no it's fine i i think a lot of the confusion right. come from that that message i guess it was just incidental it just seemed like he was not down for the idea but obviously I, it was a miscommunication well no i mean i it, like i would have happily talked to you because it seemed like your lack of ability to hear my voice and actually talk to me as a human being you were just kind of you kept clipping the original interview not listening to it through uh, the, the entirety and you were you were contradicting a lot of things that later on were actually concluded and and gave answers in the rest of the the, the video the interview with tj so um my uh -huh. Yeah, my no. my my concerns were that you were not you were not doing your research before talking and that's bad form i mean you don't just jump in and try to be gonzo on something and experience the interview as it's happening because an interview is a set of questions the goal being to answer them uh, the, the 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 bigger idea of what's going on and if you don't listen to the whole thing first and you just keep cutting it off every minute you're 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 really just you're obfuscating the meaning and the answers from even coming up but again, and that's one I, of the things that was frustrating okay but again when i was hearing some of the stuff some of the stuff sounded inconsistent to me even after that again not it, inconsistent. it was a lot of it felt contradictory so that's why it came to a lot of the conclusions it just sounded weird to me some some and, of it was cut up because it was no, long no, I'm form about, raw footage I'm I'm talking about the interview TJ's that's interview. what i'm saying the interview the interview was cut up it was long. go ahead the, the actual interview, uh, the interview that you uploaded, the entire yep. interview, or the 45-minute interview, was that cut up too, TJ? No, yeah, I think he just cut out the white space. The, yeah, the white Nothing space, else. and then also um, anything Maybe, that I, I had would, to re retract, like private I, addresses I, and stuff. And yeah, locations. I went over that, to, I went over that too. That's the thing. He had to remove. He had to remove anything that would have doxed somebody inadvertently yeah. because I wasn't thinking about privacy when I was talking. Also, yeah. there were some emotional spots where I had to stop because I was crying. Um, yeah. You might have been hearing a lot of the, the emotional state shifting in me during the interview where, you know, the inconsistency would be me picking back up from where I left off, trying to reiterate a point and trying to find my train of thought so I could go back through it. Nothing okay. significant so, is video? cut from the original interview. The only thing that I can possibly think of is I know you mentioned uh, Scott, your your cat was also taken. Like Liz has your cat yeah, as well. Yeah. I don't know if I so fully like, included everything about that, but like besides no, that, no. I got everything. So, so my 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 uh, one of my previous girlfriends, um, someone I dated off and on for the last twenty years, you know, here and there. Um, she she gave me a cat. His name is Wecky. He's uh, got one blue eye, one green eye. He's uh, he's what's called a a Keomani or a Thai diamond cat. They're worth about eleven thousand um, dollars. Yeah, so this cat has been mine. I mean, he's been around since Zane was about four, and um, 
maybe five. And, you know, he's my cat, but Zane and he have bonded like siblings. So they're constantly goofing around and playing. You'll occasionally see pictures of my son playing with the cat, you know, here and there on my stuff and my cats all over my social media. But um, when I travel, I, I leave my son with my cat and, and, and vice versa. You know, they kind of take care of each other. And um, so when I took Zane to his mom's, I dropped my cat off with Zane. And um, they decided that they're not giving me my cat back. So, I mean, I'm basically in my apartment alone. I don't have my cat. I don't have my kid. I don't have anybody. I'm left alone with uh, without anything. So at this point, um, yeah, I, that's uh, probably the only thing I didn't hear in, in TJ's video that, that was uh, other than a point where I got emotional and had to stop talking. Well, just so uh, you understand, the, the first video was a reaction to TJ's video. The second one was when I went a little bit, uh, delved a little bit deeper into stuff. I don't know if you saw that the one. The second it's one was the one where you had all of the audio of my ex-girlfriend and, and stuff. Yeah. And I saw that one, and that's the one that actually got me mad. Um, yeah, you know, the first one, I was kind of irritated with you, and I left halfway through because I was actually trying to chat with you and set you straight and just say, hey, just listen to five-minute blocks, and then we'll talk through it. But you just you were you're clipping it and everything, so it just frustrated me. So I left. But the second one, I listened to the whole thing, and I I have to say that you know that that just got me mad because you were you were there were people in the chat who were trying to say that I was abusing her because I wasn't angry. I was like, how does how does that work? I mean, you know, I think the the situation, given what it was, resolved itself as best as it possibly could. I don't think I could have done anything different. If I would have kept running toward the door or like moving toward the door, it would have been a conflict. My my computer stuff was all over the place. I I couldn't pick that up without causing a conflict. Um, you know, when I was on the phone with the cop, there was even still some conflict because I I had to go too close to her to try to go where the cop was telling me to go. Um, on the phone, you know, to get down to the the officers in the in the driveway. So uh, again, the the situation is very volatile. I don't think I could have done anything different. And I'm listening to you, and you're trying to dissect the situation, and you just kept trying to make me wrong every way you had. Um, I don't think that that was fair. I, I I honestly I think that if any of you were in the same situation, it would have gotten much worse. It would have escalated much quicker. And I mean, you know, honestly, I think that people would have been hurt much worse as well. And I and it's not because it's not because my ex did anything. I don't believe that that she she created a situation that would have gotten worse with her and I. I think the situation I think the situation would have gotten worse with whomever you guys would have been in 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 snarled with, you know, dealing with. Well, I think that's a bit um, presumptuous, but you know, we don't need to. Oh no! I I'll tell you right now. I have training. I have training in in dealing with people who have impairments like that. I mean, so I, I believe that I am infinitely more qualified to deal with people having a psychotic break than you. Um, but you can you can Presumably, say whatever you like. We don't need to go down this road. Um, yeah. So anyway, the, the, the situation is as simple. I mean, it, I'm out of the situation now. There's no more conflict with her. Her and I generally get along well, except for after these where she's very upset. Um she thinks that every time this is going on, it's like it's a new thing and that this is being done to hurt her. It's not. I care about her very much. And as a friend, I wish we could roll things back and just have our friendship back because that was good. Um, everything that came afterward, there's a lot of things that, that you know, pleasant memories or, or whatever. Um, but that night sucks. I mean, everything about it sucks. There's no way to make it better. There's no way to take it back. It's possibly cost me my son. Um, there's, there's, there's not much to do other than just see what happens. I got to go to the court, probably take service. I'll, I'll, I'll probably get a bar of communication as part of the TRO, which means that I legally can't talk to my son. I can't reach out to him. Can't do anything. Even if I see him sitting three feet away from me in the court, I can't talk to him. If I do, I go to jail. Well, um, that's why I'm avoiding service is because I can at least send him emails and reach out to him different ways. And hopefully something will get through to him. But his mom has been known to take all of his like iPads and his phones and, you know, shut off his, his programs. I mean, she's used a program on his computer before that just clipped all of his social media, except for what she wanted. 
Um, so I don't know if he's even getting this stuff. I just know that he talked to a friend of his and his friend said, the situation's bigger than what you understand right now. I can't talk to anybody, you know, so, you know, and just, that's it. And he, just, he cut his friend off and blocked him. So I guess, you know, the last thing I'll say, not, uh, I don't, like I said, if you want to talk again sometime, um, we can talk again. Let's just that. let's make but, it more uh, directed. Right? Let's make it more directed. Let's let's yeah. review questions and I'll uh, answer you honestly to the best of my ability. But okay. I think that basically I'd like to I'd like to leave my ex-girlfriend out of this as much as possible. I kept it general initially because I was trying to protect her identity. I was trying to protect the situation. I didn't want to embarrass her. And, you know, you guys have really put her drug, drug her through the mud. And, you know, I've by proxy done that by answering your questions. And I mean, I've done it honestly. I mean, you ask me anything, I'll tell you. I'm I'm an open book, you know. Um, you know, I I don't I'm I'm not I'm not subject to embarrassment or shame. I mean, I, you know, whereas other people, you know, they'll they'll respond horrifically to some things. Um, you know, I'll just answer honestly. And I he, I he went through a tough vetting process with me, so like I I think that he can yeah. hand, handle talking to you just fine. Like I I literally for like the first before I even started recording for the interview, and he gave me the heads up like yes he wants to do this. It literally was like a thirty minute like ju I was just waiting. I was like dude like I I still don't know. I don't like you know it, it, I'm not to trying to get him, into detail. I had to give him my address. I had to show proof that Liz is somewhat adjacent. I had to show proof that I was in contact with Liz. I had to show proof of our marriage uh, by proxy of the minister and the paralegals that handled the procedures, incoming and outgoing. I had to prove um, you know, that my son was with me and that he was my son. I showed that. I had to show that he was Liz's son, showed that. Went through a lot of shit with Trevor. Trevor did not just, you know, come in here hodgepodge and like give me a hug and call me his bestie. This was him scrutinizing me to the point that I felt like, like he, I, I felt like it was going to be a hit piece. I felt like he was just going to launch me into the fucking space. Um, Trevor was not being a, a a wet noodle about it. He he came in about as hard as I think the guy can come in, uh, given the fact that he's he's not a dick. Yeah, like I said. I just want to see it, you know, a fair fight. That's it, you know. Yeah, fair well, fight. fair fight. Fair fight. There's no such thing as a fair fight when I'm going against two influencers. Most people couldn't do that if they had a bazooka. I, I mean, yeah. I, the look, only thing I have, the only thing I have, is that I can speak the truth as much as I possibly can. I can admit to being a human being who makes mistakes, and I can be, you know. Uh, brutally honest to the point that it's self-deprecating if I need to. And I, and I have a spine, I'll stand up for myself. I may be soft-spoken, but I, I definitely will take a swing. And, and toy, do you understand as well though, that like with like the Omen delirious case on how it's probably going to be going on for years, this probably the Omen delirious case is probably going to bleed oh, yeah, into that, 2025. That don't, don't, um, don't, don't. Okay. But you know, you should know that like, like with people with the lawyers and if they have significantly more money, they can just drag this out and have so much more money cost until my, they can drag it out until my son's an eight, is, is 18 or 19. Yeah. I mean, the reality is, is I might not see my son for four years while they have a protective order that's being renewed for up to five years. Like I said, you know. Um, and I'll run out of money way before that because paying somebody $500 an hour is not going to, to work. Okay. Like I said, you know, I'll I'll remove all my videos pertaining to this. I think TJ should too if he wants. Um, your son should be protected at all costs. So if oh, you start I agree. Go funny, I, I agree. Funny, I'll be there. All right, my son, he, he's an awesome kid. First and foremost, I don't care what people say about me. I don't care what people think about me. I, I have nothing to prove to the internet other than I'm a, I'm, I'm a father who loves his son. Yeah, it's just the nature of the internet. That's what I'm saying. Just show. I, I just think you should show that you're more civil on Twitter than his mom. Taking you know, a beating, man. Oh, you know, my DMs are just a series of death threats and wrong addresses. Yeah, just, dude, just block them. I swear them, to God. Know? It's yeah. so it's so retarded. People sending me addresses and they're like, "You still live here?" I'm like, yeah, "What the fuck sure. are you on, man?" I because the, th the thing is, the, they say the internet's forever, right? So I say, look, just show that you're more civil on Twitter than his mom. Yeah, he, well, he, he I, I've already been like seen this. I mean, you know? other other than other than my my shit flinging and the, basically my mini op ed on on the the physical characteristics of of Jonathan, aka H2O Delirious. I mean, I've uh, I've been pretty pretty 
pretty civil. I mean, I just made a comment that I'm getting served every day. I mean, I don't think I've said anything that's so, so terrible. I mean, it's, like I said, I'm just saying, you know, I'll, I'll clean and, up whatever you think. If you want to act as a as a as a consult and just go I'll, through and I'll, just I'll, like, I'll do, uh, yeah, I think we can talk about that later. In private. Okay, and I think and, and, you well in the and problem. And, I'll, 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 take it down. and I'll, I'll I'll take it down. Okay, All right. fair, real, fair, man. Real, I'm glad we could talk, man. Truly. Okay, yeah. real, real quick good. though, real quick though, I know Toy, you just mentioned the part about like taking down your videos and stuff like that. I am just gonna say here, there are already thousands of people who know about this based off my last stream that's gotten oh. thousands of views and hundreds that you have. I'm just saying now though, removing the videos isn't gonna stop people from bringing stuff I, up, especially these audio clips. What right. really needs to happen from this point forward though is I, it, if it's gonna be covered though, it can't be that's like a, it, it, it can't be like a shitting on Scott and shitting on that's the X fine. constantly sort of thing because what what's what would probably happen the best going forward is that okay yes that is a part of the situation but the entire situation is a lot more dire than just scott breaking up with his ex that is that okay th whatever happened there and like you said you you were claiming that this was all like the catalyst what the real catalyst catalyst is is liz's reaction to the ex and liz's reaction to scott not wanting to get a restraining order and refusing contact like that's the real catalyst nothing okay. it's not the ex thing it, it's more so to do Liz's reaction to it, and that is what needs to be focused on, because that is truly the catalyst of why this is all happening. There's still more that we don't know. There's still more that we don't understand. So I'm just, I'll just wait. Let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see what happens. You know, that's it. You know, I I can't speak to that. Like I said, you know what exactly was the catalyst or not? It seemed like what was said by Scott. That's what I interpreted as the catalyst. But again, I I don't know. You know what, what I mean? What what um, he said where? In the interview with you. What? So the one thing I look, the one thing I do understand is that one party is willing to try and do better. All right. So this this is just what I'm gonna leave it at. All right. I'm willing yeah, to help I'm, I'm willing I'm to help party to try. I am willing I'm to help willing, party try. I'm willing to clean up whatever it is that yeah. you guys feel was out of line. I honestly just at this point i'm i'm done with all of this i'm done with fighting with my ex over it i'm done with fighting with liz's lawyers over it. i just want to get everything straight and um Truly, yeah, we'll talk about it, man. yeah no i appreciate the, the uh, I, will, I will add you on i will actually add you on here right now as we speak i appreciate the high road that you're taking and in, in your approach at this point and uh again trevor thank you for for coming through all this and just trying to handle this in the most honest way that you could, right? Yeah, yeah thank no you. No problem at all, man. That's it. I all just right. said. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys go. I got some cleanup to do in my own house at this point. I gotta, I gotta have some conversations. All right. Bye. Okay. Yep. Well, this is fun. Um, thank wow. you, TJ, for having me on. Thank you, Scott, for taking the time. Uh, yeah. hey, Scott, real quick. Someone saying yeah. Zane is in my chat. I don't think Jane's, Zane's in the chat at all. I don't think so either, but it might just be someone like with the name Zane or whatever. It's not Zane. If it, it okay. it's not Zane. Zane doesn't use Zane. I know his okay. his online name. Yeah, guys, just chill, chill out with that in the chat, okay? Yeah, no, his his name his name I'm not gonna give it out, but it's uh, there's two two names he would use. One he wouldn't use because his mom uh, gives it, and then um, you know the other one is the one he uses with all of his friends. All right. Well, I oh. I'm gonna get going here again. Appreciate you taking the time, um, and like I said, wish you all the best. Yeah, and if, if you can screen cap anything where the person who says he's saying is, is in the chat, you know, just screen cap it and send it to me. I want to make yeah. sure that whoever it is is not not engaging in any tomfoolery. I'll give that to an authority if I need to. All right. Yeah, thank I, you. Well, thank you, bro. I I'll talk to you guys all later. Right. Bye. Guys take care. Have a good Bye. night. Okay. Holy shit. Let me give me a second, guys. I I can't even see what you're talking about. You're saying like, say the name. Like I can't even fucking see it, guys. Give me a second. Jesus Christ. Bimeth. Who's Bimeth? That's Zane, apparently. Bimeth the tumor. I'll message him about it now. But it, it, that can just be handled behind the scenes, guys. It's fine. Um, 
apparently someone named Bimeth the Tumor. Okay. Uh, I know, I forgot. Well, he was... Sen, dude, Sen, and Dev in the, in the chat. Guys, I, I don't care if this Bimeth is claiming to be... I don't, I, I, until I get more substantial information that that person is actually Zane. I'm not going to go off of it. People can easily fake it right now. People have said a lot worse. So d d stop assuming Bimeth is Zane until we get proof to it. Even if they're claiming to the high heavens that they're Zane, just wait until we get more proof or if someone like Scott um, vouches for that account. Sorry, Dev, and sorry, um, Sen, for not answering or asking that question. I was going to ask why Sen got demoted in Toy's chat. I'm assuming Toy got pretty upset about it, is what, is what my assumption is. Again, I'm not for sure on what is going on there and how that's going on, but holy shit, guys, wasn't that something? I, I thought it was going to be a surprise to you that I was bringing a Toy on and I was going to kind of criticize Toy for his stream. Oh boy, and then they joined, and now they fought and argued and, and did all that shit. So, like, what the fuck, dude? I have to go to the fucking state fair tomorrow. I have to wake up early morning. It's fucking midnight. I wasn't planning on streaming this. I thought when I started streaming at 7, that would have been good. And by the way, Toy said that he didn't want to do a 6-hour stream. It's 5 hours and 30 minutes. He almost got a 6-hour stream. We almost got a 6-hour stream out of Toy. But holy fucking shit, dude. Like, there was a lot here. TJV, good lord, I just got home from work and you're still streaming. Yeah, I don't plan on streaming. I probably made my girlfriend a little upset not going to bed on time, but she understands it's work. It, it's something I got to do. And then, <sighs> TJV, you're going tomorrow. I think I'm going on Saturday. So, the 19th. Saturday the 19th is when I'm going to the, to the fair. So, if anyone else is planning on going to the Iowa State Fair, um... I'll be there, and I'll, 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 I guess I could, I don't know, if someone wanted to tweet at me to come see me in person and take a photo, I guess, or whatever the hell you're wanting, just don't fucking come up and stab me or my family if you're gonna fucking do that, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys, telling you guys where I'm gonna be at, hoping for good things to only happen, and that's it, but, um, anyways, regardless, <sighs> TJ, buy me cheese curds. If you show up and come say fucking hi, we'll share some cheese curds. The fuck? Why would we stab you guys? Uh, people are fucking weird sometimes. People are warning me you shouldn't be saying that you're going to the state fair this weekend. And I'm like, well, what are people going to do? No one's going to come up and fucking hurt me, but I'm giving a warning. You better not come up and fucking hurt anybody because it ain't going to happen. <sighs> How about breaking bottles together, TJV? I'll do that too. I'll share a beer with anyone, dude. I'll get drunk as fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm not driving. <laughs> I, I'm driving to, to where the state fair is, but I'm not driving from the state fair to the hotel I'm staying at. So I'm not going to say what hotel I'm staying at either. That'd be fucking weird. Um, let us in. <sighs> if you guys really want to hop in real quick, but dude, it's fucking late. It, this shit got crazy. It got fucking crazy. Um, is there any questions people have? Because I didn't talk a lot throughout that, but I, again, I wanted to let them cook, and I don't mean that like I wanted them to fight. I just, Toy, I think one of his biggest issues is that he just didn't reach out to Scott. I offered him before I before the my main video was published about it, when I first talked about Scott's story in the first place, I offered Toy and Sen both. Sen can fucking... Um, can vouch for this. I offered Sen and Toy fucking both. If you want to talk to Scott, I can give you connection with Scott. I can give you connection with Scott so you can hear his fucking side. I gave fucking connection. And I just feel bad that I didn't push for it more. So I pushed for it more. Then they wouldn't fucking fight. Toy wouldn't have had those streams that were being criticized. Yeah, it, it would have been a lot. Toy kept talking over Scott so many times. They were talking over each other. They were fucking fighting all the time. And I think, you know, you don't want to... There is a high... Ch even after listening to Scott, people are going to be hesitant on the story. And I completely understand. That's that's the right way to be until we have actual facts and proof about things. Some of the things that Scott has brought up does have facts and proof behind it. You know, he has validated certain things. So... Again, it's just a matter of hearing both sides. And if we don't hear a side from Delirious and Liz, then that's what it is. 
I don't want connections with Scott because I gave, gave up thinking he was innocent halfway. Like I said, everyone sucks in this. Dude, yeah, like, you can't assume everyone's innocent of everything. Um, there's going to be fuck-ups on both sides. It's just a matter of morally the dilemma is Scott can't see his son. Do you think he should be able to see his son? If you think yes, you're able to help him if he sets up the GoFundMe. If he doesn't, he doesn't. We'll have to see how it goes from there. SCGV, I got no questions. Just wanted, wanted to state that I'm just glad that this was settled and now I'm sure now any questions he asks, he will ask and won't do what he did in the stream going forward. Yeah, that was the biggest thing. I Even people who are, like Toy brought up, there's people in his community that are biased like towards him. Like, like they're going to support Toy no matter what. Even I think some of Toy's mods or whatever can kind of see, yeah, you Toy was sh shitting Toy Bounty Hunter was shitting on fucking Scott. And what I mean by shitting is he focused all of his attention on just criticizing him instead of saying, oh, this is interesting. I didn't know this about Delirious and Liz and talked about that. There, there was barely anything focusing on that. And again, people say that Toy's biased towards Delirious and XYZ. We found out that they talk. Toy and Delirious talk. And we found out that Toy wasn't being completely honest on when they were talking too. So there was a lot of things that we found out today. So a couple crazy moments in the stream. Definitely going to clip some of them and upload them. You guys know how it works. It's just YouTube. You got to do work. But at the end of the day, I appreciate Scott speaking about me highly and um, more so in the matter of like, hey, I'm, I wasn't just being a shill trying to show up to Scott to try to hit do a hit piece. I appreciate Scott saying that. Because I wasn't. I, I'm, I'm not. I didn't look at the situation with dollar signs. And anyone who thinks that, that I did, just understand yes, I have to do YouTube for a job. I have to make money from this. If I don't, then I'm not doing it. I'm going to go get a real fucking job and I'm going to say, fuck YouTube. It's not worth the stress if I'm not making an income off of it. And if people understand that, then people can. Then people can just get over that fact mostly and, and things can. can continue on the way it should be tjv i just really want to say quick thanks for the stream i don't think i'm ever been this active in a chat lolw stream w community thank you brother no problem delirious do you have an alt in here you silly goose i'm sure delirious was watching i'm sure they were both watching it's no doubt in my mind i have proof that delirious was watching a stream that i made not so long ago because he messaged me right after the stream talking about it and I never knew he was even watching in the first place. I was shocked that he was watching. So I know he watches my streams sometimes. I just don't know which ones. Another W stream, keep the streak, TJV. I'm going to try. I can't promise you every stream is going to be awesome. TJV, Bimith has the talking stick. Hold on. What? Discord as in what? My personal. I'm not going to talk to this Bimith person. Not until I hear from Scott or, or proof that this is Zane. Don't give this Bimeth guy any sort of attention. You guys are just at... This could just be a fucking alt account or someone random th claiming they're Zane to get attention. Don't be giving this fucking person attention unless it's proven. TJV getting his ball sack back little by little. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just fucking tired. He just confirmed it. What... Bimith is my son's secret account. Okay. I just saw that now. I just saw that fucking message. My bad. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you, Zane. Hopefully everything's going well. I'm sorry that you're in a really shitty situation. I feel incredibly bad for you. I think we all do. Scott just said in the chat, Bimith is Zane's account. Zane, I feel incredibly bad for you. Sorry if I said anything harsh towards you. I didn't mean it, but... I... Yeah... Zane, you're 14. I'm not going to talk to you like you're a kid. You understand, though, about vetting and making sure people are really who they say they are. So, Bimeth. TJV sounds so damn tired I am. TJV, no, you don't. You made this much worse by helping make this public. I only did what your father asked me to do was, hey, do you mind making this story? That's all I did. 
I'm sorry if you feel any other way about it. At the end of the day, your father asked me to do it. And I told him yes under certain stipulations. As long as he could vet who he was. I'm sorry, Bimeth, if... Bimeth, I'm sorry, Zane, if you feel any other way about that, but... I know, I know Zane, your father told me, and it's in the interview, that you used to watch my videos or whatever, or used to see some of my videos or whatever. Um, TJV, you gave my personal info like candy. My whole name is public now. You had a choice. Your father said he wanted he was he didn't have a problem your name being public in the interview. He said that my son is Zane Reinhardt. It's in the interview. He gave it out in the interview to begin with. I all I did was do what your father asked me to do was make the story public. TJV odd idea. If Scott and Zane have discords, why not just pop them into a server or something private call so they can talk? Just be an independent third party. If it helps them, if they need to need that, I guess. Um, but again, that's just up to him. Do not say my name, TJV. Bro, how certain, Scott, are we that this isn't Delirious or Liz on Zane's account? I'm not trying to sit here and assume anything, but... If it is Zane, I feel sorry for you. If it's Liz or Delirious on an account that Zane has, then, yeah. It's not a troll, because Scott did say, Scott said that, so if you were to believe his words. I made this just now. Yeah, but what's... It, it, if it's a, if it if that Bimith account ends up being Delirious or Liz using that account and using it because Scott would know Zane has that account or has an account like that, then yeah. Bimith, I understand that Liz and Delirious did the same to me maliciously. Hopefully, all this can be sorted out soon. It's clear your dad loves you and wants to find a resolution. That's what Allmarker said. Two dollars super chat from Marlon Williams. How come they don't? They didn't sue you, TJV. Because I'm just more of an independent third party that was just trying to get a story out there, and that's about it. A story that was asked to get out there. And that's about it. Again, I, I don't know if everything Bimeth is saying here, if it's Delirious or Liz, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. There's a lot of crazy shit heard from Scott. I'm not fully believing everything Scott said or anything all I'm saying is that if if that Bimith or Dimith or whatever account Bimith account is Zane I feel bad for you hopefully you're doing good kid but if if it's if it's Delirious or Liz using that account to sit here and try to stir up drama in here then shame on you pathetic human beings if if that's Delirious and Liz using that account you guys are fucking pathetic if that is you guys. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying if it is. But you guys are fucking pathetic if you're doing that. Bimeth is a character he and I made up. So it's for sure him. There's no way he could have told Liz or Delirious that. Scott. Liz knows about him. Well then. What's stopping that from being Liz? Liz. A TJV, uh, don't let this ruin your mood. Go have fun and see for I will. Um, I'm just, I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, people wanted me to sum up what happened here because I understand a six hour stream isn't for people. Some people aren't going to come do a six hour stream. Some people aren't going to come to a six hour uh, live stream. So um, I will have somewhat of a summer, summary video. It's not going to be a clean video. I only got like four hours in the morning to do it because then I'm going to be gone for three days. And it's not, I'm not going to do a, a, a video on, on my phone or anything. Um, and instead of people coming to the stream and only seeing certain clips, if I just put a video out there summing up what happened, that would probably be for the best. TJV, wait, how do I get hair like yours? I what hair are you talking about? Beard or um, head? Head. 
so yeah um i'll make a summary video it's gonna be in the morning i got like four hours to do it i'm gonna make something quick i'll have it posted sometime tomorrow and you guys are going to see see that tomorrow all right any final questions guys answer them say them quick in the chat so i can move on thanks for the summary of it tjv no problem Any other questions? Are you taking the stream down? No. Like I said, the thing with Toy, he says that he should remove all of his content. Dude, just make an updated video where people can go to that one and say, okay, hey, yeah, I focused a lot on these clips. These clips shouldn't be the main focus and move on. That's the better way to handle it. I don't even think Toy should take down his, his fucking videos. Because there's always going to be that conversation. Well, Toy got this wrong, and then the v videos are down, and then it's going to have to take people who either were in, in there or multiple people from the chats who've seen it to talk about it, and it just causes more confusion. What's out there is out there. It's public. If you fuck up and you say something wrong, it ain't like a delete button gets rid of everything. I don't think that, that that's something to do. But, again, Toy can do whatever the fuck he wants with this content. I don't care. TJV, any vet updates? I, I'm getting it ready to take down to um, the state fair. It's about a two-hour drive from where I live, so <sighs> it's going to be a long-distance trip in the in in the vet. I ha I've been working on it all week and mostly today, so. So yeah. Um, any other questions? Are you going to end if things escalate even more, TJV? Am I going to end? No, no. I'm here to stay, guys. You guys are stuck with me. If I have to deal with you guys all the time, you guys got to deal with me all the time. I'm not going anywhere. Um, next one. Who cares if Liz, if it's Liz or him? Why does it matter if they... If they watch what being said about them, I I don't know. Just I, again, like I said, even if it is Zane, don't pay. I wouldn't pay much attention to it either. I mean, yeah, if Zane wants to come out here for public record or something like that, but I have my doubt. I don't know. I. I Zane's a really good typer. If 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 he's responding to all these people and sending out these messages really quick near the end of the stream you know it's really it's really 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 quick you know for uh maybe 14 year olds can type a lot quicker than i uh, when i was 14 i couldn't type for shit at 14 even when i had typing class i was fucking slow as shit compared to other people does your vet still have uh the lotus v8 or did you else neither it still has the l98 engine it is still a v8 though so it's it's not that bad um you know who else lives about two hours from the fair and is going on Saturday? Is it you, Link? Are you going? Am I going to see Link for the first time? Wait, is this Zane person here? Apparently Bimeth is Zane, but I don't know. TJV learned from my father how to type. Maybe you can type really fucking quick, man. Maybe you can type really fucking quick. You're old enough to have Discord. They allow 13 and up, so... That's really really is you, Bimeth Zane. You know how this sort of thing works in the commentary thing. If you've seen some of my videos before, back up what you're saying, you know, and uh, hop in a call. If you don't sound like Liz or Delirious doing an impression of you, then I'm a lot likely to believe it's it's actually you, you know. A TGV, did you know that Liz is already getting hate comments on her videos? I did not know that. Hopefully it ain't too bad of harassment or death threats because I'm not wanting that upon people. Guys, leave Bimith alone, and if he wants to talk and answer questions, then okay, but don't bug him till he answers. Yeah, I just, everyone chill the fuck out. Yeah, don't be bullying him. TJV's mind's hanging by a thread right now. No, it's just a lot to process. It's gonna, I'm gonna have some trouble sleeping like normal because you know you gotta get all those thoughts out of your head before you end up going to bed. I can't go to go to bed thinking about all this shit and being stressed out over it. 
It's more about... I'm going to think all night about how to do the summary video. Like, what parts should I include and everything. X, Y, Z. At TJVC, the new Twisted Metal show? I have not... Okay, final questions, guys. Yeah, 30 seconds. Crazy stream, though. It was it was going by well. I think the t whole thing with Toy was going good. Some people were saying it was a debate. I, I, it wasn't really a full debate. It was more of a, like an interview and everything like that. I think everything was going going good with that. At TJV, I legitimately don't care if you believe this is me. My father knows this is me. Uh, that is all I need. He made this public, therefore I am saying what I have to say publicly. That's fine, Zane Bimith. You're welcome to come on my platform, where it's so far been the biggest at, and say whatever you want to say publicly. If you're really wanting to come out here and say what you want to say publicly, might as well do it on the biggest stage right now that there is. Unless some other person makes a video about it, and they're significantly bigger than me, but... If you want if you want a front row... Oh, not a front row, but like be on the stage and put out your words about your father you're more than welcome to come on here i'm being fair to both sides you know all sides really because there's liz delirious zane scott how uh, the ex-girlfriend was talked about a lot toy who's talk been talking about it sen made a stream about it i talked about it at tgv do you think uh scott was telling the truth about delirious appearance or was he bluffing if everything else is to be believed like about the whole situation situation with zane and everything then maybe um maybe that has you know you just have to see okay is this a lie is this a lie is this a lie and if you can prove that what he's saying is a lie you can probably have an idea of what could be truth truthful and what it, what is not truthful um but again it's going to be off of a lot of assumption <sighs> okay Om says in the chat, Liz made it public first. I spent weeks getting blamed for those vague tweets and threatened as well over them, only to then be lied about when she followed up. That is true. A lot of people were sending people were sending death threats to Om. So some people were saying I should pop Om for this. People were saying like threatening to shoot Om over Liz's tweets. And hardly anybody stepped in to sit here and say, Yeah, that's not okay. That is not bad. Don't do not lie. The video came first. No, no, Zane. The Liz's tweets came first. Liz was tweeting about it before the video. Liz tweeted about it twice, I think, before I even made the video. So I'm sorry, Zane, but the video did not come first. <laughs> I even refer to it in the video. So, Zane, if you really watched the video, you saw the tweets and the time and the date that the tweets were at. You know it. You should know that the tweets were prior if you were watching the video. Oh, my. Someone doesn't have their timeline right. Would it could have seen that coming. Again, I, I Zane, I if that's really you, Zane, and your mother's told you her version of what's happened so far online, trust me, there's a lot of stuff on the internet to go check out. Go check out my original video, what, what Liz was tweeting about before I made my video. Just keep your keep in mind, your mom was tweeting that, if that's really you. Again, yeah, not trying to back up Scott, not trying to be uber defender of Scott or anything, but I'm just saying blatant things like who said what first, Liz said something first. I'll look back at the timestamps, I'll believe it, Scott Earnhardt. I'll talk to you when I'm older. You reached out to Ohm and said you dox my mother as well as delirious, but I still love you. Let me speculate 
and craft narratives on a live stream because I can't talk to Scott. Sounds like what they bitched at you for during the Louis situation. Doesn't it, Sen? I wanted to bring that up with Toy while Scott and Toy were talking. I was like, hey, you were... I was getting bitched at a lot. I was getting bitched at a lot. You didn't contact Louie. You didn't talk to Louie prior to talking about his situation. All right. Learned from that situation. Moved on. Toy does the exact same thing here. <laughs> Toy doesn't do that. Fight a lot of super chat from Chris Din, TJV. Call an emergency meeting. We can see if he's an imposter. I've extended the stream longer than what I said I was. If, if, if Zane can make a discord or, or has a discord and wants to call me real quick to prove it's him we can do it real quick so far i haven't seen anything in the chat saying he, he wanted to do that i think he said something about discord in the chat but i don't think he i don't know if he was referring to me john can't practice what he preaches just like his pals who could have seen that coming yeah i don't know toy seems like he doesn't really like you anymore son so yeah just waiting <laughs> scott said himself um his mom took all his gear and couldn't communicate then suddenly zane account shows up after we find out about the one eyed trolled watches utjv pretty sus that's if you believe everything scott's saying that's all that's a lot to it's a lot to take in Um, says to Bimith, I wish you and all the best. I hope you can get this resolved soon. There has been a compromise for a compromise for you all. Genuinely hope all this can be resolved. Yeah, I mean, om has been really coming in here and putting out the positivity message, hoping for the best. It's kind of the best thing you can do here. It'd be interesting if, if Delirious or Liz did ever make a statement about what was said publicly now from Scott, but yeah, there's, there's just a lot. There's a lot to unpack there, so I don't know if there's ever going to be a response to it or not. I, I'm not talking to you at this point. I've seen enough. I tried staying out of this the best I could, but seeing this... Rose is annoying to me and adding unnecessary stress. Uh, I started um, back when my little brother was like 14. I got my little brother like involved in making movies with me and stuff like that. And he got to see some of the drama about, like, what's going on between me and my friends. I probably was, like, 18. My little brother was 14. And I was dealing with, like, some more adult stuff and X, Y, Z. And I remember I stressed out my little brother a lot. A lot. But I think at the end of the day, my like, my younger brother kind of knew. He was just like, you know what? You're an adult. My little brother knew he was only 14. He knew there was a lot more going on than, than just that. And I don't know. Maybe... Maybe if Zane would try to understand both sides a little bit, talk to both sides, maybe not just to hang out with Liz all the time. It, it, again, that's if this Bimith is really Zane or if it's one of his parents on the account. Again, like I said, it would be really scummy if that is. So TJV, you got a long day tomorrow. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Long day. TJV, you better get your girlfriend one of those carnival toys for having to drive your sleepy self to the fair i'll be fine i think i'll have i'm actually going down with a lot of my other family and then i'm going to see some distant family there i think we're meeting up with some of them so i'll be pretty excited i think everyone here is a bit tired it's 1 a.m now for tjv and i and i it's probably late for everyone else maybe we should go to bed now yeah we will i was just reading the chats and
apparently there's audio being sent. What? I don't know. Children of Home says, Ohm still owes me $5,000 from last month. Ohm is paying Children of Venom? What? Why? Take on of the Yoshis with you so you can nap with. Oh, uh, no. That's fine. It's fine. TJV is very curious. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm sticking around, guys. I'm sorry. Get me in, TJV. I'd like to speak my mind. Call me, then. You have the power to call me chilled. TJV, could you hug a Yoshi? Yeah, no, I'm not really in the mood for that. I'm not really in the mood for that. Yo. Yo, this is Chilled Venom, former commentary channel. What's up? Was X X commentator. X commentary channel. For the people that were around for a long time, they will probably heard of me in this in this drama. Um. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say. Uh, for Scott, uh, you should probably not go to Toy for like interviews and questions, only because Toy has already had Robson with like Li Louis, for example, and since you know, Delirious is kind of like close to the dms that he forgot to hide somehow uh what's to say that he wouldn't do it again uh it wouldn't it would really be surprising me especially since we, he's been pretty biased for a very long time and it pretty much showed for a while i just kind of didn't want to say anything because he was kind of close friends with like people that i am close with which is like sen for example and uh now that that's over i could just openly say he's kind of like the most biased motherfucker that i've ever seen like no matter what he will always go to like uh defending delirious somehow but he will let ohm do it like go through all this shit and uh you know just him being roped in with louis kind of says a lot at least from my perspective yeah so, I, I, I saw there's people saying in the chat like uh scott shouldn't be talking to toy i, I see yeah. that a bit yeah that's, that's honestly just about like all i wanted to say because i'm not uh, toy Toy, I feel like, associates with people that do certain things that I know about. I won't say what, because it's none of my business. And it's not because someone told me. I just know. And, uh, yeah. sorry, I'm meeting right now, by the way, sorry. You're good. Because I, I was, like, I was just watching your entire stream the whole time, and I didn't eat anything. But, uh, right. yeah. Yeah, like, I, I, anyone who's confused in the chat, we're not saying, like, Toy and Scott shouldn't have talked prior. Like, it may, maybe if they talked prior, he could ask questions and vet it himself and, and do all that other thing. It's more of the fact now that now that Toy's put out streams and he's kind of used those streams to, like, really focus in on Scott instead of focusing on uh, the story that was told and, and he, you know, go, go the route of the X and release those audio clips that definitely... Again, now that Scott's joined and gave some context, those audio clips maybe shouldn't have been out there at all. Um, yeah, it, it's just it's just a lot. So, no, oh, yeah, because uh, I really wanted to ask him like the questions was of like, have you held any information for your like, or oh, let me reward that. Have you held any info for the point of convenience at any point, or like, what are your thoughts on people gay opping Ohm or Delirious or even Louis? Because I feel like he doesn't help. He doesn't hold people to the same standards just because he rather knows someone that is close to that specific person that's involved. And I feel like that can, like, kind of cloud his judgment on, like, what's really happening. And it seemed to be the case only just because he knows Louie. And at a kind of, kind of like, a close point. So I feel like he kind of lies also when he says emotions are involved to some extent. So Because it definitely this, is. This Bimeth person is claiming that they're Zane. So one of their messages, now that you speculative delusions are over... Uh, enough and as a final message i am not i am not associated with the lo-fi lyrius uh and the fact that you insulted me as an immediate resort is showing uh scott just enough no more interviews no more threats just end it wouldn't this be kind of convenient for like liz or delirious to say on zane's account like wouldn't that be why, why bring up the oh, yeah like i was thinking like only three people would know this people that are with with zane that being liz and liz and delirious or scott right. because they made that I don't know why they're like putting a, a, something very personal that's close to only a specific amount of people. 
Like that, that just kind of right. outs them. And also, I've I'm someone who has like carefully studied a lot of shit about this drama, which kind of sounds like a fucking loser. Honestly, I could really tell you is don't involve yourself in drama unless you're earning some sort of penny off of it. And I was, okay. so I, I'm not really obligated to be called a degenerate that much, but you have that leeway to call me that if you want to. But I've studied this shit for months on end. And I've specifically learned, like, text patterns. Delirious has a very specific pattern of texting. He has very short sentences with, with like, uh, commas or uh, uh, periods. And they don't really have many words in them. And with every sentence that I've seen from Bimith, it's always, like, you know... It's always been the, the exact same thing that I've been talking to with Delirious because I've had talks with, like, texts with Delirious. Right. And same thing with Ohm. I've already studied his text patterns. He has a lot of commas in his fucking paragraphs. And if you look back and look at his comma and his, and his paragraphs, they're going to have a lot of commas. Right. So just studying that, like, you know, it's, it's very simple to tell. Like, see, for yeah. example... Going at, Dude, here, I'll just screenshot and send it to you. Do not go away forever. You'll be better at some point. I know you will, please. Dude, like, I'm sorry. I Again, I don't know this 14-year-old. I don't know how mature, how adult-like he is, but even some of the points he's bringing up. So he seems like like a 14-year-old fixated on stuff, but at the same time, he has, like, all the perfect periods, all the capital letters and stuff like that. I don't know, dude. I, I don't know, dude. It To me, it just... There needs to be some serious validating to, to, for me personally to believe that that is Zane. Like, I'm sorry, but I, yeah, I don't... For like, s- the people that are very, like, very, like, saying that, like, oh, TJ's a shill and shit like that for Ohm, it's kind of difficult to criticize the other party when there really isn't any, any other fans that Ohm has. Of course, there's going to be people that, that support him, but they're not going to say anything because they're not that stupid. However, Delirious has a bigger demographic, and so he's going to have a lot of kids, a lot of people in their teenage years, just like constantly mm-hmm. saying stupid shit in chat and saying, oh, you're just an ohm shill. Oh, you don't owe anything. Where's the proof? Uh, funny enough, don't take it as a surprise, but people like Toy, even TJ, even me, we all get told shit behind the scenes, and that's just how it is. You won't know anything until it ends. That's all I can really tell you. And that's just how things are going to be. You can yeah. kind of see it if you pay attention. The and, bloody uh, crow I do want to say one ch- thing about... Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the Bloody Crow says in the chat at TJV, wasn't Liz and her lawyers trying to say Scott should get therapy? Sounds like the month or the mouth in the chat right now, don't you think? That, that's kind of what Bimith sounds like. He sounds like, oh, go, go get help. Go, you'll be better. You, you know, things, blah, blah, blah. Dude, it sounds so much like what Liz and Liz's attorney was kind of spewing at in the email so again like it's it's just really hard for me to believe that there has to be some like serious like vetting for that like dude i need to talk to this person like i need to talk to them in a vc they clearly need to sound like a 14 year old boy and not liz or or delirious like it needs to be clear as day that that is who it is because again yeah, like, delirious delirious has a history of going on alt accounts and pretending to be other yeah, people no, for sure yeah. how, how how is this any fucking dare it's happening in the same household same household that Delirious did that shit in. So, uh, but why would he do that though? But why would he do that? He's already been outed as having alt accounts. I mean, unless he does it again, regardless, and he's just what? doing it out of spite. I don't know. Like, like maybe since this is an existing account and it's think, Zane's I, account, maybe, maybe that might have okay, been a troll. It might yeah, be like, a may- troll. A yeah, maybe maybe, maybe they can get away with it because they're not making a new account. They're just using an existing account, so they think they can get away with it. Maybe I don't well, know. I mean, this is all Scott. under assumption. To Scott, by any chance, have you ever told anyone or, like, as a joke, told anyone about that specific inside joke that you and your son had? Because that might have been the case. Might have slipped out to someone else. Maybe even Delirious got someone to do that. I mean, honestly, don't know. Your son is a genius. Bro, I think I think Scott's just being played right now, honestly. But, uh, like, for ex- like, I, I do want to say one thing about John, though. Uh, John honestly just tries to act like the Keyword Farms links by Delirious alts aren't that big of a deal. And they, that it's public info. However, he and his friends have, like sung a different tune when it comes to their their kiwi farm threads being posted why like i don't know why it's worth getting morally outraged by for 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 uh delirious doxing ohm on his alt accounts uh and i don't know like on his on his alts it's just public info right if that makes sense yeah and and by the way another good point queen lee says in the chat there's also a possibility that 
um, this could be Zayn with Liz over his shoulder coaching him to do it. And then Queen Lee says, she advised me against this. Okay, not only would she advise you, she'd probably take away any sort of advice where you can do it because if she's really getting attorneys out towards Scott and uh, the attorneys really don't want any connection to be between Scott and Zane because of fear of pro like protection or whatever, she would take your devices. She would refuse you to have any sort of communication with Scott, even if it's through a TJV live stream. There'd be 100% Liz should have been on top of this. 100%. She would have been taking the devices. She would have been doing all of that. How the fuck are you get unless you did what'd you do, Zane? Did you sit here and steal the device and ran into a room and locked yourself in a room? Yeah, dude. Yeah, there there is no fucking way with Liz and how close like the attorneys and, and what I've been CC'd on seeing the attorneys talk to Scott. There's no hmm. fucking way she wouldn't just advise. She would make sure that Scott and and um fucking Zane don't talk. I've had all of my devices, I mean, and, you, and you're just talking, now, and you're just talking now on on a stream where it's more focused on like Scott and his ex rather than focusing on the actual situation. And why not like the previous stream where Scott was hopping up in the chat? What what was the breaking point that you needed to speak now? Well, I mean that comes into like my other question. Uh, Scott, I don't know if you noticed, but he did ramble on for like a fucking hour. And judging by that, now that he's talked a lot, maybe they're trying to use that shit uh, legally against him. And that's yeah. why, like, I guess now they're using this personal inside joke between Scott and his son. Now he's coming in here in an alt account, possibly since he said he made it, like, recently. Uh, now he's just right. coming in for, like, more, more uh, I guess, mind games of some sorts. Yeah. It, it, Scott said it, w it would need to be Liz or John. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's no fucking way. I don't think so. But again, it's just me speculating here. I have no fucking idea. So, Jimith is a meme character. Bimith is a tumor. What? Okay. Maybe that's just explaining the username, I guess. But, dude, yeah. Delirious is a fucking king at all accounts, bro. He had that shit for so... He had me fooled, bro. I was defending him, saying I don't think he has alt accounts, bro. I mean, He's a fucking... I mean king he delirious is a fucking king at alt accounts you're telling me that there's not a chance like anyone sitting here actually believing in Zane? you don't think there's at least a fucking chance that oh let's try going on an existing account that's not owned by us that's maybe used by someone else you know doesn't that i don't know just jump into a yeah, call with the, uh, tjb to prove it to you even if it's just for one minute that this whole drama people have just been pissing me off and i, I got like a bunch of flame for uh, throwing flag at Delirious and now all this shit's happening. So uh, I just wonder where all they're all now. Like, you know, <laughs> I wonder where all the people that criticize me, TJ, and other other person that criticize Delirious are now. Like, it's just sad. You guys are probably like the amount of delusion that I've received from people is insane. Well, they're not around as much anymore. So I'm I'm just thinking maybe they grew up. There was about like a two year span of us talking about it. Maybe in the last two years, some of them matured and was like, you know, what? I'm gonna do something better with my life than go on online and defend my favorite uh mm. defend my favorite youtuber i don't know well i mean i feel like hopefully uh, everything goes right for scott the thing is right. though um throughout that whole rambling that he mentioned hopefully he doesn't get into legality problems because the fact that this supposed so-called zane account is here now it's like what else can he get from scott i feel like that's the that's the that's the play here for them Wait, what happened? Nothing. I'm just reading the chat. Oh, Chill. I don't know. Chill. What'd I do? Oh, people were asking who's TJV talking to. And everyone's saying oh. killed. Nah, I'm a nobody. Uh, Wait, there was one more thing. What the fuck? We was in there. Oh, yeah, I mean, also, like, funny thing about John, right? Like, uh, he also associates with a guy called Steve DeLeave. Uh, he, like, kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> he's he's kind of unhinged. So, like, the point where, like, he would shoot people. And he also, like, kind of supports this uh, abuser who he... It's pretty much the same thing, like, uh, Scott's ex. Well, obviously, that's not the case anymore, not to, like, uh, you know, say that that's the case now. But, uh... 
John kind of went at him when he's has a friend that's like kind of in the same situation. Mm-hmm. Except this person is actually defending the abuser. Yeah, that's another thing I didn't get some attention while I was talking to Toy. Do you think Toy would ever do another stream with me, or do you think he's gonna be like, yeah, um, I'm never doing that again? <laughs> he might be hesitant. I mean, I, look, I think I think Toy's a very chill guy, but he's very two faced in my opinion. He He's very different when it comes to interacting with people in this drama. And separate from that, he won't really interact with you. He thinks that I'm childish. That's completely fine. I don't give a shit. But uh, I do know when I'm right and when I'm wrong. So, you know, the fact that a childish person could be a little bit more right than you sometimes is kind of sad. How old is Toy again? What did he say? Like in his 50s. I'm like barely 20, bro. Dude, really? Toy is that... Jesus. Who knows? Holy Maybe his like, attention span is like lessening as the time passes. And just, I don't really hate Toy either. Um, I just think there's a lot of contradictions. Yeah, t- that's what someone said in the chat at TJV. Toy was very shady about stuff and very contradictory on in some topics. Yeah. It's because I feel like Toy holds information back until it's convenient. I, I can't believe Toy's in his 50s. Do you know that for sure, or is he, like, close to 50, or...? I mean, he looks like it, to be honest. He seems to be well... He, he seems to be living, like, a relatively chill life. God, I'm only 23, bro. Holy fuck. Yeah, if I ever get into, like, legal trouble, I'll probably get Toy. Seems like a very feasible lawyer. Yeah, I'd fucking hire him, too, bro. <laughs> Dude, if the... People were saying, well, Delirious and Liz sue you. Dude, if they do, I'm going to ask Toy if he wants to represent me. Bro, defend me against Delirious and Liz. God, if you think it's really your son for sure, bro, you have to vet everything, bro. You just can't. You'd be surprised how snaky people can be. There's a lot of shit you can, like, work with to make something Sen- like believable. Sen says Toy is in his 40s and 50s. Jesus Christ. I didn't even... I should have asked him some of those personal questions. Be like, dude, how old are you real quick? Just so you know who you're arguing with. Oh, god damn, bro. He's in his 40s and 50s? I, shit. I feel kind of bad. Did I go after, like, a senior citizen a little too rough? Like, like... like did I go too far? Oh, he's 46 this year? Oh, damn. I thought he was in his 50s, bro. Yo, my bad. <laughs> Toys forty six yeah oh wow yeah is that is that okay for me to, like I kind of it was kind of a dick to him during some of their arguments I don't know if that's that looks good if I he's not a senior citizen but he's just he he's my fucking <laughs> he 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 he's close to my mom's age bro like I felt like if I got in an argument with someone near my mom's age I'd be like holy fuck this is weird this is bad <laughs> like you what the fuck did I do you could have lost and you would have made you his daddy, bro. That's crazy. Dude, yeah, dude. I could have fucking had a fucking stepdad, there, bro, from all this. This is oh, fucked yeah. up. One thing that I've been noticing more often, too, is, like, every time Ohm types, there's not that many haters. Like, actually, people are starting to support him. Like, that's actually, that's rare. I've never seen that in my life. Sen, I'm surprised he acted like he had respect for you. Oh, well, I... Dude, Sen, get the fuck in here, dude. Get in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, what the fuck are you doing, like... Sen? You still type into the chat? <laughs> Yeah, get Dumb in here, bitch. bro. You're typing a lot. Get in here. You have the energy to type but not talk, bro. Get in here. I right like how, how I was going to go to bed. Not chill the bedroom. You just woke me up again. Holy fuck. You're I'm welcome. wide awake. I got you. You know, I, I don't sleep. I have like 20 hours of pure fucking uptime, so. Dude, I feel so fucking bad. He's 46. I didn't need to be that much of a dick. If I knew he was 46, I, I oh, would. Anything, he, should be, he should be wiser than you. That means that he has like more, more responsibility as an adult. So, I know, but I didn't. Anything, I wasn't. Should have I wasn't prepared. I I thought he was in his thirties. I thought like, okay, he's only like ten years older than me. I don't have to prep that hard. Like he's forty six, bro. Like, he was in. He was my age because I'm twenty three. I'm half his age. He was my age when I was born, bro. Oh, send one send. How do okay. I? Uh... I'll add him. I bet. Dude, <sighs> holy shit, bro. <laughs> When when Scott and Wait, sorry you got cut when, off there. When Scott and uh, when Scott and John were arguing, like he just kept fucking cutting him off. I was like, bro, let the man talk. Like he wouldn't stop. Like he started rambling, 
Like, he said the same question three times. Like, uh, I forgot what the specific question was, but he, he just, like, asked the same question three times as he was trying to answer it. Like, bro. He wouldn't answer any of my yes or no questions either. I, I, I would ask too. him simply, like, dude, I just need a yes or a no on this. And he was just, well, well, well and I was like, dude, come on. Come on. Dude, I, I almost, like, dropped the beef with Toy. I was like, fuck it, I'll just go have beef with Sen. At least he'll give straight answers, bro. <laughs> oh my god okay. Sandy, who do you think won that who do you think won that argument um so at the at beginning uh, tj was doing pretty good i mean it was actually more neck and neck than i thought it was gonna be i thought you were gonna get destroyed <laughs> tj i thought you were gonna get killed to be honest I, you you surprised the shit out of me um but then like you did fumble like halfway through it when john was like you know well well like, like he was trying to basically get back at you for you know like the whole delirious thing or whatever and uh and you weren't really confident with your shit like you were like you sounded like you were flounder floundering right it sounded like you were not certain and that's like that's the entire point that's why he did what he did it's just to show that you're unconfident and then you know put the idea in the back of the audience's mind because john knows what he's doing when he's working the audience you just have to go back to that previous stream like, the fact alone that he ended the stream saying, oh, well, I'm just going to leave you with this. And then he plays the clip of Scott's ex being, you know, quote unquote, mentally unstable or whatever. It's like, that's ah, going to speak for itself. I'm like, what are you trying to tell us? Right? Like, what are you trying to go for here? It's bullshit. Like, John is a bullshitter. He's always been a bullshitter. So, who but now he's like, argument? it was like a stalemate, but like, what? between you and him, between you and him, I'd call it a stalemate. Between him and Scott, I mean, he fucking kneeled to Scott for no reason, right? Because, like, <laughs> let's be honest. If John was super confident, like, in everything, right? Unless he's doing some stupid op right now or he's trying to, like, do shit to get, like, information for people so they can sue Scott later or do some of the shady shit or whatever. I don't know what his intentions are, right? I'm pretty sure our bridge is burned at this point, so I have little to no interaction with the dude. Um... But yeah, it's pretty fucking easy to tell. Like, why? What? Like, you're asking specific questions. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Maybe that's why people are always like so reluctant. And they're like, oh, maybe you shouldn't talk to John Scott. I think Scott should have 100 talked to John prior to this whole thing, prior to the narratives being yeah. built, prior to the stream. I think that it's very interesting that John is gonna claim that he's so level-headed and clear, you know, clear-headed, and he's not. You know, I don't get mad, dog. Basically, right? But then, like, he gets mad at fucking what's his face scott for like the most trivial shit like scott you know he's an emotional canon you can actually fucking tell you know he gets in his little feels and shit but like you know john is supposed to be this guy who's cool-headed and he's telling you this and that and then he's contradicting yeah. himself and he was fucking like swearing he... and getting mad too he got yeah. mad at me for no fucking yeah. reason why yeah, do you get he mad at me <laughs> you got uh, banned, bro. You, you fucking got demoted. You got shit. The toy's your dad now. Uh, I mean, is, I'm in such a good spot because I don't have to worry about anything. I just don't have like any value to this. So like, I can say like, a bunch of the stupid shit, and I don't get banned in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, oh John. Dude, thinks, like he can, like he John will push these narratives all the time. Like this is the the reality about toy bounty hunters, right? He'll try to come off like he's like the reasonable one and the you know the one that you can talk to without biases. And look, he's pretty good at diplomacy most of the time. Like even at the end, right? He bowed down to Scott. Technically, let's call it what it is. He did, right? He had no, to. He, he didn't he, bow down. He 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 turned around, bent over, pulled down his pants, and told him to stick it in him, bro. I have never mm -hmm. fucking seen that from. I spent fucking three to four hours arguing with the fucking guy, and then all it takes is for Scott to come in here and scream and yell at him, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Yep, I'll delete my videos. I will. Well, I'll pay well, you I mean, for your GoFundMe. Well, I'll give you money." Well, blah, blah blah. That's what why the I fuck. Think. That's why. I, that's why I think there's like maybe. I mean. The fact that he did that, there might be like more going on. Um, yeah, just based well, I mean, off of that, I mean, it's not hard to tell. Like you know, it's like I don't like I don't even know. Again, just to bring it back for a second, like him pretending like he doesn't get mad or whatever, like he's above this. But uh, it's like, well, in, in how are you above this? You're gonna get mad at me for the most trivial thing. I mean, what did I what did I actually do other than just say? And you, TJ, you you didn't have to say that I. I told you to ask him that, but whatever. Like, uh, what did I do other than say, yo, can you just confirm that what you're saying is the truth? Because, like, 
already you had to understand that he was like being a bullshitter if like he has what right. five messages right he has two messages um, oh with delirious one with, aura, one with aura which of course you're gonna talk to aura on a regular of course all right of course all right yeah and then he has me recently because i was talking to him about this whole thing or whatever right this is when he was being very diplomatic and stuff Jesus. very res very nice very respectful that didn't show today <sighs> Uh, and then what, oh, can what I cut it real quick? Can I cut it? Hold on. Uh, in one of the screenshots when he showed it with Delirious, uh, it sh the top messages changed from being someone else to Louis. So uh, just let it up there. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. You can look back at that. Oh. Real quick. oh wait, really? Yeah. I'm, How do you I'm know? How do you know? Because when know? Toy shared his screen, uh, the the top DMs changed from uh, someone else I don't know who it was to Louis. He was at the top. Of course, Louis oh. would be there too. You know, Louis. So Louis was watching. A, everything is a chess game, right, Louis? Everything is life pawns, is a chess every, game. Yeah, I, I remember. I remember that, Louis. I remember, life is a chess game, right? You got to move the pawns. You got to get rid of the pawns when you need it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Jesus, this guy goes on for so fucking long with his stories too. I mean, <laughs> sometimes you just want to say, "Get to the fucking point, dude." Um, but yeah, I mean, before you rudely cut me off, Jill. All right. Um, I, I I just forgot where I was going with this. You don't uh, have to get me back on track. I have the attention span of a goldfish. Hold up. Or oh, what about you, Mister Valentine? Can you get me back on track? Uh, what were you talking about? Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Uh, oh, the DMs. Right. I didn't know that part, chill. But thanks for for letting everybody know. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, somebody can show that at some point. That'd be interesting. But yeah. uh, it makes it you is... screenshot. You don't want Toy taking out that stream and us never seeing that shit again. It is interesting that we have two group chats in there, right? So like, one of them had like six people, the other one had three. Um, like uh, then we had yeah again like Aura. Of course, he would talk to Aura in a regular. He has me because we just recently talked. Uh, and then Delirious is right at the bottom, right? He's like number five or so. Yeah. Um. Well, I gotta, I gotta like understand, like I understand that he barely uses Discord, but I think he was like heavily downplaying that, uh, for the sake people, of just people like, were I, saying I with how long it took and with possibly delirious watching the stream, that there was messages deleted between them. Yeah, because that's the thing. That's ops, right? Like yeah. delirious has a history of doing this shit. So why wouldn't bounty hunter and him communicate in this sense? It's like, it's very like just how John was speculating like a motherfucker for like two days on two streams and shit and making all these, you know, assertions and whatever. Well, you're allowed to do the same thing to him, right? He's taking, like, forever. And then what's the excuses? Oh, he's a boomer. He doesn't use Discord. Well, he, he uses Discord pretty well when he talks to the people he wants to talk to. So I don't know. I just don't buy it. You have to give him a level of charitability that I feel like he's violated Fucking at this point. Toy, Toy seemed to use Discord just fine when he's messaging me. Like, it's not a problem. Him, He never asked me. He's like, hey, how do I do this way real quick? Like, yeah, he's been even down, had he downplayed the shit out of that. Like, what well, the we better hope that Toy doesn't opt because I did ask him earlier. And Toy, t or TJ told him this question, like, what do you think about gay opting? Like, with Delirious, Louie, and Ohm. He said it never ends well, and it's very bad. So uh, let's just hope yeah. it doesn't gay up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, but like, I mean, I, I don't know why. I mean, I have a feeling he's gonna try to like pull the victim card and try to. Toy make acted like he like... didn't know how to delete a message, bro. I told him, okay, if you had a folder on your fucking desktop and you wanted to delete it, how would you fucking delete it? You would grab your mouse, you'd right click. Okay, you know how to delete message, and then he goes, but how how would I delete Delirious's message? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, like, well, Bro. I mean that one that one was kind of a L on your part though, because like no, yeah, no, can't, because he right can't afterwards, no, because right afterwards, I sat here and goes, well, you did take a while, and Delirious is more than likely watching my stream because he does that before. It's not it's not yeah. unreasonable that Delirious quickly and deleted shit, and he gave so much yeah. time that the stream probably caught up with Delirious. Yeah, yeah. And Delirious was like, okay, shit, shit, fuck. And then rush yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. Discord. No, as quick no, as fuck. no, no. Yeah, I, I get what you were saying. I'm just yeah, saying so. you could have executed the wording better so that he didn't have like uh like an ability to to put like the doubt in the audience's mind. Because again, this this whole thing just comes down to can you work the audience? How much can you influence them and what direction do you want to nudge them? And John has that experience over you a little bit. Um, you know, because of the fact that he's also older, he's been like more into this shit. Uh, that's why I thought you were going to get fucked up. Like, I legitimately thought, yeah, you're probably going to get fucked up. I know Chilled would probably get fucked up. Uh -huh. um, that, you know, like that, because you guys, you know, 
it's still fresh. I don't you know, feel green. like I was. Uh, I, I, I don't feel like I was not, fucked no. up or whatever. You did, I, I, you did better. You did no, better than I expected. Okay, but like this is the thing though. I was going in there expecting. Okay, I got some questions. He's gonna answer them. It's gonna be fine. Every fucking time he had an explanation, we went on to a new topic, and I was like, okay, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. And he goes, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't interrupt me, <laughs> TJV. Don't, don't interrupt. And I was like, dude, I, I've let you talk for like three fucking minutes dude people are like literally i can see my viewer number dropping when you start going on your tangents bro i got to get to the next topic like holy fuck He's getting like like the only thing is like another thing for this whole that i can see him getting mad too about this whole thing which i don't get why because all i'm all i'm doing is being the most transparent i'm being more transparent than any of them right that's the that's the reality i'm being more transparent than any of them are willing to be because they are not willing to be transparent with you for fuck's sakes. He literally lied to everybody. And I know motherfuckers want to downplay this. They started going off and be like, how could you, uh, you know, toy? How could you lie? The fact is he fucking lied because he thought he could get away with it, bro. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that TJ needed me to fucking press him and be like, yo, just tell him to show you. He can even show you in private, right? You didn't have to like yeah. put it on. That's screenshot. Just that's, done. Screenshot that's shady. Yeah. That's shady. And that's how yeah. John will take advantage of the audience's goodwill. You guys are slow if you can't fucking that, pick up on that, that. That flipped quick as fuck though on him. Holy fuck. When he goes, oh, well, that's that's my bad. That's my bad. And I was like, oh, wait. So he ate you, humble were, pie two were, times were, today. Were you, so I asked, so were you lying when you said you couldn't get it to work? And he goes, yeah, I, I was. I, I was kind of like, oh shit. Yeah, what that's the same. He's. That's I was like, called, hey, listen, listen, dude. That's so what else have you been lying about? And I asked him. I was taking, like, dude, what else have you been lying about? And he goes, dude, dude, nothing else, just that. I swear. I taking like, mm -hmm. advantage of the audience's goodwill, because again, that's and that's another thing that I think pissed them off. It's like I legitimately made him look like a fucking liar. A, like, and he doesn't want that. That's the thing. Like, I even think back. Let me give you some more insight, T. Why not? because it's funny um, and he wants to be a bitch all right fine when crow made a video uh exposing a certain server that is totally not a gay op server and crow just posted it on a, a video right um john freaked the fuck out because he didn't want his his shit tied to anything of that he flipped the fuck out right he was panicking so like john doesn't want to be involved in it, like his image to be shady in any way shape or form Wait, he wants to protect what? the shit out of that yeah crow showed this You're video right again john he, he showed this well what do you what do you lie about this time no just being like a gay op oh the the gay, yeah okay the person that owns the server their words is that it's an, a gay op server right that's his words that's what he has said if you want to argue semantics on it whatever dude i'm using your exact words for what you called that all right whatever you want to call it it is what it is but it, it you know by the person the owner's own words it is a gay op server so john is in there there were crow showed certain messages that he wasn't supposed to he just like he was brain dead at the time i guess or maybe high so in that message there is john john's name john is prime in that discord He's typing shit. He's right there. And he freaks the fuck out. Ever, to be fair, you know, some other people freaked out and they were kind of angry because they're like, Crow, why the fuck are you leaking the server? Right? But John, he's like trying to get in contact with Crow. He doesn't. The point is, John wants a squeaky clean image. That's what he wants. And you just saw him take advantage of that squeaky clean image today, live. And what was the fallout? He got mad at me. He demodded me. He got people to fucking time me out in his chat. You know, nothing but like, I was just asking straight up questions using their own fucking words against them. And this is what happened to me. And yeah, I'm, seems I, legit. I, 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 meanwhile, I'm... meanwhile, they're all bitching about TJ's chat. Who's not doing that? Pretty funny, right? The only rule, the only thing you can say about TJ's chat is that they, they're not allowed to be mean. Or something, right? I was but mean. in John. I, <sighs> well, I mean, what, what about like, oh, John's chat? On. Well, John's chat will act like they're superior, right? Like I'm. T well, I I'll 
say like about two people in particular, right? And they're like, oh god, this is it was so dude. It was so... Why why did John get so defensive when I started bringing up his chat and his mod b bow set or whatever? Why did he get so defensive? I don't know. I I don't know. Apparently, you're not allowed to criticize mods if they're spreading misinfo, and I don't know if that's gonna get me hate, but that's ex essentially what it is, right? They're spreading misinformation. Bias, by the way. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. Look, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. They spread misinformation, and when they get caught, they have to be like, whoops, my bad, but it's not that big of a deal. It's You don't have to cherry pick. When TJB makes one oopsie, oh, you lie, TJB. You're a liar. You're deceptive. It's like, Dude. I know these fucking games, bro. I know these politics. You fucking idiots think I'm the same <sighs> guy from two years ago? No, bro. No, it's different now. It's fucking different. Oh yeah, just some insight for the people that don't know what a gay op is. I'll just pull up like the dictionary for it. Basically, it's when a group of people connect to social media to harass, dox, deplatform, etc. someone on a person or group. And I've been told that there's been many gay ops about me. Uh, well, actually, I've talked about publicly about gay ops being about me. My old staff team went to Velocity to fucking kind of pull a gay op on me sort of thing, and they all fucking spread a bunch of lies about me. And then I went to Veloc or I went to Louie and said, hey, I want the video taken down. If not, I'm just going to have all my old staff that went to Velocity to lie about me. They're now coming to me wanting to say, oh, yeah, none of that was true, blah, blah, blah whatever. And so I, Louie talked to Velocity in the video disappeared all three videos that velocity have made about me first one criticizing me as a commentary channel second one criticized my relationship with Allie 2364 and the third one is about me uh, it's about a bunch of different shit but like it's a fucking hour long thing just criticizing me all those fucking videos disappeared like a motherfucker the moment i went to louie and told him like dude yeah all these staff members are here they're saying that you know there was some shady shit happening in the making of the video and all that and i plan on making a full story about it because it does involve me and i want to clear up like what people are saying about me you know all these lies being spread dude people were saying that i'm like fucking abusive that like i beat my mom from from what? that fucking video yeah Dude, I don't know if you ever watched that hour-long shit, but, dude, it was a lot of crazy motherfucking shit in there. They said that I beat my mom, I beat my sisters, I'm abusive, I'm fucking a bunch of shit. They got into, like, I got into an argument with my dad over rent or something sometime. I was like, what, what the fuck are you guys on about? It was just a bunch of crazy fucking shit, and it makes no sense. And then fucking bow set or whatever, you know, and the, the comments I brought up or whatever, I was going to tell... Uh, toy too and I don't know if I brought this up or not but if any of my staff members were out there spreading you know misinformation I'd have a chat with like, them real quick the, the, the way I see it is you if he wants to dumb it down to you molding over a, a mod I mean he was fucking Scott in his chat so much so that the next fucking time he ever mentioned Scott all he did was put him and fucking you know whatever X you know you're talking about like in a negative light and that's all he was doing he was crafting a narrative like how yeah. it's so fucking obvious. Like there what the fuck? Way, Why are we... There was way this is too so much dumb. focus. He was fucking. Let's stop dick. being fake, guys. Let's stop was... being fucking fake. He uh -oh. was dicking way too hard on Scott. Yeah. That's why, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, more little inside info. Like, I, the reason I'm surprised he's acting like he holds your word or anything about you. Like when he said, he said, I won't talk to Sen and, and chill. I have nothing to say. And it's like. You hold us all in the same regard, you fucking idiot. What the fuck are you talking about? You think, dude, you want to act like those voice chats with all that trash talk about TJ never fucking happened where you're there and you're fucking laughing and I know your technicality is already, did I participate in that? Well, you sure as fuck were laughing about it along with everybody else, weren't you? Guys, so don't give me your fucking stupid <laughs> technicalities, John. Guys, I'm sick of you, them. If you don't know what Sen's saying, which by the way, Sen knows Toy, by the way, and so does Shield Venom know Toy. They've had many well, conversations together. But uh, what Sen's referring to is that there were many conversations, a lot of VCs where Toy was involved and they were talking real bad about me. Real fucking bad. And those bad. are the ones I was allowed to be in. There were, I'm sure there are other ones in the middle of the night where you got two old men reminiscing about them good old days or whatever the fuck they want to reminisce about i'm sure there was a plenty of shit talk to go around there too you'll see you know? saying life is a game of chess life is a game of chess i understood that somebody got really fucking scared when i said louis caliber said life is like a game of chess they're like that's very scary i'm like you know honestly not really i, I get what he means but that's just kind of like a, a really fucking fucked up mindset you know what i mean 
Mm-hmm. Just just he a also, little bit. Just a little he, bit. He also said that he didn't play games or whatever with fucking Louie, and then he was like, wait, wait, wait. Well, I mean, he walked yeah, it we back. Did. He walked it back. Yeah, he walked yeah. it back, but, you know, there, there was a little bit of that. Okay. Mm. I was waiting for the hard questions to come back, too, because uh, let me read off the DMs me and him had. Well, right I mean, I mean started. that's another like another point. Like, if, if you guys want to really be assholes about it, I mean, I'll make the points, too. I mean, uh, well, John obviously is showing that he doesn't have the memory he used to. Why the fuck should we take anything he says seriously with that bad fucking memory of his? You know what I mean? Right. It's like all the fucking slimy shit you want to do to TJ or anybody else can be done to you tenfold, especially for me, because I know you guys inside and out. It's fucking it's ridiculous. This so, entire thing is fucking ridiculous. bro. This is what Toy said my DMs before we started streaming. Uh, he says, um, do you want to get in a call beforehand? I said, I think I can just call you during the stream. I wanted to give an introduction to those who might not know what's going on. Toy said, okay, can we agree on some ground rules so we can stay on topic? I said, what do you mean? He goes, just to make sure we have a focused discussion, I mean that we should focus on the topic in hand. I'm here just to talk to you and won't be answering any stuff about anything or anyone unrelated. I said, That's nah. Funny. I said, nah, it'll just be about the audio clips in your stream. That's it. He said, cool, let's do it. Um, and then <laughs> prior, <laughs> prior to that, I said, yeah, I had questions. Uh, we can probably start with the questions I have, then maybe go over to about the audio clips he says cool i have some questions for you um i'm there to answer your questions so he had questions for me but it didn't really seem his questions were like it's, really it's that very loaded. funny that he laid out those rules right and i i have a feeling that he already knew that i was probably talking to you and stuff i mean i probably gave out you know a red flag when i said hey good luck with your tj thing tomorrow you know that's not exactly subtle or anything yeah. Uh, but like the, the funny thing about laying down that ground rule and it's one of the points right uh, and I know it gets to them it should because it ruins their squeaky clean image that they're trying to build up you're friends with a guy that's more unhinged than fucking Scott's ex you fucking idiot you and the other two are literally giving this guy so many outs time and time again but but Scott's ex, that's what you can't that's what you can't give like the charitability to, right? Like, you know, another thing is like Scott's so shady. I mean, yeah, he's probably some jackass and shit. I don't give a fuck about Scott. But I'm talking about you guys for a second and how your supposed principles are like well, you know, uh, we got to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, you know? Wait, hold on. No, we got to give Steve the lead the benefit of the doubt. You know, he supports a domestic abuser. He'll buy a firearm for no fucking reason when he's drunk. He'll go outside with a Bacardi bottle, uh, you know, just fucking the most unhinged psycho motherfucker. But Scott's girlfriend, that's where we draw the line. That's who we have to villainize. But you're not going to villainize your own friend because he's your friend. Uh-uh. Not anymore, bro. Not anymore. Fuck off with that shit. And I know Dude. it gets to them. I, I could I, already I know tell it gets too. To, it's funny. It's in funny. The be- in the beginning of our, of like the stream when we first started talking, it, it was already getting a little heated sometimes. And there was a time that I said, "Okay, I got to take a mental note of this." But he was like trying to talk over me when I was really responding or asking him a question or something. And I told you it wouldn't I, be a normal conversation, dude. Yeah. And I sat here and I said, Hey, 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 I'm answering a question. Don't interrupt me or whatever. <laughs> and then, um, I was, I, I said it a lot more rude than that, but I'm just paraphrasing like what I said. I pretty much told him to fuck off. Stop fucking interrupting me or whatever. But, uh, yeah, he, he, I, he went back about like maybe like 10, 15 minutes later and said the exact same thing back to me when I was, oh, when, yeah. he, when he, he, cause he went silent and I'm like, okay, I can respond. So when I try to respond, he goes, Oh no, 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 TJV. I'm speaking. You don't interrupt me when I'm speaking, you know? And I was like, Oh, like, that's the exact same thing that TJ said before. Dude. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I saw that, like, he kind of, like, flipped back and used that same thing against me. But he, he would take these weird pauses, and I would try to speak, and then it would be like, oh, okay, you're not done. Oh, okay. no, that's his way of talking. He usually says, like, uh, a lot. Like, what he do you has think very the, long pauses What do you think the runtime is that uh, Toy had to talk compared to me? Do you think he had a lot more time to talk than I did? He did have I'm long talks. Attention. But at the same time, like, you were also saying a lot of questions and answering a lot of shit. 
Uh, I think okay. the one that stole the cake for longest runtime is Scott because that guy does not know when to. Yeah, pop Scott doesn't. At all. Scott doesn't shut the fuck up. Like that's. I mean, okay, if you want to com- compare, if you, you, compare, <laughs> if, you <laughs> if you want to compare Scott to Omen in any way, you can compare them in that they never shut the fuck up. Like uh, fucking Ohm from what I saw in like text format, go on and on and on in like comment section. Scott, you know, he won't do that in comment section. He'll just run his mouth on like stream i guess dude it's like just forever. like it's just, it's just like when keem joined my live stream he wouldn't I, let I me was, talk and he I won was, he won the argument i was you know no he didn't win no. I, I was thinking in my head i was like dude this is a therapy session like get it over with let's fucking like you know move along all right like i was so yawning like, like angry novel send you know get your ass in here get your ass in here right now no no i don't want to talk to him i don't want to no, why talk not to him. I don't want to fucking talk to Ohm. I want to stay far away from that shit. I don't want fucking yeah. involved anything, Ohm. Really. I'm homophobic, motherfuckers. All right. Get a peanut nut. He said in that. the description. Uh, Holy crow. Oh, 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 go fuck yourself. Um, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, my main, my main thing is, uh, you know, if you're gonna cover this, right, uh, criticism, right, all around and stuff, well. You would want to have like a, a good head on your shoulders. You would want to condemn, you know, because you're pretending to be like this fair, unbiased person that can make these are qualified to, to talk about this in any way, shape, or form and push your stories and narratives out, right? Now, let's be honest here. John doesn't have any legal experience. Nobody in that section has any legal experience. They've never had any legal experience right oh. so what the fuck wait a minute what the fuck are you guys all really doing here you're a bunch of 30 year olds that are doing this shit you don't have a degree in any of this shit let's be fucking honest all right we're zoomers at the very fucking least we're retarded we're zoomers and we're doing this shit uh me barely now chill moved on fucking tj quack, quack. just coming on for for a one and done Meanwhile, you motherfuckers are 30 plus years old. You're doing this shit for quote unquote truth and justice, I guess, right? That's what it is. Okay, where is the truth and justice when it comes to your own having like these bad things around them? I think that Scott and his ex, at the very fucking least, have never supported domestic fucking abusers unironically, right? So I think you can give them a little fucking leeway, right? Yeah, if you're gonna slam really if you're that. gonna slam the book, slam the fucking, you know, everything, just like that on Scott and his ex, and you're gonna be so hard on them, but you're gonna ignore the shit on your fucking shoe, right? Austin, I saw your dono. Thanks for the dono. I appreciate it. It's kinda weird. It doesn't make any sense. It's not Why very you... consistent. Why is my little brother fucking paying me super chats? Bro, you can oh. just give it to you in person. You just give it to like me. Out of that. What the Dude. fuck? I, I should be getting the. I I should be getting all the money. Okay. <laughs> I should be getting all the money. <laughs> should be getting all the money. Okay. I That's mean, I'll give I Scott leeway on like the legality of it because he actually has legal pressure on him. But uh, Toy, I feel like he's never actually experienced any legality. I just of thing. I just want to hear what fucking like when Toy was in these calls and all this shit talking was happening. I just want to know what Toy was thinking. Did he bite on any of that shit? Did he actually? Like, yeah, this TJV's a cuck, you know? Honestly, I know, like, from a fact, from the calls that I was in, at least, everybody that you talk to right now thought you were a fucking cuck and a bitch <laughs> and a loser and a wimp. And anytime, like, I remember, like, a couple of them were, like, anytime I talked to you in any positive way, it was always like, oh, it's time to shame him for talking to TJV in a positive light. It's like, all right. Uh, I won't say one specific person that would always do that, but it was so fucking annoying, bro. <laughs> so annoying. I was... Like, really? Over this shit? Okay. Like, it, it's weird. It was really weird. That's all. I was, it was really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I I know a lot of your guys' channels were smaller than me at the time, but it kind of felt like that just since I have Dude, like, a I'm going to be subscribe. honest with you. The first I felt like... time you came on, I'm going to give you some more inside tea. Inside tea all around. Um, Go for it. The first time you came onto the show, right? Against. Uh, you were doing a three on one. Let's be fucking real here. You were yeah. doing a three on one, and God knows I love Crow. I still do until he fucking probably will hate me because John will probably be a woman and spread all this shit. Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. For this moment, I love Crow. But he was getting fucking killed by you, bro. You were whipping his ass. Uh, Fatlo was getting whipped by you as well. Like, is that the, the person only I call a bitch? One. Yeah, that's the person you call oh. a bitch. Okay. Yeah. And this is I hate doxes except when it's against people that I don't like. Um, so uh, you know that fucking bitch, right? And then 
let's be honest, the only one that was the saving fucking grace, as per fucking usual, is Origami. The only one. The only good one. Right there. He's cleaning up the messes. He's, I mean, Crow is so self-destructive in that sense during that debate that he, he was muting. so mad at me, He bro. muted the guy. He muted Aura for a second. The guy that was, like, straight up cleaning <laughs> everything up. And he was the only one that was making any good points against you, TJ. Everybody else was an L. You were winning a three-on-one with the Crows of Judgment. That's fucking sad. That is fucking sad. Uh, it should have just been Aura of Judgment, to be honest. Because that's Rainy the only movie, good one. Thanks for the $2 super chat. Austin, no $2 super chat. Who asked for the money? What? What's their stream? Type in Mr. Yeah, Sen on now. YouTube. Type in Mr. Sen on YouTube. I'll, I'll, I'll He's post not it. streaming I'll post now. It. I'll, post uh, here, I'll, I'll post give you the link. I got you. Yeah, got me. He got me. He'll post. He'll show. Uh, but yeah, you were winning a three-on-one against the Crows of Judgment, right? It's sad. Because it's like you would expect more. But the only good one, legitimately, the only one that will give you a very hard time um, in a debate legitimately is Origami. Uh, oh, the well, guy that... The guy, I've got a couple criticisms myself, but whatever. Like today, he took a couple shots. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Towards me? But like... No, towards me. Towards me. I, uh, I found that to be kind of interesting. He took a couple of shots. That's how I know that the leaf shit, it's still it's still fresh on their mind, right? It's it's right. funny. It's really it's really funny. But there's just or it doesn't get it. There's so many weird little inconsistencies and jumbles that I don't know. But he he does a good job explaining. It. I'll say he's probably the most level headed. Um and that's you know, that's the nicest thing I can say. Everybody else not really, as you saw John today, I got on the call with thing. Scott, walked everything back, or majority of shit back. Yeah, go ahead. I have one thing to say to our, uh, um, your shit at MK, and I will beat you when that game comes uh. out. Dude, remember the six Fuck's on MK. one that I had? It was Louis, San, Chill. Yeah, everyone was in call. Oh, yeah, you, you to took me. an L there. You got fucking raped. No you shit, dude. Jesus. It was 6v1. <laughs> There were six Look, motherfuckers sitting here being like, I don't remember, I don't remember like, inviting mm. you to the call specifically to get shit on. You did. You it was did. either it was either me or chilled. I remember it was either me or chilled. It was 100% chilled because of that turtle fucking profile picture, bro. I, that was the death PTSD, of me that bro? day. No, it's just every fucking time I see what what a, what's that fucking hedgehog fucking um, whatever that fucking that's from. It's like a cartoon or something like that or a game. But whenever I fucking see that shit, there's memes about it. I'm I just think back and I'm like, dude, that was. I'm gonna lie to you. We day. sent you to a death sentence that day. Yeah, you guys did. Yeah, you guys were fucking I dicks. I didn't know that, that Louis was in that call. I personally did not know Louis was in that call. What the fuck did you not know? Do I look like How? I'm behind the scenes planning with like six other people? Like, there's a there's, like there's literally there's literally a random there's a random called King that joins. That that random has. Too. That random has joined John Streams all the fucking time as King, and you're gonna say you didn't know that was Louis Caliber. If it was like in person, I'd I'd be able to tell because Louis Harry's like, motherfucker. Fuck, he's, he's weird as shit. Hey, like, I, all, I love how like back then, uh, back then everybody hated TJ so much that we didn't even care if he got sued to the ground and homeless. Like that's so yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Looking back, <laughs> like that. we're like like that's what I'm saying though. We're all fucked up people though, so it's like kind of like annoying to, to Dude, see people like get on their high horse about shit I, like this. I re I remember one time it was when um I think it was. I don't know when it was, but it's like someone brought up like, hey, Omrecker is like threatening to sue TJ or whatever. And I remember like going to other channels because like Flex Tango was talking about it and other people. But holy shit, dude. Somebody told me, hey, I was just in Crow's stream or whatever because Crow was streaming at the time. And someone like donated and asked, asked a question like, what do you think of Ohm suing TJV? And I, I shit you not. This is just what the person told me. I never ended up finding it because I went back through the stream. And I never found it. But they said that Crow said, huh? Not my problem. <laughs> Just moved on with the rest of his. Well, I believe it. Like again, not yeah. to not to shit on not to shit on Crow. Like I'm not trying to shit on him. Oh but, yeah. Like, let's let's be real. Let's just use facts for a second. Crow's called people pedos like randomly for much less and shit. And then he's either walked it back or he's just not like he doesn't. He wasn't ever the brains. If you understand what I'm saying, he was always the presenter. He was very uh over the top, uh very. I mean, they called him the Tommy C of the Crows of Judgment for a reason. Very, very out so, there. I want you to look at exhibit. Uh, actually, TJ, don't show my username because I want to keep that secret. Okay. Uh, look at exhibit A on the top and then exhibit B. Look at the difference in between DMs and you'll see that. Exhibit uh, A. Okay. 
I'm oh, just he did gonna... show. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. There's I'm, Louis. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to screen grab this real quick. Hey, hey what, what, what you talking? What you talking about, Louis? What you talking about? You always got such interesting stories. I wonder what you're talking about here. And you do spend a lot of time with John. One would say you spend with like the most time with John. Louis. It's interesting. Louis. 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 <laughs> no, Louis. let me copy John for. <laughs> Louis. <laughs> that was Louis. Louis. Spending it for like, dude, you have no idea how many fucking streams. That was the fucking running gag. That's all that ever fucking happened. It's just like Louis saying these long winded fucking stories and shit and throwing these like fucking jokes that don't really land, okay? But like nostalgia, he's still cool. Oh, he's a charming TJ, guy. Do the funny. TJ, look at your chat and do the funny. Do it. I wanted to be a part of the stream. Oh, is that why he was messaging John and not me, the person who was fucking <laughs> streaming over here? Sure, sure, oh, Louis, right, sure. We're going to the call. Let's do it. Look at that, though. Yeah, Louis, Louis did message Toy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what you talking about, bro? Louis did. It's That's right cool. there. It's it's there. It's it's for anyone to see. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's see the DM now. We ain't gonna nah. see the DM. He's he's probably gonna post. We ain't gonna see the DM. That's their private info. We shouldn't get into that. Oh, for sure. Are you sure? Do you want to add him to the call? Oh, Louis. Does he want? That would be him? an interesting combo. Yes. I'm just gonna add him. Fuck this shit. What? Now I can. Now I can really be part of the stream. Yo. Hello. Yo, it's good. Oh. oh wait! Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Now you can hear that lovely fucking Latin voice. No, no, no! Shut the fuck up! You were saying I was hairy and stuff. Well, don't act like you were sucking my dick. I said you were hairy. I said you were hairy. I know, He's I know, very I know. enamored. Listen, this guy, this guy is a legend. All right, I got enamored, and I'm sure Chill did too. The way we get enamored yep. when we see like a one mil channel like Keemstar and stuff. Yeah, for sure. We're Zoomers, bitch. We're like 20 years old. What the fuck do you expect? You we were like childhood. I'll do it. Wait, who's talking? Who's talking you're, about? You're... Right now. I'm confused. I'm talking to Chill. Oh, hmm? you're talking to Chill. Oh, well, good luck. Maui. 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 Talk to him. Talk to him, brother. Oh, I was, but he ignored me. Oh, no, I'm talking to chill. I said chill. Something? Okay, well, what happened? What's up? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no you were saying, what? Oh, was Harry? What? Yes, you weren't are. You, weren't you on my Harry dick about play me in chess, Louis? Do you not like I'm me, Louis? You know. I'm 17, you know. Where, You're not 17. You? <laughs> no, I'm weren't not 17, you? man. I'm not 17. You're a fucking I'm retard. I'm not going to talk with you. Don't worry about it, Mr. Anonymous Jr. Don't worry about uh, it. Anonymous Junior. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Explain. Because Elaborate. you try to hide your identity and everything about yourself. Do you not? Do you not? Aren't you one of those guys that like to do that? Like to do what? Hide everything about yourself. Don't you? Uh, I mean, why not? Didn't you worry? Yeah, no. Didn't you, didn't you worry about that? Well, that's the name. Anonymous Junior. There. Anonymous and junior. because you wanted to stay anonymous. The thing is, though, you're saying some stuff about me. When it wasn't that long ago that you were on my dick. That's what I'm saying. I don't Everybody's understand. Everybody's saying shit about you, though. Have you ever talked shit behind my back, Louis? No, Louis. Okay, answer me this. Have you ever talked shit behind my back? Behind my back. Yes. Okay, good. You're upfront <laughs> about it. <laughs> see, see, look, look, look. I want to show a comparison. Bro, see, you see how? Hold on. Shush, 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 shush. You see how he answers right away? And remember how John took like 20 fucking seconds to get something uh... done? Like you couldn't even get a straight <laughs> answer at him. Louis ain't like that. Louis will give you a straight answer right away because he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> no, because there's nothing that like look honestly like um I was thanks tired for picking right up right. our call by the way oh no worries i was dude i'm tired <laughs> right now but i'm kind of like i was just watching everything go down like not everything but like ending stuff i guess i was just curious like what the heck's going on over here and then i then i heard john going to oh what is this <laughs> i thought it was funny and stuff but anyways <laughs> Is um, GTA 6 coming out anytime soon? Can't talk about that. NDAs. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, for me, it was pretty funny. Like, just, I know, I know, like, hey, listen, for real though, it's a serious topic, okay? 
a serious topic if we're being real about it. But um, just the way it's, it's going down, it's very comical. Comical? No. Nope. Comical? Yeah, it's yeah, just comical. comical. Like, comedic. Like, look, look, look. <clears throat> You guys are like, what was it? You guys not too long ago were talking about like John's age and stuff, and then like, <laughs> and then like TJ saying like, yeah, I didn't know I was interviewing someone that old and all that. And I'm just like, man, I don't know. It's just weird, like you know, a bunch of like people talking about someone's things. So I just, you know me though, you know me. I like to like watch stuff. Wait, what do you like, mean? What? Wait, what's your point? Wait, wait, hold on. wait. wait hold on. Oh, all I heard is like we made fun of John's age. I wasn't in the call before, but like. I'm just well, saying, you're rich and have like a just... horrible mic. I don't get it. Look, I don't know why that bothers you. Why is that your concern? You say stupid oh. shit all the time. Wait, 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 I just don't understand you. Wait, wait hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, how does it bother him? Though? He's just asking you a question. Yeah, no, because like it, it, I can barely understand you. I don't, I'm sure that no one else can understand you. I'm sorry. I, 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 if you can't you under, look at, if you can't understand me, say you can't understand me. Don't give me well, stupid shit just, about why no, you. Rich. Why, I mean, it was more of like a rib. So you can be passive aggressive. Like, no, I, okay. I, I, got I, you, I, got I, you. I, no, 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 I, no one I, is telling you to stay in this call. You can leave anytime. I know this. I've told you the rules before. I know. Louis, are you in a public no, I, gym? Is that why we can barely hear you? <laughs> um, no. Getting those guns big. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's I think. Cool. I was just chilling. I, I was listening to what was going on. That was funny. Early he's fucking, okay. he's, fucking he's fucking funny. one of his bitches right now. <laughs> he said look, it was look, look. funny. Yes, it was funny. Like I said, it, it's supposed to be like a serious topic, right? It's very delicate. If you're talking about like some some kid's son, right? And so I'm just thinking like, you know, I'm seeing some of the chat. I'm seeing the comments are going back and forth. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Why are people just not bonding together going, hey, why don't we just like, try to figure this out together or help this dude figure it out. You know what I mean? I'm just going like, what's mm -hmm. going on? Everyone's just like, you know, like, let's attack each other. And mm -hmm. I'm just thinking like, what the heck? Why is it not just like, who cares if you hate someone because of this? Like, um, I had to go mm -hmm. back. I had to go back and see some of the comments and see what people were fighting about. And it's just like, mm -hmm. like I saw someone send unmodding, like he was asking questions about unmodding and stuff. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, what is going on? What is everyone talking about? Why is there no suggestions about, like, I think this guy should do this for his son. And we should reach mm -hmm. out and, like, make signs and banners and stuff. So I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. So I'm like, what the fuck? Is this? <laughs> this Wait, is you really said crazy signs cause... and banners? Signs and banners? Yeah. So, you're, like, so Louis is like... Team Scott. He's not on Team Delirious. Jesus. Man, like, I, like, if you being real, I'm not real, I don't really know much of the story, okay? I don't know much of the story. I just saw you guys both on my beach streaming. <laughs> All right. All right. Louis, I, guys, Louis I, I need I need your honest uh, uh honest opinion. Um, what do you think of Liz Cats? Dude, I don't fucking talk to her. Like, I have no opinion on her. Like, what do you like? You shit, what other hold on, didn't you shit on Liz Cats one time? Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, dude, but I do that with everyone. I do that with everyone. But like, be specific. Yeah. Like, like for me, the way I feel about her is like, dude, I didn't have like any interactions with her. Like, she did some dumbass shit. It's very apparent. Like, mm -hmm. all this stuff, nothing should be talked about. Look, this isn't my situation, so I'll talk about it. This isn't my situation. Yeah. I just feel like, the way I feel about it is none of it should be, like, talked about. I mean, you know me. I'd rather fucking things go the proper way, the proper channels yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I'm just it. saying, like, and, 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 if, and if it's here, like, if it's here, then it's just like, all right, so right now, I'll talk about it. I'm just like, look, I think she did some dumbass shit. I said it, too. About that video she made, like you know, like everyone. See, the thing is, I don't like to speculate that much. I will, but I don't like to. And the thing about the whole Liz, right? See, I felt the video that she made back in the day was stupid. Yeah. Why is it stupid? Because she can only talk about what Delirious told her. She wasn't there to see a lot or any of it, right? So it's like, uh -huh. what the fuck are you saying? And now, but the thing is, another stretch is also, you have to assume, that Delirious told her to do it. Like, we don't know. We weren't there. We were like, if he was like, hey, you got to say this. You got to say that. Of course you were thinking she's doing her best she can to defend her baby daddy, you know? And all right, is it the proper way or not? 
Like, but to me, I'm thinking, this is fucking stupid. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Right. Like, one of them. Makes so, sense. So, you, I've... I've seen a bunch of comments saying that, um, you know, people are saying, like, who knows what Delirious really looks like, and a lot of people are saying that you know what he really looks like. Look, I, I know. I know a lot of people know. I've said it before. Be honest. But it's like, you know, but I said, I said it before. But me knowing what he looks like is not going to give anyone an answer to, like, what he looks like. I'm not going to tell anyone. No, I'm not mm. saying, yeah, tell anyone. I'm just saying, do you know what he looks like? I said, yeah. Okay. Oh, so, no. yeah, only, so only has one eye. But I'm not going to conform to deny anything because oh. that's his thing. He wants to not know anything. Or he doesn't want anyone to know anything about it. So I'm not going to mm. say anything about him. Mm. Okay, Scott, mm. just, Scott say, yeah, just sees him as that. a celebrity, you know, that he that Scott owns the copyright to that photo, you know. But that that's all him. You sound like, like you're loyal to Delirious. You sound like you're loyal to Delirious. I'm kind of flipping like Twitter. No, it's just... What do you mean? What the fuck? How did this all of a sudden turn but... to I'm loyal to Delirious? <laughs> wait, like, wait, what? You just asked me one, TJ, you asked show, me one question about the game? Wait, wait. You oh, asked no, me no, one question just, about the game? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well, let me explain. Oh, let me explain how. Let me go on this. Let me explain how. You asked me one question about him. Hold on, hold on. You asked me about his baby mama, right? I say yeah. shit. I don't say anything good. I don't say anything good. You ask me one question about Delirious. I say like two things. I'm loyal to him all of a sudden. That was the conclusion no, no, you no, got. No, 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 no. Well, you wouldn't respect somebody's privacy, which is what I, I think you're trying to do right now. Respect Delirious' privacy. Even though, as you stated, you did, I guess, technically criticize him just now. Right? Because you're kind of saying that like, well, this is what Liz knew. This was from Delirious. So what Liz was told was from Delirious. So... You know, she's not really lying, uh, per se. No, I didn't say she wasn't lying. Right. Let, let's, let's clarify everything. Okay. I wasn't there. I don't know what Liz was told by Delirious. I can only assume. Look, it, I know during these timelines, think of the timeline. I know she wasn't in the picture at all. So the only thing she can just do this from is either pull it out of her ass or get it from mm -hmm. Delirious. But what I'm saying is there's just no way for her to know. Even if, mm -hmm. even if he did tell her. Even if he did, it's just hearsay anyways. Yeah. Because she, she's not the one who went through it. He did. And it, again, she doesn't know. So I think it's okay. stupid. Like, so let, me let me rephrase it then. Um, would you say you're loyal to Delirious or not? Nah? What do you mean by loyal? Though? Like, like if I'm like going to go tell dad. on him if he fucking robbed you know the bank? You know what loyalty or... is? What do you mean? No, no, like, what, like, what do you mean by loyal to Delirious? Like, like, dude, like, I have no issues with the um, dude. Well, like, yeah, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is he a friend or just, like, an associate? Like, whatever, peace out, bro. No, like, well, you're trying to, like, equate it to, like, me being, like, the way Wildcat had said stuff about him on... Um, yeah, Wildcat said that... he's just associated. He's not friends with them. So, therefore, like, hey, I'm not... Yeah, there's back. differences yeah. between friends yeah, and associates. Are, are you, are I'm trying to get where you fit into this. No, I get that. Look, anything that he does wrong, right, and I don't fucking agree with it, then I'm not going to be cool with it. Right. I'm not going to sit here and be like, if he fucking stabs the baby, I mean, I'm loyal to you, dude. I'm sure that baby had it coming, you know? <laughs> like, no. Like, okay. what the fuck? Okay. It's more of like, the, the, like, like right now, look, dude, like, whatever, whatever's going on with him and any of his situations, that's all on him. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, so dude, how's everything going, dude? It's just yo, they find out tomorrow he fucking hey, you know crashed like the Holocaust hey, survivors like under his house. Alright, really? then all right, Louis, dude. Louis. You got some. Louis, you wouldn't check you wouldn't check up you wouldn't check up on Delirious and be like, yo, what's good, dude? I thought are you okay or something like that? No, like a long time ago when shit went down, I did. Like, you know, yeah. I did. Same yeah. thing, like, when shit happened with any of my friends. It's like, hey, I hope it's not true. I mm. hope you're good. If you need to fucking, like, talk about it or whatever, I got you. If yeah. you need fucking help, go for it. So do you, you do check up so, on people. That's hold, what I'm hold on, again. No, one, one second, one second. Ohm says in the chat, how does he have no issues with the dude when he has a mutual history with an ex and the revenge porn allegations? Oh, 
Boom, you're retarded. Look, you no, can, I'm kidding. You can, figure, <laughs> you can figure all that out once you're done with, like, the litigation or whatever you're going through right now. Like, I'm not going to answer anything that's going to be for him, you, against him, you. You guys got your stuff going on right now. You guys put your stories and all that stuff in writing. Deal with it then. If I need to be talked to about anything, then mm -hmm. it will be. But yeah. until then, dude, don't don't even talk. Like I don't even know why you're even yeah. asking me questions about that when you should just uh, be focusing on your situation. That is a good point. That is a good point. But yeah, that's what uh that's what I mean though. I, I guess that would qualify for I would say loyalty, you know. Checking up on people if you're you know, if you're legitimately curious how they're at or where they're at um yeah i think that would fall under loyalty but i think what you're trying to say is that it's not like a friendship thing where you'd be blinded to where you know if he did something wrong uh you wouldn't call him out for it basically right. um i gotta I'm, I'm gonna have to hop off i gotta wake up early and it's 2 a.m right now for me so oh, great tj I'm ruining a... everything as per usual uh, i know fuck <laughs> this it's sleep's more important but tj 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 all right, yeah, thanks. Whatever. Chilled Venom and Sen and Louis. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deuce Got is my you. dude. Bye. Peace. All right, I didn't even really wait for Louie to say anything because I don't really give a fuck at this point. Um, Sorry, guys, cut it off early. I know some people are staying up late, and this is your entertainment for the night, but I do need to get some sleep. I got the State Fair to go to tomorrow. I'll be mainly at the State Fair on Saturday, though. On I think Friday and Sunday we're doing something else and where that's at, so... Um, I will do an update. I will give you guys like a, a summary video, hopefully tomorrow. It all depends on how much I can do it. It, it, it ain't going to be nothing special. It ain't going to be edited and stuff. So don't expect, don't expect me to put together a masterpiece of a video for tomorrow. But I, yeah, I'll give you guys a quick update on everything that happened to stream. Everything will be in there. Um, I'm just not going to go on all the little details, and I'll do my best to make it look pretty for you guys and put a nice coat of shit on there as well. Um, uh, God, I will say, I am acting like a bit of a bitch because I have done 24-hour streams before. The seven hours is not that bad. It's just I woke up super early, and I've been working all day on my car to make sure that it can everything's running right and everything like that as well so yeah so anyways i'm gonna head off um i'll give you some sort of summary video tomorrow and then i'll be gone s during the weekend i will hit up a live stream on monday where we're gonna re-go through all this break it down get in more of the details i know i skipped over a lot of stuff today I, there's a lot of stuff i didn't cover but i'll give more of a summary on monday and everything will be good, um, hopefully. Interesting stream, TJV. I do hope Scott, Liz, his son, etc., all things sorted out for the sake of his family environment and idol. All right. And then there's people saying, Ohm is a crybaby. Awesome. Okay, cool. Whatever. <sighs> at the end of this, I, I, I'm just saying, at the end of this, yeah, guys. It is still best to remain neutral. You don't know who's saying what. Back when I was getting shit on every other week for something I was saying, when people were flipping the script on me saying that I was biased towards the Vanoss crew and then people were saying I'm biased towards Ohm, you don't know who to trust out there. I've had many people show up to tell me a lot of things, and people lie. People make mistakes. People do that. You just... Make sure you associate yourself with people that you feel like is decent and are like seem like decent people. And the moment they don't seem so decent anymore, get the fuck out of there. Unless you have like a specific reason and everything like that. But yeah, just chillax. We don't know what's going on between the Omen and Delirious case. We don't know what's going on between the Scott, Liz, Delirious, and that whole drama. Stuff about Louis. Whatever the fucking revenge porn thing that was brought up. Don't know everything going on there. So just make sure that uh, you remain neutral in all this until we get some more answers more we're more definitive about it. It's not like the mini lad situation where it was more black and white. It's more uh, it's more up in the air. So, yeah. 
Thank you guys for joining. Seven hours, almost 20 minutes. Thanks to... Thank you, Toy, for coming in. I appreciate it, even though you took some major hits. Um, thanks to Scott for joining him. Um, Ohm for joining the chat. Zane, possibly, if that was him. Or Liz or Delirious using Zane's account. Thanks for whoever did that. Uh, thanks for Toy, Sen, uh, Chilled Venom, and Louie. And thanks to my mods. My mods, especially the yikes, stayed on top of it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. I think I closed off the stream. That's the ending. So, yeah. Um, with, without, without so many people left, um, can spam your favorite emoji in chat while I'm ending the stream, okay? So, yeah. Spam your favorite emoji now. Do it now. I want, I want.